We are finally doing it, Preacher. We are finally playing the campaign. <laughs> After all the uh, ridiculousness that was uh, in the past. <laughs> Which, um, to pick up from our conversation before I started the stream, I find it kind of odd how um, both this game and Helldivers 2 is having a moment where they want to be like, okay, we, we know there's problems and we know we need to address these things and we're all trying to speed towards it, but we're obviously all collectively waiting. I wonder who's going to get it out first. I don't think Helldivers 2 is ever going to fix server issues because they're using an engine that's not built to use servers. That's fair. And just look at Dark Tide. They oh. never fix their server issues, and that's the actual developer that made the engine in the first place. They can't fix the server issues. Damn. So. Yeah. At least they finally so. fixed weapons. So, what difficulty do you want to play on? Easy, normal, veteran, angel of death? Because I know we said veteran, but I know people are saying that the game is near broken. Yeah, because the enemy never attacks your teammates. Right. <laughs> and your teammates don't really seem to do any damage, apparently. Which is weird, because in operations, they can actually kill enemies, but... Everything I see always says, like, oh yeah... AI teammates in, in, in campaign just straight up can't do anything. Like they they don't kill enemies, enemies don't attack them. They don't they don't do anything. All all they're there for is to revive you sometimes. Which uh, <laughs> which is very yeah. true, and, and it's only a limited amount of times. And in co-op even, yeah. we, you and I experienced last time we tried this. It was a certain number, collectively. It's not like individually, which was kind of odd. So uh, what's your Vote normal or easy? Man, I suck ass this game, so easy. All right. That is true because no, it, like it is, a, it is have, rolling dark. I have dark like a souls. like a like a, I have like a level twenty one heavy and a, a level nineteen assault, and I still suck. Welcome, this game. We are yours to That's understandable. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot yes, more sir. stuff online where people are just struggling, and like the more I look at it, I'm like. This should not be the gameplay of this game. Like, people are saying, it makes me feel like a space marine. I'm like, no, I feel like more like a space marine in Helldivers 2, which is ridiculous. I feel more like a space marine in Cyberpunk, because at level 1. Ooh. Damn. I mean, I, that game is hard as hell at low level, and yet I still feel more like a space marine there. I have guns that never seem to run out of ammunition. Uh, melee actually kills enemies in, like, one hit. I could block bullets with a freaking sword. <laughs> yes. I could jump 15 feet high. You can't do that in this game. Well, then again, now that makes me think about like people are like, oh, well, technically, uh, in the campaign with the jetpack, that only works really in campaign. That's not jumping, that's fine. I know, exactly. That doesn't count. I know it doesn't. Cyberpunk, you can just straight up jump. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't need a jetpack. Legs. You can just jump. Yeah. Last time I saw this cutscene, everybody was invisible. Ah, oh, yeah. Wow, it was that early. Yeah. Makes so much sense. And I was just like looking at an invisible ship, just like, what's going on? <laughs> Sir, you served in the Death Watch. Yes. That must have been a great honor. It's a privilege to serve with you. Approaching top zone. Let's go. I love how he gave the solid dose of PTSD there. You see those this is fair. Our lieutenant is over 200 years old. He couldn't have been born a Primaris. Mm. You're right. And now he has your command.
Guardsman DLC win. <laughs> See, I, I thought she was a Kamazar the first time I saw this, mm -hmm. because her, her uniform was black. Ah. I guess it was just missing textures or something. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Your, your uniform I... would, just, would just jet black and had all these medals, and I was like, hey, a, a female Kamazar? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I remember when you said that, I was like, that's a ca yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'll, I was like, okay. <laughs> and then, and then, and then Titus called her uh, Major, and I was like, wait, what? Since when do Majors have black uniforms? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm gonna bump up the audio a little bit and put on subtitles. Yeah, I'm gonna. Tyranids have the orbital guns. They do. These unrelenting attacks make a counteroffensive difficult. We shall take care of that. Astartes. Oh yes, the walking simulator. That's the first level. Move to reinforce the eastern flank. You go with him. I, I can't go, I'm stuck mm -hmm. in the invisible wall. Ah, okay. oh, there we go. Here's Battle Broker. We can move. Mm. Now I gotta remember all the, <laughs> the controls after playing Helldivers too, so I'm excited. Let's get going. <laughs> Wait, okay, I have a battle cry instead of an r scan. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm gonna use battle cry. Battle cry. Yeah, oh, so that's, so that's what Battle Cry does. Cool. I scout like Marcus Troop. Oi! We're the bloody Ufa! Ultramarine 2! <laughs> the ugly strike for I mean, a 3! I mean, whatever! <laughs> bloody Ultramarines 3 or something. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> We can't be the Ubers, right? Wow, I got shot by something. I didn't lose any armor. This is how it should be. Yeah, honestly. Wow, yeah, I really didn't lose any armor. Yeah. This this feels like a space war. Anything above this just is no. Like I, I don't get why it's so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. I remember like, walking out here the first time when we first played it, and immediately yeah, like losing just, all yeah. like one or two armor plates immediately. Yeah. Yeah. On a veteran. Yeah. We were like, hey look, a big fight run down here and like I just like instantly died and just lost everything and I was like, uh I was having to hold out as the AI was recovering you. And I also couldn't see any enemies. Yes. I was like, what is shooting me? You're like it must just be an area effect thing. Yeah. Wow, I got jumped on by something and didn't instantly die. Well, I finally lost some armor, but I still have armor left. Cool. My knife actually kills an enemy. Oh, when I execute, it gives me two armor back? Nice. Yeah. It's just one. <laughs> I took I took health damage and killed one enemy in the game. I uh, Oh, he actually uses Auspex scan. I just got shot by a guardsman in my space where you look at him and goes, Guardsman, watch your magazine. <laughs> but that guardsman just shit his chance right now. I, will. Like, I mean, that's fair. I shot a space marine. I shot an angel. Yeah. A direct hit, Major. Oh, a frag grenade. Never miss. 
This is a bunch of frag grenades over here. I gra I grabbed one. I threw like one grenade and I see a bunch of grenades. I'm like, oh, we're supposed to use grenades. Oh. Yeah, I, I threw like a whole pack, but I only threw one pack and I found another and didn't throw anymore. Yeah. I found that whole pile at the very end. <laughs> The orbital guns are on the other side of the swamp. Be alert. Oh, look, this thing is no longer missing for you now. So that's what this thing looks like. Yeah. See, I, I was envisioning this to look like the drop pod in, in operation, but no. Uh -huh. actually has weapons in it. Yeah. That's cool. Their very existence is Never would have known what this thing looked like. in their numbers today, brother. I don't even know what bolt rifle you I even have. I think we have standard. Just, oh yeah, but like, rifle. I'm not. It has a scope on it. So. It was only until like the second drop pod we found, like when we first played, that I actually know yeah, what we used. Yeah, but like, does, like I was wondering, like if my character had a different weapon than you. I. Because mm. remember this guy, um, uh, Charon or whatever. When I was playing as him last time, I started off with a heavy bolt pistol. This dude mm -hmm. started with a regular bolt pistol. I had to pick up a heavy bolt pistol. Yeah. Um, so I guess he just has a heavy bolt pistol for some reason. Yeah, um, the standard. Yeah. I have, a, I have a heavy one now. I just picked it up. But, um... Yeah. Do not stop moving. I'm gonna scream at him when he comes out the ground. Mm -hmm. Got contact in the hills over there. I guess he just doesn't wanna... Yeah, he's like, I'm only gonna strike when. Oh, there he oh, is. There we go. <laughs> I stunned you. Fuck it's actually guy. meds around. Yeah. And he's dead. I parried him one time. I was instantly able to execute him. Yeah, same. I love executing and getting two whole uh, armor plates back. I love how all these shooter enemies will just instantly kill you. Yeah. Or it's immediately like, suppress you. Yeah. Ammo here. Resupply. The sad thing is, this is like the easiest difficulty, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That's... That's a really sad thing. Exactly. Because we should be this strong on veteran, just have more enemies. Yeah. Not make us incredibly weak and then have more enemies. Right. Like that. I got shot right in the face and did nothing. Yeah, when we went through this level the first time, like we went through it, but it was just straight up felt like we had to take cover. Yes. Which you shouldn't as a space marine in a game literally called Space Marine. You just kept us hello there, wish you glory in the name of the Emperor. Hey! I see you, Kepler. I mean, if you want to join in, Kepler, I know you have this game. We're just doing campaign. But yeah, I know you probably already got through you got this if you do so. Wish you an awesome time. Appreciate you stopping in. Alright, Preacher. I'm, what did this look like when, when I was doing this? I saw you punching it, but there wasn't any blood or anything. Now there's like blood over the ground. <laughs> Just fisting some magical hole or something. Like it was like you were you were punching the plant, but the plant didn't react to you punching it. You were just punching it, and there wasn't any blood or anything, so it just looked really kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. This time the plant like recoiled back and was bleeding and everything. So it all just looks different. Oh wow, the regular bolt. Pistol. It was the heavy bolter, so I grabbed it. <laughs> You know what would be cool if we could do wheel dudes? It really would. Do, do you want the heavy bolt pistol? I, I have a heavy bolt okay. pistol. Alright. 
I picked it up from the drop pod thing. Copy that. Because y- you know who can dual wield bolt pistols? Mm. Straight up dual wield heavy bolt pistols and also wears power armor? Who? Take a, take a wild guess. Space Marines? <laughs> oh man, Sisters of Battle. Oh, Sisters of Battle, yes. If they can dual wield heavy bolt pistols, why can't we? I, I know. <laughs> I can actually see those things now. I remember you were like, what, what's hitting us? I don't see it. I'm like, what do you mean you don't see the big, bright as hell green things? You're like, like there isn't anything green. All I see that's green is the grass. <laughs> yeah, I remember. This is like, <laughs> the PTSD is kicking in in a different way now. And then my gun disappeared and I was like, brother, brother. I have no weapon. That's hilarious. Very sad. Top friends are unorthodox, Lieutenant. Which company did you serve with before this one? I served the Emperor elsewhere. The Death Watch? Yes. I hope I too will share that honor one day. Eliminate them, then proceed. Under six. Special tactics ready. You don't follow me around. You're you're Titus. I'm, I'm supposed to follow you around. I know. Look, yeah, like I got grabbed by this thing. Get off of him! And I didn't die. I'm like an operation. Yeah. He he just took off one armor. And somehow the AI is dying more than us. <laughs> For once. AI would just straight up and miss. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna go kill it. I'm sorry. Sean, go patch yourself up. Oh, there's the bolt rifle with a grenade launcher. Oh yeah, so what we start with was just a normal bolt rifle. Munitions here. Why is he not picking up the Medicaid Oh, he just magically was all self-healing. <laughs> With time. Okay. okay. I wish I could do that. That's how it works in PvP. Which is also weird how PvE in general just does not work like that for the players. Yeah. PvP, y- y- you can be like, oh wow, I just got smacked in the face with Thunderhammer. I'm almost dead. I, I-, I better go hide behind this behind this wall. And then like 10 seconds later, you're just magically healed. All healing factor. Like in lore that we are. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You think when they said you get to play the Space Marine, do you think they were only referring to PvP? No. Yes. Also like in PvP, you can also die really fast, but you don't always die really fast. So you can die really fast. It depends on what shoots you. But it makes sense because you're fighting Chaos Space Marines or, or, or you're Chaos fighting Loyalist Space Marines. So, mm-hmm. like, you know. Lieutenant, makes sense. Has given us new orders. You must proceed alone. Uh, like, I'm perfectly fine with getting one shot by enemy. Just make it make sense. Mm-hmm. And don't make my way of countering or how I'm supposed to be playing as a do- Dark Souls rolling all over the ground. Exactly. There they are. When the you can't guns. even take cover because there's no cover system in this game. This mm-hmm. Yeah. And you also can't crouch to get behind cover. So. Yeah. Oh, well, I went off the hill with him. <laughs> I had zero armor, executed one enemy, and got all my armor back. That's, yes. Stream. I'm trying to swap my weapon. I'm playing something wide to swap weapons, but that's your ultimate. For some reason. 
Off the cliff with you. Just, just knocked a Majoris off a bridge. See another crate over here. More stems. Man, health is just everywhere now. We're saved. I haven't even used a stem this time. Yeah, time. yeah, same here. Which is how it should be as a space marine, right? I should be playing a space marine game, going, "Wow, this feels pretty easy," because I'm a space marine. Not, "Wow, well, my God, why is this so hard?" Yeah. It's kind of no wonder why uh, they have all rewards to be equally same as someone playing easy versus playing the hardest difficulty. I think it's just really the masochism slider and how un how unreal how unrealistic do you want this experience to be? And it works the opposite way than what you would expect. I have a heavy bolter. Another wave. We can't hold them. Let's see, Titus, do you want a heavy bolter? No, I got a grenade launcher. <laughs> Just like the simulations of PvE. There's nothing they can do to stop me. The thing that's bad though is in operations you actually have to play hard. Yeah. I, exactly. Which kind of sucks, because... Mm-hmm. It's like, I bought this game to be a space marine and to have a power fantasy for once, not be underpowered and have to roll around on the ground. Yeah. Like, Which, that's honestly how it feels going, like, maxing out a character and having, like, relic gear and going back to, like, level 1 difficulty. Because, like, the reason why I like doing that is you could still get, you know, the, um, the cosmetic rewards and also the coins. And you, you can actually help low level people or just play with bots or just, you know, play with friends who are also there and just have a good time. But obviously you have to go through like the whole gauntlet to get there, like you just said. Which wouldn't be that uh, that bad if the higher difficulty just made more enemies spawn, but you were the yeah. exact same. Exactly. Which ironically is something that Helldive is actually doing. Like mm -hmm. level one versus level ten, you have the exact same amount of health to take the same amount of damage and everything. It just on level ten, there's more enemies and there's more types. Of enemies. Exactly, and new moves they can do. It, yeah, it depends on what enemy it is. Yeah, so, so, some of them get new stuff. Like um, the uh, bile spewer thing on difficulty nine can actually like shoot um, the uh, yellow bile beetles can shoot mortars like the green beetles. But they don't ever do that until like level nine. I believe the green ones do. So. Yeah, so my scream is literally just Marcus Gruber. It, 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 it gives me armor. What did you say? Oh, my, yeah. my scream mold that I have Yeah. is, is, is literally just uh, Marcus Gruber's mercenary show. Oi! Give me armor! It knocks, it, it knocks all the enemies back, gives me armor, and it actually seems to do damage as well. I just wonder if it gives you armor. I think it, I think it may. I've had no issue with armor. I'll have to pay attention more. 
It says deals significant damage to me by enemies and pushes them away. It doesn't say anything about armor, but it gives me armor. And then this is when everything went to shit. <laughs> I mean, it was yeah, bad yeah. before. But, yeah, uh, yeah. This is when, like, it went from being, I don't know what's going on, to this game is straight up unplayable. Yeah. I was like, well, you don't see all the guardsmen. You don't see these enemies that went invisible. You don't see these enemies scurrying across in front of you. And then they were hurting you, and they were shooting at you, but you couldn't. You couldn't hurt I them. Couldn't like you were swinging at them and through them, but they could hit you, but you couldn't. I, hit them. I didn't know because I didn't even know they were there. Yeah, <laughs> which I was having to tell you. I was oh, like, wow, this there's guardsmen here. Wow. These guardsmen actually look pretty cool, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, this one on the far left I mentioned a long time ago, crouching over here, his helmet and all that. Yeah. Hey, you know this one right here? He's mm -hmm. wearing the, um, that Kim safe armor from Dark Tide, mm -hmm. which I've I've never seen anybody wear that until Dark Tide, and I was like, where did that come from? But yeah, he's he's wearing it. I don't know what it means, but yeah. Just a casual drop of uh, twenty or thirty dollars just to get a skin in Dark Tide. Looks like a slaughter. Wow, there's dead bodies everywhere here. This is, yeah. yeah. Last time I walked in, I saw blood over the ground, but I was just like, okay, well, I wonder what happened here. Now I actually <laughs> see dead bodies everywhere. Yeah. Let us sing of death, dear friend. So I swapped my heavy bolt pistol for another heavy bolt pistol. Perfect. Okay. Stim. Inject some off. I still have two stems. Same. I can't pick it up. Grenades. I, grenades. I have three grenades. Exactly same, brother. We are set for success. Like how Space Marines actually should be. Until you're right. Exactly. And over here somewhere was the... Uh... It's over here. It's at the left of the fan. Yeah, I'm just looking up here. Yeah, there's a data slate, I think, up there. There's a minigun that I can't pick up, which you can do that in Halo. I don't know why you can't do that here, but... Mm -hmm. Combat knife. I already have a combat knife. There's a stalker bolt rifle here. Uh, this is the part where, we, where I said uh, they were scurrying. I can actually see them now. As they run away. Time to get you powered up, brother. This is more like it. Now we both have grenade launchers. This is solely balanced. Why am I trying to dodge them like I'm playing co-op? <laughs> yeah, I'm so conditioned. Like I haven't, I haven't dodged anything this entire time. Actually, mm -hmm. I've, just run, I've just run into them and shot them, and I or whatever. You know, playing like an actual space marine. Yeah. This is such a entire. This is like an entirely a different experience. <laughs> yes. This is what I was expecting the game to be, in a way. Exactly. I repeat, awaiting orders to Another chain sword over here. Do you read? No, finally. This is yeah. Swap out. Because mm -hmm. chain sword is infinitely sir. better than knife. Yeah. Knife. knife is good when it's leveled up, co-op. Yes. Fast, no leveling up in this game. Single player, so what's the point? Mm hmm. More frag grenades that I can't pick up. Observe this location. 
Oh yeah, here's a heavy bolter. The third, uh, the third weapon item slot, but you can't reload it. It's just here as a special weapon. Yeah, I had it earlier on the bridge sequence or whatever. Nice. Another one dead. Just tearing up Majora's here. <laughs> I just like ran into a bunch of enemies and mm. screamed at them and they all just died. <laughs> yeah. I they ran into a bunch of enemies and I squashed fight, them with my armor. Fight. Scream so loud that enemies die. We have made contact with Captain Iden. Iden, I thought him lost. <laughs> Captain Iden, oh my god, yeah, I also Did thought that too. Working on it. Ammo here. We move on. Uh, there's probably ammo up here. Ammo, so true. Yeah, there's ammo up here. More meds. Brother, you must patch up your inch of wound. Haven't you learned from multiplayer co-op? I'm just playing. Yeah. Multiplayer, I half the time I don't even bother to stem. Die immediately. Go ahead, Major. So I just let other people pick up stems. I thought you were dead, man. One thing I don't like about co-op is that if you do play as a selfish player and you do take a stem. If you die, you just straight up I'll lose it, so it feels yeah. like people who don't we know that are just completely wasting it, so it sucks. It's like, a, it's like an arms race, but the more you become a professional, the less you need it, so it's weird. But obviously when RNG happens and you need to heal your deep mortal wound, you would definitely would like some. Oh no! <laughs> I I thought the tank was gonna drive down the, the road, so I stood over there to cover it, and it started trying to run me over. <laughs> I shout, everything does. Do your retribution, kill 100 enemies while using Righteous Fury. Nice. Take out the marksman. I, like, it's so awesome seeing you able to actually effectively leave a full charge with just a chain sword instead of us having to go cover to cover every second. <laughs> which, is, which is how I feel like this particular character is supposed to be played because of the mm -hmm. scout. Yeah. Like it's like like if I take too much damage and need armor, I just scream. 
and then knock everything back and I get armor back. Well, I can pick so, things off, and then obviously even yeah. if they break my armor hit my health, I could also scream too, and just shoot and get my armor health, uh, my, my health yeah. back. Yeah. Your thing, like, buffs your, your, your damage. Mine does damage, and then I finish off whatever's still there. Yeah. Like this, I was surrounded, so I screamed. I can't execute, because you stole my execution. I'm sorry, brother, brother. Just like a co-op. Yes. That's what I did. <laughs> Look how Charon or whatever was like a mile away, and then he just teleports up to us. <laughs> yeah. Literally wasn't even helping us fight. Just He's like, just like in co-op. <laughs> Sit back there doing nothing. Just like the simulation. In co-op, you, you let the AI do everything, because they can't die. Yeah, and unlimited ammo. Yeah. I think I've seen a bot go down maybe once in all my time playing operations, and it went down trying to trying to rescue it, and like it went down trying to rescue a, um, another player who was down. Yeah, and it went down to the uh, Zoanthrope world boss then. So it makes sense that it went down. Otherwise, they're just invincible. Mm -hmm. It's kind of strange, but you know, it feels more like, it, like instead of being a space marine, it's like you're like escorting a space marine. <laughs> yeah. This is what operations feels like. Very good. Oh, there's a barbed wire fence in my way. And I can't destroy it? This is realistic. It's so realistic. There are enemies hiding behind the barbed wire just staring at me like, Hey, hey you can't get me. Bullshit. The power of our grenade launchers will be unstoppable. I forgot I had a grenade launcher. I've just been actually enjoying using a chainsword for a while. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is a uh, surreal Every, experience. If I use chainsword in co-op, I just slowly oh, die of chip go. damage. Yep. Or I'll just die to like one enemy. Destroy the fence so I can kill you. Well, the, the tank blew it up. <laughs> Thank you, tank. Finally, I can do something. Average grail night experience. Oh, wow, that is so true. Girl Knight be like, get over here so I can do something instead of just stand here. <laughs> oh, wait, get over here. I want to I want to slap you in the face. All right, sir. Ah, uh, Zernthrope. Face the power of grenades in your direction. And concentrated fire. Get him, brother. Get him. I can't. He's dead. Damn. I don't know how, but uh, okay. he landed. I remember when there was a guy next to him, and he just died. I guess he died of a heart attack. He was like, "Oh no, an actual space marine." Yes. I want to get a thunder hammer now and actually feel the power of a thunder hammer wielded by an actual space marine. Mm -hmm. Not a guy cosplaying as a space marine. <laughs> the shitty pack. A guardsman inside a space marine suit. Yeah. Welcome to the uh, Fallout Simulator. Because, <laughs> like, in co-op, I have to, like, do, like, seven heavy attacks with a chainsword to execute one enemy. <laughs> yeah. This, this, I do one heavy, and it, it's a 50-50 if it dies or, or if I can execute it. Mm-hmm. And you get two armor back. We'll yeah. punch a hole in those hive ships so big you can fly a frigate through it. It won't let that happen. Also in this cutscene, I only saw what? Titus and the girl, and she the was still wearing mind. black. Like a black the uniform. Its powerful collective intelligence. <laughs> this is like a shiny that black is, uniform. That is and, I, and I, the first time I saw her, I was like, wow, that's a really shiny uniform. She's probably a Kamazar. And this cutscene, I was like, how is her uniform so shiny? She probably never fought. That doesn't make sense for a Kamazar, but okay, whatever. 
This is Major Sorcana. Divert second and third platoon to the orbital. That is hilarious. <laughs> like, like the red on her cuffs and on on her collar was red, so it, it straight up looked like a commissar. Yeah, no, I, I I imagine that is that that it is like, such. It was it, it was like a black uniform and just like red trim, and I was just like, so she's a commissar, but she's called Major for some reason, and she doesn't fight, but she does also doesn't wear a hat. That's okay, whatever. But it all makes sense now. So I carry that heavy bolter and somehow this thing I can't reload came with 200 rounds all over again? Yes. I literally had like 13 rounds left, like 13 or 16 rounds, and now I got 200. I'm like, alright. I imagine my character restocked. Oh, and another grenade launcher. If we had a third player, we would be more than impossible. I have one, but I forget I have one. Yeah. The chainsword actually feels like a chainsword. Right? <laughs> So it's so nice to actually we... penetrate multiple enemies now. Yes. Instead of like hitting only one. With shooting them? Yes. Yeah. Why can't I jump down there and kill them? Why can't I get down there? Get them off that wall. how it feels to play a solid co-op, just like waiting for enemies to climb up so you can actually kill them. Yeah. Ah, uh, finally, ah, uh, no, they all died. God damn it. I'm sorry, I'm shooting them all. <laughs> You're like, let them come. Oh no, there's enemies right here. enemies? <laughs> yeah. I waited for so long to kill you. Munition secured. <laughs> get him, brother, get him. Completely decimated those hordes that were coming up here. Special tactic at the ready. What if my character says like it's like advanced tactic ready yeah. when they all all I do is scream at them? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, okay. I drank some water, sir. <laughs> Where possible, but do not linger. Crack grenade. The targeting system is our priority. Yes, my lord. I'm so used to scavenging for resources when we just straight up I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. I just ran into all these enemies with a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. I know. I saw. It was great. Wow, the, the, see this guardsman standing right here? Mm -hmm. He just killed like seven enemies like, <laughs> in a row with, with just one headshot. Wow. With rifle. He is completely has blood all over him. Yeah. I saw I saw all these enemies running up to him. It's, and I was it's like, oh, John Guardsman. I, I, I must save him and then he just shot oh. one shot. Oh, oh look, hold on. He actually has a white mustache. Holy crap. <laughs> At least I can't tell. I can't tell if it's just the lighting or if he has a white mustache. Looks like he just drank some milk. That's true. <laughs> I, I name him John the Guardsman. <laughs> Alright, we can one. finally get to the one. One Guardsman. <laughs> one. He is the one. We're finally here. At the part. Why do they keep giving me guns? I know. Why can't I do wield a knife and a chainsaw? Because it'd be too powerful, so the developers remember. Because <laughs> we're somehow lore accurate space marines. Yeah, because they put knives everywhere, but I can't, I can't use it because I have a chainsaw. So why can't I just pick up the knife and drop my bolt pistol and then just have my rifle as my gun? Mm-hmm. Right. Like... Major, I 
Wow, I can actually see the, the enemies and stuff. I wonder, I wonder what the what the objective looks like. You know, the objective that you're supposed to defend that I couldn't see. I wonder what uh -huh. it looks like. I never, I can never see it. <laughs> I like legitimately wonder what it looks like. Because <laughs> I've imagined it just looking kind of phallic in nature because it says spire, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, okay. But are we talking like Genosis spire or like just a a building type thing? I don't know. You're gonna be so excited to see what we see later on. And my gunshot blast thing actually kills enemies instead of knocking them back and giving me one piece of armor. Yep. They actually die. It must have been such a rude awakening for people who um, play the campaign first on like easy or what have you to then get introduced to uh, co-op. <laughs> no wonder why so many people were just completely getting curb stomped left and right. Also, no wonder so many people only play PvP. Uh-huh. That makes so much sense why there's such a huge PvP crowd. Because again, getting, getting one shot by something in PvP actually makes sense because it's like oh wow an assault dive bomb me with a thunder hammer of course i'm dead because it's a thunder hammer from a space marine that, that makes sense we are done my lord the but gargoyles are in co-op it's like oh i got one shot they by a invisible enemy with a gun yeah uh, okay See that <laughs> yeah but they're actually true. invisible because they can cloak mm-hmm it's just like right okay we are here battle brother Ready to deploy special tactics. In other words, I'm ready to scream at them. Yes, my good sir. Do you hear my character say y that? Yes, though? yeah. Like, ready to deploy special tactics. You can say all the voice lines from, like, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, from co op. So that's what it looks like. Yep. It has, exactly. like, wires connected. And, and, and a letter, Alpha, it's signifying what uh, one of it is. Also, the, this thing that, that is connected to with a wire, I also couldn't see that either. Shot him with the... What do you call it? Yeah, I, I shot one grenade and killed like half of them. Oh, there's an ammo cache here. Time to... Yeah. I go through all the pain that I went through last time. That was That was hell last time. Yeah, they, they don't get that fun. Apparently, my grenade launch is out of ammo. I'm a box over here. I also love how they don't instantly almost destroy the antenna the moment they hop on it. <laughs> Like before this game came out, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'd probably replay the uh, you know single player." I actually would replay the single player now, mm -hmm. only only on easy, because then I actually feel like a space marine. Right? <laughs> yeah. And it's not like it's not a matter of like, oh wow, well, the game's hard. It's like no, it's like I mm -hmm. want to be a space marine in a exactly. game called space marine. That's that if exactly. I wanted, if I wanted to play something hard, I'd go play Dark Souls. You know, held which which, which you and I already do and already have done like we always exactly. play hard as, as always balls to the wall and to the nuts a game from payday to etc like hardest difficulties they're like, all our years it, it's actually fun the thing, I, yeah. the thing I like about doom is it's a power fantasy 
Mm -hmm. Do I play Doom all the time? No, I don't even own it on PC. I want to, but I just have a lot of them on PC. But, like... You know... Because it's nice to have a power fantasy game to, you know, take a break for, you know, hardcore other games. But, uh, Which is kind of a funny thing now, because this game can be both in a way. But only in single player. Sure. Yeah. Apparently, the developers said that they're going to make it easier, but how much is the is the question? And it's not going to probably last that long since the new difficulty is going to be coming out anyway. Yeah. I just wish I, the difficulty just made more enemies instead of you know, exactly you and then making more enemies. Yeah. Even even on. Even on um, ruthless difficulty, I will just go through a lot of sections where I'm just like, there's nothing left to do. There's there's no enemies. Yeah. I fail yeah. that all the time. Yeah, I played ruthless with you a few times. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was it was either balls to the wall, millions of enemies, and you die in one shot, or there's just nothing going on. Mm -hmm. Helldivers also kind of does that sometimes. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes you play like difficulty nine and there'll be like no enemies for like half the mission for some reason. Yeah. And then other times you'll play like difficulty four and they're just like just everything thrown at you. Mm hmm. Man, I forgot how we just abruptly just end up back on the ship. <laughs> I mean, that's what co-op missions does outside of the firm. Mm -hmm. The only mission where you actually extract from <laughs> That's so true. Which is weird. Captain Akaran has new orders for you. Very well. Where is Elian? The enemy tried to smother us. We got separated. By the time we had slain the attackers, Elian was dead. Something put a hole clean through his helmet. I should have been with you. I only wish he had lived to see that hive ship burn. I fought beside Elian for two decades. He could not have been defeated by Hormigans. There are creatures more deadly than Hormigons down there. You should not have let our squad be divided. He is gone, Sergeant. Duty is all. I do not forget my brother so quickly. Yeah, so in other words, Titus is a dick, and this guy mm -hmm. should have been in, in, in the Salivator. Uh, exactly. Know. Exactly. <laughs> the only the thing is, the other guy... Sharon is actually black, so like, you know, salamanders are black. This guy's like Asian or something, so it's like he doesn't look like a salamander, but he, he got talks like a salamander. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm just like, duty is all, and I'm just like, spoken like a blood raven, accepting yeah. the losses. Also, like, when I got shot by the guardsman in, in the first mission, the dude just, you know, watch your fire, guardsman. He didn't, he, like, he didn't sound mad or anything. So. It's it's so weird because, like, these are the co-op characters that we play as in co-op. Like, if you take off their helmets, yeah. this is who they are and the exact same voice actor. So it's just like, that's me, but that's also not me because they're Ultramarine, but it is me. They're the same name, too, except mm -hmm. Gadriel is, um, the Heavy? Question mark? Isn't he the Heavy? I cannot say. Lieutenant. I was informed to arrive with Lord Kalgar. Did you fight with him on Vigilus? I've read through those battle reports more than a hundred times. A masterful defense. My duty kept me busy elsewhere. You have an unusual service record. That is my good fortune. I want to scout recon of that position. Captain, get over here. Captain. 
I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait. This is Nozick Beta 12, the Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Nozick is a high-value asset. Get that data and get him out. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley, we can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. Inferno. Yeah. I'll give you command of a small team to hit the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Let's go. And it was always us two in a bot. Mechanicus <laughs> data. We are Astartes. Titus Delirio, make ready to depart. Standing see, by. see, I'm looking for knowledge, like a blood raven, and you're just like, but, but people. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, but we are saving a person. No, we're not. We're saving a Mechanicus. That's not a mm -hmm. human. <laughs> he, he's like 90% machine. Well, well. Lieutenant Titus, we are told you have need yeah, of these us, are the co-op characters. My squad must mm. recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in Sector 41A. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Magos Gallio wishes to see you in the armory. Noted. We actually like choose our weapons now. If you have yeah. been issued a fire blaster for this task, then get one from the armory immediately. We must burn any biohazards clinging to the fuselage before the flight crews conduct maintenance. Yours is a face I have not loved in quite some time, Titus. You requested my presence. How are you acclimating to your new status? I have no complaints. Intriguing. Predictions would determine a point nine probability that you would. I have pressing duties, Magos. Very well. Engage the armory terminal. I will see that you are suitably equipped for your mission. Indicate your desired war gear, and the armoring station will handle the outfitting procedure. Though much has changed since we last met. Oh, I can have a plaza. All this will remain mm -hmm. familiar to you. But I can't, I can't choose my primary. With clear sightedness from the beginning. We offer blessings to this machine. That it may serve you just as it serves him. Okay, so I only have two primary weapons. I have bolt rifle and melter rifle. I don't, I can't use anything else. Like I have, I see other weapons, but I can't equip it. I can go to the left. I can access the bolt rifle, auto bolt rifle, melter rifle, oculus bolt carbine, and bolt carbine. But everything yeah, else the, is locked. The, Auto bolt rifle, Oculus bolt carbine, and bolt carbine are all locked, but melter rifle's open, so I guess I'll use that. Melter rifle, yeah. Melter rifle and plasma pistol. The weapons that I always wanted in co op to be together, but they can't. And then I could also have a thunder hammer all at the same time, but I have to unlock it. But, uh. So I can actually use weapons that I wanted to use in co op, but can't. <laughs> yeah. I can change my appearance question. Yeah. Oh. For me, um, it gives either the default option or either the one that it equipped already, which was for the, uh, which I don't understand why it's called Master Crafted, but it's the, uh, you know, the uh, Ultramarine edition. It's the McCrag's chosen pack one. Yeah, I have the one too. The, the, it's called mm -hmm. Crux Terminatus yeah. Gadriel. Yeah. McCrag's chosen pack. Which just looks the exact same. It just has the weapon skins on the armor, mm -hmm. or not, not on the armor, on the on the guns. Yeah. Actually, hold up. Okay, the armor is a little bit. Oh, it has one thing different on it's my a, right it, shoulder pad. Apology. It has the mm -hmm. the different shoulder, but besides that, the armor is the exact same. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll use that one. So I have cool looking guns. I guess. The war gear selection seems incomplete. This armor I bought it. I was gonna use it. But available options mm -hmm. are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. 
Galio will suffice. We know each other well enough for that. The busy Lord Calgo was called away so soon. If he and the first company joined us, we would have laid waste to this scourge in a single night. I should have liked to see them tear through their ranks in a blaze of glory. Truly, a warrior without equal. It's like, it's weird, like, Chiron, or however you pronounce this guy's name, yeah. he just has like a regular blue helmet. I have a red helmet, so I'm a <laughs> sergeant. And you're a lieutenant, so that means yeah. that I out, out, outrank this guy. <laughs> but in the cutscene on the ship, he was talking to me like he outranked me, and I'm just <laughs> like, what? Yeah. That, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. I don't know, Whatever. brother. Uh, and I don't even know what rank this guy is. I yeah, and he, he doesn't he doesn't have as many ribbons as you. I noticed seals. Yeah. I mean, as I understand it, these like purity seals they they aren't ranks. They're yeah, just they're, yeah. religious stuff. Just, yeah. Um, some of them might be like medals or something. I'm not really sure, but as far as I know, they're just religious stuff. Also, like that that little thing he has hanging on his belt is just a religious thing. Yeah. Um, I think that's that's how I understand it to be. They're not. They don't mean anything else outside of the. But helmets do. Like color helmets. Titus, you leave on a mission of vital importance. The battlefield below leaves no room for the slightest error of judgment. I'm of clear mind and purpose. May the directives of our beloved Primarch guide your every action. I shall follow your progress closely. I will reflect on your words, Chaplain. But for now, duty calls. Yeah, our beloved Primarch. Volk, I mean, Robot Girly Man. <laughs> Operations. Operations. Wow. The next operation requires the combined efforts of two squads. A separate combat squad of Space Marines will provide Titus with a, with a diversion. Find out about how the story unfolds by playing the Inferno mo mission in Operations Game Mode. Ah, yes. Just like the simulations. Yeah. I know how that story goes very well, very intimately. <laughs> to a disturbing degree. <laughs> You should, after replaying the same mission a hundred million times. Funny thing is, I started playing all the missions on the hardest difficulty, it's been great. But yes, that one specifically, very much so. It was very funny because I saw people like always arguing online when the game first dropped that like, oh, it's the second mission that's the fastest for grinding. I'm just like, yeah, but like I like for sure fire wins and I'm just going to be honest. Uh, I don't trust my teammates like, to defeat the end game boss. Yeah. So I'm sorry, the boss saw, of that mission. I saw it nine out of ten times that due decapitation we always fail. Yeah. And he's usually not even at the at the boss either. It's like mm -hmm. right yeah. before the boss. Usually it's the wave part in the first quarter. Yeah. We're trying to set up the um the army charges and people just yeah. completely botch it and they're just like Endless hordes, and then when they start doing the ejected, they just let the hordes eat them up, and I'm just like, okay, all right. Or what happens to me all the time, my teammates run up the stairs to get to the elevator, but they can't mm -hmm. progress because you have to place the charges, and I have yep. to do the charges by myself. Yeah. Archmakers, for the yeah. last time, we must get you off world. The assessment equals in order to take We'll be overrun in minutes. By the ominous time of cease interruptions. Major. Ah, Akron finally <laughs> sends me what I asked for. Arch Magos, it is imperative you evacuate immediately. Devoid will not leave without the data. Relocate to my facility. I will instruct server box. Make ready to leave. This will not take long. Major, I have a second unit working on a theoretical. I'm sorry, but hearing you say Major reminds me of Sean Connery there for a moment. Squads trying to reach that lab. We think something's out there. Noted. The Emperor protects. The yeah, Salamander would have turned around and said the Emperor protects and saluted her. Ultra Ranger is like, yeah, fuck you. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy to care. Mm -hmm. I got shit to do. I got places to be, if they said. Exactly. We will box when we have an update. It's so weird having a plasma pistol and a chainsaw. 
Y honestly, yeah. It's also it's so weird having a melter rifle and a positive. <laughs> It is an improvement, brother. Yes. Deeply amusing. Oh, yes, yeah, enemies. In sync. <laughs> we, grabbed, <laughs> we grabbed two enemies in sync together. That was hilarious. That was I got grabbed by an enemy. I didn't grab it. Enemy jumped on me, and then I screamed at him. Hmm. Thalassa, Acadians are running out of time. How close are you to the Promethean facility? What's over Fish here? Ah, oh, a rifle with a grenade launcher. We are going to Combat. Need. What was that? We are being hunted. Despite the million times I will find a bolt rifle with hey, a grenade launcher. Oh wow, I also have a plasma pistol. <laughs> yeah, so do I. So like in case you didn't visit the armory, use it. Yeah. <laughs> Another positive pistol with dead space. Wow, they even put on more in your face this time. Sergeant Gadriel to resilient. Two of our brothers have fallen in battle. Send an apothecary. Received. We shall honor them, brother sergeant. Crack grenade. Sure. Why not? Indeed, we shall use Battle Brother. Always steal my execution. <laughs> Just like the simulations. <laughs> you gonna get this guy? No, because I got knocked over. Charon stole your kill? Yeah. I went over there to go kill it, and something blew up and knocked me on the ground. That's cool. That opening off is a shortcut. Then we shall more plasma pistols. Yes. On, hold up there. You're advancing ahead of me. Yeah, because I have to find enemies. Relic brother. I am his until death. Oh, look, a chainsaw. Wow. Mm -hmm. If only I could deal wheel chainsaws. That'd be cool. <laughs> you can, brother. It's called swinging along with me. It's so weird not having to feel like I have to mark everything 24-7. This is a nice, fun, relaxing uh, experience. This is how the game should be. Uh huh. Another one. Reloaded. And another one. You know how like how like Halo was always like heroic difficulty. This is the way Halo was meant to be Munition played. Space Marines like easy difficulty. This is the way the game was meant to be played. Attention. Yeah. 
Anything higher than that's not lore accurate. I mean, to be fair, it's also kind of funny because everyone, like the books, everything is saying how badass Master Chief is, yet at the same time, you just sneeze in his direction on harder difficulties. Yeah. He's like, my armor. I must. I must, I must sit in the corner. What I always thought was weird about that was the games came out way before the books did. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like, I mean, the the, the games are always gonna, gonna be more and more accurate to me than yeah. anything else does, because they're the games as it is. 40k, yeah. like, tabletop in the books before the video games, and tabletop, Space Marines are just overpowered as far as and, and books are even more overpowered, and in, in this game they're just like super weak and they wear, they wear paper mache. That green barbed wire shit? Yeah, I, I can walk through it now. I should have been in, like, killing me. Oh, I remember that. Hey, this wire shit? Yeah. Look. I could stand in it. And it just barely takes off my arm. Ah, oh, I got hit by one of those things. It didn't immediately break three or all my armor. Yes. Munition secured. Loading up. Oh yes, I found the rock we must kick to progress. Ah yes, this is the way. Oh, or, oh, yeah. lifting. That's yeah. new. Nice. I was gonna kick it, but uh... We can come through this bunker! Lore said elsewhere. Gather by the entrance. <gasps> What's your secrets? Oh, look, a positive. Another plasma pistol. <laughs> In case like a third player. Yeah, yeah, I've seen five. Right. <laughs> and then you, you, you called out one that I didn't see. Mm -hmm. That would be six. It sounds close. Those are just all the ones that I've personally seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's been at least six plasma pistols this mission. Hey, look, people. Send them. Oh, I died. Running over there to go kill an enemy, and then someone shot it. Ravener, brother, I am pinned here. I scream at it, and it runs away. Well, now it's good. This is my the first stem I found this entire mission actually. I found one stem. It was right before the section. This mission has stems everywhere. I, I, I finally found a stem right now. Which is strange. They like replace all the stems with plasma pistols. <laughs> Honestly. They're like, these they should be fine. They have plasma pistols. To be yeah. fair, that reminded me I should use my plasma pistol. <laughs> the Ravener. No, stop shooting me with it. Get, get away. <laughs> I like rip his head off and toss it, it back in the battle here. First Ravener that, that was the warrior that I killed. It came out of the ground in front of me and was like, oh, yes, I will get you. And I scream at him and he just runs away and comes directly to you. This mm -hmm. is Sergeant Byron. <laughs> My unit has suffered heavy casualties. Received support from Adeptus Astartes. Byron, hold your position. I'm sending a Valkyrie to pick you he up. He said that super nonchalantly. Yes, receive, mm -hmm. receive support from Adeptus Astartes. He should yeah. have been like horrified just to say that. Mm -hmm. Be like, hey, I, I survived long enough for Space Marines to be here. But also, I saw Space Marines, so yeah, we're all fucked. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, this is real bad. Yeah. It is here. Oh, something's what here. Something is, Something is about to get chainsawed. Yes, Watch it is. It's probably a Carnifex. I know. I think it's. I think it's at uh, Lecter. Come and taste death, yeah. I don't know. 
We already killed the Lecter earlier, so I would assume it's a Carnifex. Like introducing it or something. Oh, no, I was wrong. Plot twist, it's not a Lecter, it's the Predator. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that he heard that. You must kill him fast, brother. Fuck back here. <laughs> he's Get like, no, a guy here. with the chainsword! Got a grenade launcher, well, no! He's gone, I don't know where he was. He's, he's, he's up on the uh, rooftop area. He's... Charon's shooting him, apparently, over there. He's behind me. There he is. Over here, he is up here. Changing magazine. Oh, well, he got on me. <laughs> My thanks for the assistance. I'm clear out this horse so we can focus on Mr. Big Boy over here. I'm ready to scream OI really loud. Oi brother. He's surprisingly tanky for easy difficulty now I think about it. <laughs> I don't mind. Probably just probably just because he keeps running away. Uh-huh. Instead of fighting you like we do in, in co op. Mm -hmm. Fuck back here, shit. Burning away. He was right behind this tree a second ago. Oh, here oh, he is. There he is. We're like, fist the cuffs, fist the cuffs. I will stun you. He does not like melee. Let it jump on you and kill it. Just shot him. Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly what I did. That's the funniest part. Yeah. Like I could have yeah. I could have reacted yeah. like no. I saw it. Like <laughs> I, I saw it up there, I marked it, I thought you just look up at it and let it jump on you. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we're on the same we're, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> let it jump on you so we can kill it. I do that all the time in Vermintide with a Warrior Breeze, so I'd be like, oh, there's an assassin, let me just heal myself and then just let it jump on me so I can kill it fast. I got him, brother. Just like the co-op simulations. I like to think that the co-op equivalents of like the other the other fire team that we know of, they're like, yeah, this mission is gonna be exciting. And we're like, oh yeah, that mission, it's a very good mission. And they're like, what? I suspect you. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, it's a good fight, and they're like, it hasn't even happened. Oh, you'll know, you'll know. Also, watch out for the uh, Carnifex. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna hump you at the first start, and uh, one of you gonna die. But I'm not gonna tell you which one. <laughs> they but, all get scared. But, but it might also be a Zoan throw. Yeah, a Zoan throw. And, uh, and uh, and uh, prepare that you will all then equip it, uh, range weapon. Uh, sorry, uh, melee weapons. So have fun with that. <laughs> the Zoan throw will only show up when you have no ammo left. Mm -hmm. No ammo, yeah. And you're a ranged character. And you can't do anything because it flies. <laughs> you cheeky bastards. Get him, preacher. Show him the emperor's way. <laughs>
Get him. Yeah. Archmagos, the entrance is inoperative. <laughs> By the Oh, what the hell? These little guys. Gavin. <laughs> Just open the door. Escape and slay! Escape and slay! A data slay here. So funny. They always, they always say that. I, I can't tell if the person, the, the chick who's speaking, is either a guards, guards woman or a sister. The way she said that line. Rally at the elevator. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Verify your signature is detected as one one tonight. Our disappointing late slow progress for Anastasis. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, we had to kill the, the, the cloaking tyranny that kept running away. So. Mm -hmm. I have had more pleasant conversations with orcs. <laughs> I mean, from the first game, that is valid. Legendary black screen. Ah, uh, yes. The very common. Joining server. Wow. Remember when they used to make a like, huge big deal? Like, modern game is going to have, like, seamless, like, no loading screens, and then they cheat that for a while, and then we're back to loading screens and tips. Like, hell divers, this. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing also that I'll give Cyberpunk its credit for versus other single-player games like Fallout. You open a door in Fallout, there's a loading screen. You open a door in Cyberpunk, you just walk in. Mm -hmm. the, the only loading screen really is like loading into the game itself, and that only takes like five seconds. And then you're like in the game. Um, so, hey, a flamethrower. Oh, you want it? All right, here. Hey, a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a melter rifle. Now I can uh, get to the very last end boss immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fired a shot this entire time. Though. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, wow. I was, I, 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 I was trying to do this entire mission without firing a single round, but now I have a flamethrower. So, uh, you know. A flame we oh, he said flame weapons only. I guess I gotta pick up this melter rifle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god, this shoots like oh. faster. And that's five rounds. And hell divers look better than the fire weapons. Yeah. But the flamethrower is cool. But they will not get yeah. past the flame effects and hell divers just look more better. Mm -hmm. Hot ish and flamey and stuff. Especially how it's buffed up now. Yeah, exactly. Hey! Pyro Blaster ammo. Cool. Mmm, nice. Hey, more Pyro Blaster ammo. Mmm, stem here. I still have two stems. So, I don't know. so like, with the flamethrower, how, how does it feel? I mean, these aren't really, like, enemies. These are mm -hmm. like little rats or whatever the fuck these are. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just die like instantly, as you can see. So I don't know how it is against like actual enemies. But it overheats. Um, it has it has 500 ammo when it's full and it just overheats. I think we're supposed to go down there like yeah. the path through. Yeah, okay. So this is like Indiana Jones. Alright, got it. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, uh, it's like the mummy. There's more ammo right there for you. Fire blaster ammo. Oh no, they struck me. 
So I like to think that like the whoever picks up the thing is actually like trying to do the objective. And the other two are just sitting around. Alright. It does like restore power, so. All these enemies are like running away from me now. I don't even, yeah. I don't even have to like, I don't even have to yeah, and, and I think it's I, the I, actual I, enemy. Yeah, it's like I just together. get near them and they just run away. Oh yeah, they're finally grabbed me. As soon as I say that. Yep. There's some power level. Okay, so the actual enemies just die like this. That makes sense. No wonder why everyone wanted it inside the co-op. Because they were suffering. Yeah. I mean, I want it in co-op because I'm Salamander and I like fire weapons. Exactly. But there is no fire weapon in co-op outside of co-op. Which, you know, melt the guns are cool and all, but, like, I want a flamethrower. Like I said, you just gotta play Helldivers 2. You just gotta put on medic armor and you're immediately a salamander of a flamethrower. <laughs> you're green. You wanna help and heal people. You have your own supplies so that you can share and give to other people. Maybe equip a stim pistol. <laughs> <laughs> also, like knocking his back. Is yeah, cool. like heavy stagger. Yeah. It's not like the light stagger, like in the co-op. It's like a heavy, heavy stagger. I mean, there is no flamethrower co-op, so. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm just comparing comparing the different staggers. Like I saw yeah. like light yeah. and medium yeah. Yeah. stagger, but. Yeah. Not that kind of heavy stagger. Yeah. Like, like, the Melta rifle, I would say, has like light stagger co-op. The he the multi Melta the heavy has is a good stagger. But uh, this this flamethrower just like everything just gets knocked back like. I can't tell what the range is. Yeah. See, like a anything in front of me is a massive fireball directly in front of me. I can't really see anything. But, uh... Oh, I, I just noticed it's a primary weapon. Not a, like oh, a special weapon. weapon. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's primary weapon. That makes sense why you dropped so, your Melta. Yeah, so maybe, does that mean if I don't drop it that I keep it forever? You can be the true salamander that you were meant to be, brother. I'll just, I'll just never drop it ever. Yeah, and just say, is, say, 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 say to Melee, like, this is your gun. This is my gun. There's a whole reason why I never fired a single round this entire mission, because I didn't have a gun. <laughs> but now I have a gun. So now I can shoot, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's just lore accurate. Uh, uh, I only have two weapons, a flamethrower and a chainsword. Plaza pistol, never heard of it. It checks out with me being a blood raven using the equipment I have, because I'm just like, firepower? Hmm, does this need a, you know, I need to be a strategist here. Do I need to conserve my rounds, pick off of them in the head, or do I need to just completely go full exterminatus? Yeah. Exactly. I am almost out of ammo. Time to use my secondary weapon. <laughs> Melee? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And yes. look, whenever I, use, whenever I use, use my sword, I'll just press melee so I don't even equip a pistol, because I don't have a pistol. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I you still got your plasma, pistol. but yeah. Yeah, but it's. But I don't have it in my hand. Yes. Hand. Yes. Which I actually like that, because like in co-op, you you are forced to always have. Ah, uh, I found ammo. Ah, battle brother. I could I could shoot it. You ask of the Omnicide, he delivers. It now works. <laughs> Omnicide. I, I mean, have you heard of an Morgan <laughs> Savior Morgan? Can you say that again? Sorry. Have you have you heard of our Lord and Savior Vulcan? Ah, yes, yes. I think we just run through these guys. I don't know, I just like burning them. That big clump. 
There's more ammo here, brother. I shall to pick up ammo. Got an ammo box, here, brother. There's another relic here, brother. Oh, yeah, but we're space marines. We, we, we don't need relics. The AI teammate, but the relic on my hip. Another plasma pistol, brother. I wonder if like we keep the relics no in the mission. You have to look at the transmitter apparently. But I guess we just advance. I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking at fire, so I don't, I don't know. Battle Brothers, kill the zone throat. Tyrant and Psyker, what? Is apparently, a zone throat is a Psyker. Interesting. Because the bot just, you know, said Tyrion and Psyker. Subtitle said Tyrion and Psyker. Ammo for you, brother. I guess it's a, I guess it's a Psyker. Uh, who would have known? What's further down here? Uh, hey. hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm playing co-op. This is how you ah, walk yes. co-op, right? Yeah, yeah. Co-op. Swarm annihilation confirmed. Excellent work. Move to extract. Swarm annihilation confirmed. Good, you are good on time. <laughs> I've heard that so many times in that co op mission. You should heal yourself and take up some medicates. You are correct, brother. Mm. Watch the game be like, all right, well, you just forfeited the legendary Uber Uber cosmetic for healing one time with the stim. <laughs> I knew you'd miss. He died before there could even be an option for an execution. Another relic. I already have a relic. Exactly. Cherry on. Pick it up. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. Yeah. I can't tell if it was the carry on, like you know, like the I the mean, death, yeah, or, because yeah. okay, C H A I R O N yeah, is like chair like on. Chair on, right? Yeah, yeah, like chair on. Yeah, chair on. Like I'm on a chair, chair on, but that yeah. that doesn't sound right. And there's like chair on. Yeah, and then chair on sounds too feminine, so it's like I don't that doesn't sound right either, so I want to say Chiron, but it's a PH, not a K, so I, I, I have no idea. Until they, until they call him, I'll just, I'll just call him Battle Brother. Mm -hmm. I just heard them say Jump Pack. Oh, look at this. Yeah, right here. Over here, brothers. Oh, assembly. Why can't I pick it up and put it on? Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Must suck to be a server. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Yeah. He's probably still alive, actually. Mm-hmm. Unless they picked up at uh, picked at him. I was I was kind of expecting him to like scream when I shot him, but he didn't do anything, so I guess he's Gotcha. Analysis. Efficiency level below expectations. Here we go. Here, here, here. Knock this off. And then shoot that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, brother, shoot that. Why can't you? It's out of range. It's out of range, brother. But it's, a, it, it's just six feet away. I know, like I said, it's out of range. <laughs> It was in range, brother. It was. And then you threw it off. But you just told me to throw it off. Exactly, brother. It's out of range. <laughs> you see my predicament. Oh, I just had to save our battle brother. Who got swarmed by whatever these little guys are called. Mm -hmm. 
It's weird, like, why aren't these little rat guys in co-op I know. I've seen them very lightly in like one mission. I mean, I, they, they weren't yeah, actually but, an enemy. But, but, yeah. yeah, but they don't they don't do anything. They just run away. I've seen them in um, decapitation missions. Yeah, that's what but I'm saying. Yeah. Just, yeah, they just run away, and it's only in decapitation where I've seen them. But I don't know what they're called or anything like that. So I have no idea. Oh, my flamethrower. They're just kind of assuming we know what they are, and I'm just like, um... Yeah... There's little tear nids. I'm just gonna call them scavengers. All from Helldivers. I mean, because they're small and they're yeah. bugs. Yeah. They're either scavengers or, uh, cockroaches. They look like little tiny, like, heads of snakes, but not actually snakes. Yeah... And they kind of hiss, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have, I have no idea what these things are. Yeah. Be prepared for their next attack. You guys are so weird. It looks like rats because yeah. of the tails. Like, I'm yeah, just staring at them. Ah, ah, ah. I'm taking damage. Brother, I have pinned I here. Can't move. I couldn't move. Like, I also couldn't shoot them with my flamethrower. All I could do was scream at them to make them go away and then I could shoot them. That was that was weird. But okay. Yeah. If you roll, it, it, okay. If you roll into them, you'll kill them. Hmm. Just FYI. You just have to actually roll into them, and then they'll just die. In other words, do not move. Did he just say do not move? Yeah, so he said another do not move. Okay, so I, I won't move. Let's see what happens. Probably referring to the objective we're having to do. We just can't leave off of it. Oh, it's on. Yes, powering all the enemies. He's taking every round, I'm throwing. I'm going for the kill. Ah, uh, you must have been talking about a different zone, bro. Mine is still flying. Oh, yours? <laughs> yeah. Yep, I was. I guess the twins split? <laughs> I, I get I don't know. Taste grenade launcher. Ah, uh, finally. Oh, good. There we go. We did it, Battle Brother. Ah, I've been jumped on by something. Thank you, Chiron, or whatever your name is. Mm -hmm. Sharon. I'm just gonna call him Sharon at this rate. Sharon? <laughs> yeah. I guess. Uh, honestly, Sharon is easier to say than Sharon. So yeah. I'll just, I'll just call him Sharon. I like to think that whenever he does his aspects, I'm like, now he's the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, Sauron. That's his name, Sauron. Sauron, alright. Because Sharon just sounds d disrespectful to it. I think of like the uh like it, it's like the I forgot what of lore it is, but it's um of death, it's like real life like mythology. The um he he's basically deaf that carries you to um he's like the ferryman. Yeah. I think it's I I don't wanna say Greek if I'm wrong. It, it's some somewhere in that area. I know he's been very popular in gaming lately, but it was not spared like chair on. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. At least as far as my memory can recollect. Probably another R, maybe. So this why it's so close. I don't remember an I being there. And I think my character's name is Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel or something like that. Yeah. I could. Okay, it does, okay, in, in, in co-op, if you open up the quick chat thing, it'll actually tell you what your character's name is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, he doesn't say what his name is. Yeah, okay, Gadriel, yeah. Gadriel. Subtitles say Gadriel, so... Mm -hmm. I guess that's the guy's name. Time to go. This elevator goes to the rooftop. 
Which is strange. It's like Gadriel sounds like an angel's name. Yeah, same thing and same thing I was thinking about Charon if it was that yeah. like that guy that I was describing yeah. a moment ago. Yeah, and, and so it, it's like our ultramarines named after angels. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about ultramarines really. Mm -hmm. Except the sergeants wear red helmets. That's yeah. kind of all I know about them. I feel that. And Lyria also kind of sounds angelic in a way. Yes, sir. Titus. Titus just, Titus yeah, just, just sounds kind of Roman. Yeah, it does. What's your status? Very we Roman. We're going to you now. Wait, so that's what happened to us after many grindings? <laughs> no, my relics! No! We can finally extract it and they just die. <laughs> I like to think I like to think that we died and Titus like and and crew here just found all the relics from our bodies and just carried it back to the armory. The next version of them will make better that was, use. That was cool. I, I don't know if you saw that, but mm. in that in that cutscene, Titus was like, "All right, l let's go on." And then my character was like, "But the guardsmen, we must go save the guardsmen." Hey, I have a jump pack now. Yeah, they changed my gun. But yes. Yeah, I have a jump pack. Hold. Yes, I know how to. I know how to use a jump pack. Thank you, game. Wait, airborne shooting. Wait, press L three to briefly hover in the air during your jump, aiming yeah. and shooting in the air. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Aww, I lost my gun. Oh, well, okay. I guess I'm back to using a sword. It's the only weapon I have. Everybody knows that. Mm hmm. It's just lore accurate, man. <laughs> Everybody knows I don't have a gun. Repositioning. Okay, I see what they're wanting me to do here. That's uh, it's a little no contrived. Idea. They they want us to go up here. Yeah. We're, I think we're supposed to get on top of this thing here. Hold on, I'm trying to mark it. And then we just go up from behind. Uh, Actually, are, aren't we supposed to go over this way? Looks like it. Oh, I found another corpse here, and there's another relic. And he had a heavy bolt rifle. Yeah, okay, so I, I, I can't go that way. Okay. I think I found the way, bro, though. I was trying to take there's a short pistol. I, yeah. I, I hit an invisible wall, so... Uh, Damn. Okay. I do that, I'm gonna check this little area. There's like a little cave area over here. Bones. Weird, unique water sounds right oh, here. I didn't make it. Damn it. Ah, a melter rifle over here. Yeah. I will not take it, but you can, can take it. I can pick up a melter rifle. Exactly. It's right over there, uh, brother. I don't have a gun. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All I have is a chainsword. Yeah. <laughs> How did you make this jump right here? Because I can't do like, Yeah, I, I, I do at the very tip point. end. Okay, so what I did was I held triangle right at the very tip end, and then I used my heavy strike to then stab over oh, yeah, the distance. Right, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, there we go. Cause like I tried like dashing it in the air like you can in PvP and it didn't mm -hmm. let me and I was like okay. And then the Melta oh, is so behind there, so you have to go up that way. There's an Oculus Bolt carbine. Cool. And a Bolt pistol. Indeed. I just kept the gun that they gave me. This I am one. looking for this mysterious Melta gun you speak of. I was able to mark it one way. There it is. It's marked there, now. there we go. Uh, it was so in the nick corner. <laughs> I, I, I finally have a gun. You do, brother. I'm glad I can assist. Uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why the Imperium and their infinite wisdom There's loves Sims to, here, brother. Loves here. to deploy me without giving me a weapon. Proof. And a data slate up here. Cycle 42. We leave this inhospitable hell soon, I am told. I took a bet against Tessus. 
Who believes our next post will be warmer? Oh, this is a long one. <laughs> he is too optimistic. Believes in hope. I cannot fathom this. Personal log, cycle 43. I think our next post is the grave. But Tessa swears it will be a paradise world. Tropical, even. Oh my gosh. As if such worlds exist for the likes of Cadian soldiers. I will buy Amasek with my winnings and share with everyone. It's poor Cadian. Except Tessus. Personal log, cycle 44. We heard the sounds of war. The screams of our kin cut short on Vox. Do you believe and hope now, Tessus? We will never get off this world. Personal log, cycle 46. I have not seen Tessus in two cycles. Nobody has. His last Vox was about the glory of angels. Either he has lost his mind or he is already dead. We are alone. No one is coming to save us. Throne. They are real. The angels are real. They throw glorious wrath and turn the tides as easily as I turn a page in a book. I shall never forget this day. Tessus was right. I hope he is alive. I want to hear his accounts of the Emperor's angels. Personal log, cycle 48. We are evacuating to Demirium. Colder than here by 17 degrees. If only Tessus were alive to pay up. We would be sharing a flask of Amasek and toasting to the angels. Ready to fight side by side on bets on our next posting. Instead, I have offered Oliver the wager. I bet our next posting will be warmer. Now that is a data slay I like to hear. I want to wait for yours to finish. Yeah, just... Uh... I was say, see, that exactly that is why we have to play it on this difficulty. Because if we were playing it higher, like... No, no, I would have been tooth and nailed just yeah. like if we were a guardsman. Yeah, well, yeah, well, literally what he said, he was mm -hmm. like, yes, the angels tear through the tide just as easy as I turn a page in a book. I'm like, yeah, that's that, that that's easy difficulty. Mm -hmm. Anything higher than that is it's just it's just Dark Souls rolling around all the time because you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, yeah, so easy is the lore accurate way of playing this game. Yeah. So, so, uh, Firing clusters. Onwards. Xenos mm. uh, vermin. Take full advantage of the jump packs. Calm down upon them like Oh, it's nice to be actually a, a actual assault. I see what people mean about the jetpacks now. So like we could use it all the time, and I'm like, what? Me all it's, the time. It's it's basically like this in PvP. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could do the uh, like cover shoot thing. I never seen people. Do. I never knew that was a thing. We saw it in the trailers. Yeah. But, in the yeah. Trailer. But in the game, yeah. So I don't know. I, I'll I'll see if you can cover. Shoot I have a theory because like they have that in like. My belief is that at last minute before the game release, they nerfed the crap out of assault. A lot of people have said that. Mm -hmm. It's weird Warfare. because, it's, like, like I still say Assault is perfectly fine in PvP. He just borderline useless in PvE. Mm -hmm. Which is sad. But PvP Assault is either a really, like, really fun class to play, or a, a really good teammate, or the most annoying enemy you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. Because they constantly fly around, just like we're doing right now. Yeah. And they get to weird bullshit angles that you can't even see them, and then they jump down and kill you instantly with a thunder hammer. And it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's kind of annoying, but... It's the stuff that we wanted to have from Boba Fett and the Star Wars yeah, yeah, exactly. Battlefront we do. And there actually is counterplay to it. Another one dead. Like, um... I'm gonna kill by this guy, actually. There, finally, I can stun you and kill you. Finally. That just took forever. 
I thought I was playing Operations for a second. <laughs> It's definitely a thing to say to illustrate the point. Let us get to work. Found another grenade launcher. Ball <laughs> oh, rifle. Ah, oh, I'm I'm poisoned. I will be guided by faith and the username of preacher. <laughs> I have faith in my brother. He will be guiding me in the correct way. I finally fired one round this entire mission. Ah, yes. You should replenish that round. Hey, look. Oh. Oh, well, that looks interesting. Time to go fly down there and see what it looks like. This is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, we already have melted charges on us? We don't have to go pick it up? Oh, what a novel idea. Uh huh. Hey, I found a stem. I can, I can heal myself. Take a stem for free. Oh, wow. I just tanked a whole heavy uh, sniper shot instead of rolling back down like three rolls. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out as well. I'm playing a one charge here. I think I'm supposed to go backwards, I feel. Um, uh, okay, well, I was trying to fly up there and there's no shot yet. Yeah, <laughs> right. He's like, let me in. Let me in. Another down Majoris. Pretty take it, brother, if you desire. Might as well, why not? Somehow we're supposed to get up there. I yeah, see. Yeah, you're supposed to go this way. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. The ammo. Stalker bolt rest. Resupply. Oh. The soccer bolt uh bolt rifle. Melter charge is in position. Sunthrope has fallen. And it is not getting back up. Oh, the last one's way down there, apparently. We, uh, oh. Anyway. oh, here I go. I didn't even see it when we were yeah. here, but okay. So. Luck because we had all the enemies in front of us and that above us. I I place the last one, my character says, one charge down, and, and then I hear Titus go, Good work, brother. Now three more to go. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> we just did all of them. What? <laughs> exactly, brother. Yeah, I I could not three. detonate it. I, I can. I have to yeah. do it. I like the yeah, thing. He's like, he's like three more to go as you go deeper. And, hey, look at this, Charon. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. detonate it. And he just blows it up on you. 
Yeah, but I, I'm not chair on. I'm, I'm a gadget. Exactly. You're, you're, you're in there. I'm telling the AI. Look at this. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, these aren't uh, space marines that die. These are just guardsmen. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh there never we go. mind. There's a space marine right there. Oh, that's a interesting effigy. Oh, and a mechanicus. Oh ah, yes, a thousand suns. Mm -hmm. That explains how everyone was getting wiped out. It also explains how the thousand suns got here, but I still don't know why they're here. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really matter why they're here. They serve Zinch. We're not supposed to know. What Zeus wants. <laughs> I'm fine. It must be the Rubicon surgery. When? Two days. Ooh. I don't even know what you're talking about, but okay. Uh, remember um, when you do the prologue, you got the surgery, apparently? Find it! Yeah, but that was from yeah. the Imperium, not mm -hmm. a Right. I said I'm fine. He said Rubicon no surgery, not Yeah, I'm trying to figure out too. Whoever did this is long gone. With the runes, I can feel it. They're still here. <laughs> what do the runes mean, Titus? What do they mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something about Mason. Who's Mason? What is this Vorkuta? <laughs> Battle brother. Reznov, no, they're burning Reznov! So why can't I have a flamethrower like that? Uh-huh. Also, why do they give us both our default-looking, uh, armor in the cutscenes? I, uh, 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 budget or something. Yeah, that's fair. Why do you look like you're super mm -hmm. constipated? <laughs> it's like, mm. <laughs> little do they know I don't have anything to cycle the intake and output. <laughs> 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 I thought we were going to finish this mission two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they call you Titus. <laughs> Chaos all along. Wow. Yeah, chaos all along. Discover the presence. The captain is chaos something. And Kadaku. Akaran will not deceive us, Gadriel. Oh hey, Dimitri I'm in a cutscene talking to Charon. Oh, you are. I'm waking up. So soon after such grievous surgery, Sergeant Vantia spoke of a Death Watch team that deployed a virus I like my room. on Kadaku. Perhaps our lieutenant was one of them. I am far more concerned with what we just saw at that crash site. So I can go forward, but I can't go back. But yeah, I see the the um, Death Watch pauldron and the cave right here on the wall. And then I, I'll. Aww. I can't. I can't walk yeah. in the room. Yeah, and then there's like an open book here. There's like scrolls. There's like on the mantle for the chain sword bed. Man, I have like either little to zero cushion <laughs> on that. With also um. Should have no, like, just no pillows. This is as far as I can go. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I was able to be here more, but since I moved a little bit forward, I can't yeah. go back. Yeah, I don't know if you heard no what uh, Sauron mm -hmm. and I were talking about. Are you recovered? I yeah. heard only a little bit. It was kind of muffled. Yeah. Should run a diagnostic. Yeah. I do not have the need nor the time for such a process. Magos Galio also expressed his concern. Consider his counsel, if not ours. If there is any risk of recurrence, it puts the whole squad in jeopardy. It can wait. I must speak with Captain Akaran. As you command. Yeah, so I was I was telling Sauron that I was uh, apparently concerned about you because you, you, you know, spazzed out and shit. And then 
he was like, oh, I'm more concerned about what we saw over there. It looks like chaos. And then my guy was like, yeah, but why would chaos want anything to do with here? And then he just started talking about you again. And then mm. Charon or whatever was like, okay, well, then maybe we should tell him to go see the, you know, the, the, the Magos, what we just told you to do. And then uh, you started, your character like woke up and started talking about stuff. I don't know, I have no idea what you said because it was mm -hmm. muffled and you were just, I guess, talking to yourself or something mm -hmm. in your room. And I, I don't know what it was. And then uh, this happened. So, yeah. I wonder gotcha. if I have a room. Yeah. Probably not. I, I probably sleep outside like a dog. Hey, <laughs> I can go in your room now. Oh, of course. Hey, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> so, why oh. does your Death Watch pauldron have like a cape? Uh huh. No, that's what I was wondering too. It's actually, yeah, it's a straight up cape if you like look underneath it, if you angle the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Mm hmm. Well, I, wait, hold up. Actually, didn't he have a cape in the prologue? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, okay, so, okay, so the next one's why he has a cape. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh, report to Captain Asheron, which every time I see that Asheron, I always think Archaeon from Fantasy. I can zoom in and I could. I can't tell if this is gibberish or actually something legit. Uh, try aiming into the book over there. We are now headed towards Avarax. Let me perform the necessary cleansing rites. It just looks like the writing, but I don't even know what language my sex. It's high gothic. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. Like it, it, just, it just looks like letters, mm -hmm. but I can't. I yeah, can't I can't make it like out. Like anything else about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, hold on. There's a photo mode in single player. Is there now? Oh yeah, that's I right. I don't know how to access it. Position. I used to know how to access uh, it. Um, I know I was able to do it when you were playing. But I think I can't tell if it was before or I can't. I don't. I don't know. It is fine. Uh, activate it. Oh, I'm supposed to follow you, so because mm -hmm. it says report to Captain Ashron, but I couldn't like I couldn't walk through here, here oh, until you walk through here. For very life force um, I've seen this on Reddit. From him, and we shall use it to serve him only. For he is the light of mankind. His is the one truth in a galaxy of falsity and horror. Those that defy his will shall be cut down in swathes. Their armies crushed. The tainted lands burned to ash, and their wretched kind eradicated from existence. Now, go forth and lay waste to the Xenos plague in the name of the Emperor. And this is our chaplain. And they're like, go, and they're like, oh, we mean only you two in the back? Everyone else stay here. You don't want to know what happens when we close these doors. <laughs> we do, uh, manly space marine things. In the manly, uh, chaplain room that only the chaplain with, can talk about. With other manly space marines that, that, that by the machine we don't cut. talk about what we do. The fault is theirs. <laughs> Their own report suggested engine failure. Anyway, damn the Archmagos. Lyria and Altarius both lost their lives in that crash. Our armorers would not have committed such a fault. But someone is responsible. Bum 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 bum. Wait, don't tell me they're pulling the dark tide. There's a traitor among us. It also makes sense why our weapons are so weird yeah. and armor fucks ass in, in, <laughs> in, 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 in operations. It it's make, all because it, of Zinch. It's all because of Zinch. It, yep. That's my headcanon now. It's also weird playing a campaign on on veteran. I I was still tankier than I am on co-op on the easiest difficulty. Exactly. Yeah. No, that was the weird experience about it's that like, too. It's like it's like veteran. Like I would get shot one time and it would take off most of my armor, but it was enough to tank at least one shot. Co-op, I get shot one time and all, all my armor is just gone. 
Mm -hmm. and, and if not, it's already yeah. dipping into your health and you gotta recover it from contested health. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Weird. Maybe they thought that, like, you'd be stronger in co-op because there's actual, like, perks and Brother, like, progression and stuff. Brother, it is a relief stuff. to see mm -hmm. you on your feet. Yeah. Heard you took a turn for the worse. Such reports were exaggerated. I am glad to hear it. Your efforts in delaying the were admirable. It was a sight to behold, brother. Strabon is the heavy. I must heavy report to Agarol. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. The Emperor protects. And this guy is the, um, van in the, the, the vanguard in co-op. And then this guy is the... Tactical. Tactical. And then mm -hmm. the... Sniper dude's not here, and the assault dude's not here for some reason. Mm -hmm. It's over here. Yeah. They're scanning this uh, space marine over here, and looks like they're cleaning oh. out this room. Look at this. Yeah. Well, cherubs. Yeah. No, well, not just that they're here. But like the cherubs, especially specifically these ones with the angel wings and things, were made for the battle sisters. Hmm. Hence? Because other, question mark. Other other cherubs don't need angel wings. They just have mm -hmm. other wings, or they don't have wings at all. They just fly. Mm -hmm. But these these specific ones were made for the battle sisters to look more uh, angelic, angelic or, some, or some shit. Yeah. Um, they were made by the Mechanicus guys, because they make things for everybody. So it's like, okay, if they have these particular cherubs, and uh, hopefully we can battle some series, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Probably not, but hopefully. Hopefully. Even, even if they don't do anything, if they literally just stand there like the tank in, in, in Dark Tide, that's mm -hmm. cool. I just want them in the game. Agreed. At least the tank in this game actually fucking does something. <laughs> yeah. And the and the the dreadnought and the, the co-op operation the actually does stuff and kills it. Was clear to you. It may have been only a handful Agreed. of fanatics. A handful of cultists could not bring down a thunderhawk. He is right. The arch enemy is here. They chose to reveal their presence. There must have been a reason they wanted Nozick dead. Yeah, so my dude Gadriel thinks that Chaos is here, and Char Charon's like, yeah, no, bro, we got too much shit to worry about with Tyranny is. We don't even talk about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, not in the elevator, in front of the other Space Marines. <laughs> <laughs> but those guys are like, there's going to be so much gossip when they walk away, when they come All down the, the elevator. Damnation happened down there. Nozick was assassinated. The Adeptus Mechanicus report said engine failure. That's not what I saw. Sergeant. Traitors. Chaos. You're sure? No mistaking it, sir. Oh my God. Just got more serious. <laughs> Nozick was head of a highly classified project. Aurora. What is it? A weapon. And the minions of Chaos learned of its existence. With Nozick dead, there's only one man capable of continuing the work. Morius Luz, Nozick's apprentice. He is currently missing. His last known location was a Mechanicus facility on Avarax, one that is now overrun with Tyranids. This will get you into the cogitator within the facility. You can access Luz's tracker from there. We are on course to Avarax now. I want you ready the second we enter orbit. He has an interesting pauldron. With the, uh... Sir. Stripe down. What was on the ship with Nozick? What concern is of yours? The Mechanicus seemed eager to retrieve it. And yet the enemy left it untouched. Whatever it is, without Luz, it's useless to us. He must have a custom helmet to mm -hmm. put on with that thing on his face. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, too. 
Lieutenant, the journey to Avarax will take time. He has a cape. Enough for a brief diagnostic. He has a he he has a relic looking knife. He has patterns that are unique to his um like his um knee pads. He has webbing that's kind of like leather. On course. Engines to fall. I think that's like a heavy bolter, but he has like a holster for it. Like it's not just like floating there, it's like a legit holstered. And he has a unique uh, left bolter. And a diamond um, skull on his back of his battle gear, which is just like, I guess signifying, signifying he's part of like, like a diamond member in some way, like a D company. I think that the pauldron is just because he's a captain. Right. That's why I think that so too. Sense, but, um... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this guy. I don't even see you. Where, where did you go? Um, over here. Weird thing is, like, I don't see your name anywhere. I see Chiron, but I don't, mm -hmm. I don't see your name. Is that? Yeah, okay, there you are. You look mm -hmm. the same as all these other space marines when you walk away. That's hilarious. Even, look at this like, bulwark. E even next to you, I don't see your name anymore. This is not, okay. Yeah, you can actually get most of this mm -hmm. armor. Yeah, of, yeah. Of. yeah, I know. You can't, you can't get the cape, I don't think. Or the shield. Like, there's a variant of the shield, but it's not like that. Yeah, yeah. the variant of the shield looks the exact same, but it doesn't have the ultramarine symbol on it. Mm -hmm. It just has the um, Aquila or whatever. It makes me think, like, if there's, like, the ultramarine, like, heavy gunner thing, if they're, like, slowly gonna, like, pass it down, like, in the updates, like, a whole ultramarine, like, ultimate version outfit looking for every class. I mean, they're supposed to do something for ultramarines according to the... Season pass image. Mm -hmm. Also, like like the this kind of Roman Greek looking dangly thing I have. I don't know what I don't know what to call it. Little strap mm -hmm. leather skirt thing I bet I have. Yeah, it's like From tact tactical. I know that. Yeah, but like it's a gladiator uh, skirt. I'm trying to remember. They, they gave it a specific name, and but I forgot it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. I know. I know some armors in co-op have it, but like either only on the front or whatever. This one has on the front and the back. Weird. Also, like how my on my shoulder, on my on my left pauldron, I have the ultramarine symbol with the red skull in the center of it. Mm -hmm. But then I also have the same thing on my backpack. I like seeing this kind of like control center down here and seeing the stars out. Just like in Dark Tide. Mm -hmm. It just looks different here because we're Space Marines, obviously. Yeah. You can actually see the system. Yeah. And I guess the warp. Visit the armory. Says the game. Like, hurry up, Charon. And then he's just like, I was waiting on you guys. What are you talking about? We were first in the elevator. <laughs> not fair, guys. Not fair. <laughs> How did you know about Aurora? I saw the name in a mission report, most of which was redacted. I would have preferred to stay in Kadaku and hunt down the heretics that dishonored our brothers. We will find them on Abrax. Unless Luz is already dead. Whatever those tech priests are working on is still here, in this system. I expect the greatest battle is yet to come. Titus. I heard that you collapsed upon encountering the tainted wreckage. I am concerned. A mere side effect of the surgery. I am fully recovered. Sergeant Gadriel, I trust that you will be close at hand should your brother suffer any further episodes. Yes, Brother Chaplain. If the arch enemy is indeed present, 
Any weakness could grow into a cancer of the soul. Bind yourself to the pages of the Codex, and it will shield you from the glare of heresy. My faith is without compromise. I will not waver. Cool, so in other words, I was given orders not to trust you. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Alright, well, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> No, you in order to be concerned about me. Yeah, but innocence proves nothing. <laughs> Man, everyone heard my incident. <laughs> Man, <laughs> who told everyone? <laughs> Hey, 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 no, no, <laughs> brother, I'm so glad I, I'm brother, so glad I'm, I'm pinned I, here. I, what did you say? You're so glad. I said, I said, I'm so glad I'm not Titus. Mm -hmm. Brother, they are putting something up there to, to examine. Then I have duties to attend to. You have the blessings of the Omnisire. One question. What do you know about Archmagos Nozick's research? Such knowledge would only grace the peaks of Olympus Mons. I am certainly not privy to the subject of his activities. I only pray there remain records of his discoveries. Damn. What did you see when they took you away, by the way? Because for me, it just went to, like outside the ship, and it just showed the ship's in orbit, and then it came back. You see, I uh, saw a big spear thing that was entering behind, and, you know, they're bending me over. No, I also saw the ships. <laughs> <laughs> ah, new weapons. When will they give me my rifle for grenade launcher? Oh, it's just not even an option here. I have to actually find it as a weapon. Oh, I can have a power sword now. Cool. Well, that's nice. That, that sounds like an Aww. option. I, I, I see the thunder hammer and it says not available for this operation. Aww. It's not a power sword, I guess. It's so cool. The fuck? Uh... Time to go! I left the armory thing and then the entire ship was shaking and apparently we entered somebody's orbit or something. Huh. Is that so? Um... Hold on. Yeah, I, I hear him like critical hour and all this other stuff, and I'm just like, what the hell happened? Yeah, so I equip my power sword and I exited that, and the, the whole ship was shaking like massively. Brother, then, you, um, did, you did not just take the sword from the stone. <laughs> and then Charon was like, what's going on? And then the one of the Magos guys came on the intercom and was like, we we ventured, um, you know, atmosphere. Uh, Something, 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 and binary, and then it stopped. Mm -hmm. So, whatever that means. Indeed. Also, hi there, Willow. Appreciate you stopping in. I'll say, I'm looking at the stats, and it, it looks like the power storage is straight up better. Like, yeah. entirely. They're all balance defense. Has more speed. Yet, weirdly, strength 5 is a plus with chainsword, but 
solid five on power sword. And also, um, four plus on chain sword, but only a solid five. It's so weird. Watch we go on the next mission, there's like power swords everywhere. <laughs> I walked out into into this big room, and then there, there a bunch of shuttles, like ours, just took off and flew away. Mm -hmm. There's like 20 of them. So I don't know if we're gonna see other space marines in this mission or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's, there's some over here. Efficiency levels at the low optimal. Explain. Damage. Define the damage. Spine compromised. Have you not received pain suppressants? Suppressants administered. Damage severe. <sighs> Report to the surgical bay. We cannot replace the discs. You'll be put to some other use. Compliance. Ooh, that must suck. You're, yeah. you're gonna become a serviger. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not gonna be a fun time. Come on, Sharon. <laughs> but I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't trust you anymore. Titus, more like tight ass. Full of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> tight ass. First one ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, more like I bend you over on chair. Tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Titus, stop. I said, look at me. Stop, Titus. We have, I ordered all of us to take off our helmets. It's also funny how both you and I are just staring at Tehran. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> staring at him. And then when we make eye contact, we then, like, quickly, like, shift our gaze to the left. <laughs> like, I wasn't staring at you. There's a bat. I see me just constantly staring at him, and he's just he, and his head's turned to the left, just reading the mission wall. <laughs> yeah. And you're just sitting there staring directly at him. <laughs> this is as close as I can get you. You will need to take the cargo elevator from here. Fox in when you're ready to leave. Understood. My thanks, brother. Ah, decapitation. The lab is within that spire. There's the cargo elevator. Look at all those spores. That'll be one hell of a fight. Oh, this might be the third level. The power sword has different attacks. Oh yeah, you're you're right. Probably just because it doesn't have a shield. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's so weird having a power sword without a shield. Funny, people were asking if we could get a power sword without a shield in co-op, and the devs said no. Operation without full but we have it in single player. You may override safety protocols so. via the control room at your own risk. I don't know. Looks like the control room. I feel like they're pulling the uh, Helldiver level of, we can't do that, but then we did it. <laughs> I mean, at first I thought, I was like, I was like, okay, well, is it like a, like a GW thing? Like, GW, you know, the whole yeah. thing with um, Warrior Priest and Vermicide, you know, with a flail and everything. And then GW fine said, fine, you can have a flail if it has a shield type of thing. Mm -hmm. But we have just one-handed power sword here, so, I mean... I able to have yeah. Powers board it's like it's like it's what we approved of the story all those years ago. We do not approve of modern co-op missions. Yeah, I, uh... it! Give no oh yeah. <laughs> Everywhere but here. What you call this? These are leftovers. 
Good kill. Now that's a pretty cool building. It's so weird looking directly up and seeing the scale of everything. So it does change the kill animation depending on what mode you're in. I picked up a guardy relic. Nice, a heavy bolt pistol. I love how I had a perfect frame dodge it. I'm like the million times I had to do that and it can't go up. This is too easy. I just ran through it because I'm a space marine. The quickest way up is over mm -hmm. the rooftops ahead. Clear the debris and proceed. Our turn is the entire city, given the chance. here. Chainsword. Auto bolts rifle. <gasps> ah, showing off your big musclades, brother. I mean, I think I would have just cut through it with a power mm -hmm. sword. Yeah. But, you know. They had a they had to make the exception in case you had a chainsword. <laughs> They have the high ground, brother. Ah, sniper. Ah, so they took off one armor, so it means they're killing me. Oh, I can't get over there. So true. To the right, brother. We can go up from the right. Shock grenades. Resupplying. Bridge controls ahead, brother. This will get us to the objective. Bridging the gap. Also message me on this. Special tactic at the ready. On. Gears are grinding like an orc contraption. Could take a while. <laughs> an orc contraption. The Tyranids are staging oh, a the timing of things. Eliminate them. I'm overheated. I'm now no longer overheated. Brother, dodge. No! I don't have to dodge. I'm a space marine. Oh, that is correct, brother. Hey, someone is messaging me a lot. On so I gotta check that. Who is it? Oh, I know who. I'm getting attacked by stuff. Okay, I gotta fix that when I can. Oh, kind of stuff all over. Yes. Come on, I can do it like that. All right, I returned. I appreciate the cover. We may now cross the bridge. I will set it we'll actually to, to um. Sir, you seem to be at full strength again. Did the apothecaries identify the cause of your collapse? No. Focus on the mission, Sergeant. As you wish, my lord. Damn. So you don't know. 
But they they just didn't find anything. They couldn't they, they couldn't explain the reasoning. Changing magazine. And it's also I didn't I don't think it was necessarily a pocket there um or whatever the heck he said it was a I always said it like a bajillion times correctly before but um it, they they didn't have time for that they they only had time for the mechanicus guy to do it on me to do a quick diagnostic and it wasn't a deep one yeah, and the chap yeah. Controls to restore power. Uh, it wasn't deep, it was just a rim job. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did you check the records, brother? Indeed, I have. I saw the initial back entrance scan. <laughs> <laughs> Now what did this do? It worked. Let's get down there. Practical. There's a shortcut across the rooftops to the east. Good. Proceed. In indeed we shall proceed. What motive do these creatures have to attack this facility? They have no need for the technology. They're like seeds carried. Oh, I see a bold sniper rifle. I have a feeling we'll have to use this, so I'll take it. What's up, man? Just run through in a melee like a real space marine. Oh, things never change, now do they? Let us get to work. You know, if we were playing on veteran, they would like we would use all our ammo and we would just get through one Majoras. It wouldn't even be a Majoras, it would be a a, a final. <laughs> Sadly true. Sadly true. Or a salt spy would say, very true, very true. <laughs> Indeed. Hmm. Troubling. <laughs> I find your lack of faith. Disturbing. <laughs> it actually does say that. I didn't want to sue your kill, I just wanted to help set it up for you. you always <laughs> like no, I don't. All the time. I could have done more. You have no idea, because I didn't sue your kill. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> oh, they have poison. As I just stand there, taking rounds for you, as a distraction. Yes. As, as only they gave you a shield. Yes, sir. I was just like standing in front of you, getting sniped like multiple times, um, as you were shooting them. Mm -hmm. Using power armor as power armor should be used. Yeah. As power armor. Through that opening. Ah, oh, yeah, was an opening in the floor. Totally not a trap. Not at all. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Got some medical stims over here. <laughs> you wish for me to humiliate you again, brother! 
You failed. Crap, man. It's actually fun to just run casually in and hit firing enemies. Yeah. I just casually run in getting shot a hundred times just to shoot, you know, hit them with melee. With just a few strokes and just devastation. Agreed. As, as space rain should be. That lock behind us. All right. Brother, I'm detecting a turret section. I'm sensing a disturbance in the level. Not the force, the level. This platform is very exposed. Expect a bumpy ride. If I'm not mistaken. You've had bad luck with cargo elevators. That was a long time ago. I prefer not to discuss it. At least you made it out alive, which is more than we can say for the orcs. <laughs> it appears we have their attention. And they have ours. A fortunate for them. That's a lot. Cunning little Zedos. Protect those chains. No, you have a melter. I must get in rain. <laughs> you must get in rain. I'll shoot the ones at the top then. I have acquired rain. <laughs> 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 It worked, brother. It worked. It was very effective. Oh, I'll challenge gonna getting jumped from behind. Yeah. I didn't know the inspection was coming this soon. This is my goodness, I will never get over how there are so many. And then also orcs and all caps. I know Willow started checking out more of uh, Warhammer lore and stuff. Don't some the orcs. The game's, the game's just like, come on, Gadriel, pick up a bolt rifle. I'm like, never. Never, brother. I have melted. It's like reverse Mandalorian. It's like, it's, it's against my religion. <laughs> Shooting them, brother. I am acquiring ammo. Oh, it says inspection. <laughs> I love your wit. Oh, I appreciate it. You appreciate it. No! <laughs> Get off of him! Shall break him, brother. And you finish. Oh! Get him, brother. Nice. <laughs> that was like true co-op action. <laughs> that was awesome.
Yeah. The bolt rifle. Heron just goes over there and stares at him, just like, huh? <laughs> As you're shooting them all. Yeah. Medical supplies. Delta the gun's actually surprisingly good for the. Mm hmm. It's gotta get like right at the base of the thing because you don't have any way in. Right. Also, appreciate you stopping by, Life Lesson. Indeed. Having a uh, ethical chocolate. They, they um really went far with technology to uh, make stuff taste almost exactly as their counterpart that they're trying to mimic. Or do something different and make it its own unique taste. Also, man, that was a long ride. Agreed. You fought admirably. I've had some in my life. Or as I like to refer as my past life. So I feel that. Nothing's getting through that door. Ventilation tunnels. Checking. One floor down. Let's go. There was a word written in blood on Nozick's Thunderhawk. Imura. Do not speak it, brother. The words of the arch enemy hold dangerous power. One should not dismiss any data that may be relevant. Have you ever faced the arch enemy, Sergeant? Regrettably, I have not. Then I suggest you listen to your brother. Oh. <laughs> Getting yeah, rebellious. But yeah, involved. but I'm not I'm not, not the one that gets them here. you know anal scans of the Magos. I wish so. to have words with those traitors. Brother, I am telling you this so that doesn't happen to you. That's how they got me <laughs> in the first place. Brother, no! Not another. I will not let you fall for the scan. The ape. I mean, the, the ape. I mean, the, the scan. <laughs> so that's how I got very well versed in the aspect scan. Ain't that right, Sharon? <laughs> Those vile creatures taint every crevice. How far to the cogitator? With no direct route. It'll take longer than I'd like. Hmm. Weird thing at the very end. Why don't they attack? They're plotting something. What plotting could these insects be capable of? These are mere drones. Then what Tommy Chocolate Chocolatum. Oh, Interesting. Adversary. It sounds like some something in Warhammer you would get. <laughs> Have you eaten your chocolate uh chocolatum? You told me chocolatum. More tyranny <laughs> filth. Right. Ah, nice. Ah yes, we shall both use fire. <laughs> I want to try it out. On my turn with it, brother. Very good. <laughs> like how he hits it on the bike, but on the ground. I actually kind of sadly prefer the Melza rifle over the flamethrower. I can imagine. Melza probably has more. It honestly has more vers versatility, and you shoot so fast. Without any yeah. upgrades, Quanco, which is very great. Look for a nearby access terminal. A reset of the system should work. Met, brother. What happened? Power's down. Must be the reset. Listen, they're in the walls. Ready your bolters. I don't have a bolt. They're coming. Neither do I. I was talking about Sharon. He'll see him with his scan. Uh, 
was having a drink, gosh darn it. Yeah, I see what you mean, just insta-kills everything. Yeah. It makes me turn to a heavy. Yeah. Melee. It's a weird because it's a yeah. primary weapon. Right. But you can't, you know. You also can't pick up regular ammo for it. it you yeah. can only pick up the pyro blaster ammo. Which is kind of strange. But... So that... It's like a special weapon, but it's a primary slot. That is very weird. Which they have a special weapon slot. I don't understand why they didn't do that. This dude came up behind me in the dark. Attacked me. I couldn't see him. And then I illuminated the room. Now it's dead. We proceed yet, game. Power's back. There we go. Proceed through the door. Through the floor. Rally on the I'll say, do you want the um, plane thrower back? Or uh, uh -huh. I am a symbol. He's a simple man, making his way in the universe. Can no, you press it? Oh, cool. I said, I said, I'm a symbol. Oh, a symbol. God, it wouldn't let me press it until you got in. It still wouldn't let me press it until like you were in here for like ten seconds. Our objective is of no concern to them. Their only wish is to kill us. Yeah, another stem. The only stems are this common in co op. <laughs> oh my gosh, if only. This is more like. Yeah, see what you mean about not able to pick up normal ammo with yeah. it. See, like a whole pile here. Yeah. With the Melta, you can just print ammo. Exactly. I guess it's auto. Yo, did it just print multiple heavy bolts? Well, that's so cool. Ooh, Carnifex. It did start melting through them. So when I ran out of ammo, it, it immediately swapped me back to another normal primary. That is so weird. Like a bolter primary? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was the... It's this one. You see what I'm shooting right now? I never ran out of ammo. There's ammo everywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm a matador now. Pontifex down. The <laughs> I got a piece of that statue enough for more sport. It was outnumbered. I once faced a Carnifex alone. It, it wasn't outnumbered. It had like a whole horde of Pyrenees with us. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> yeah. I am glad to share <laughs> the glory of this kill. This facility is in shambles. Such a humble man. Let us hope the data center is intact. Can we access Luz's tracking data from another system? Apparently not. It's this or nothing. So what's moving all that? Is it the facility uh, blowing no up idea. or something else? Not a clue. Soccer bullet rifle. But I'll give it. A, I'll give it a they shot. Will not get oh. Man of research, such a waste of human uh, life. 
It does not surprise me. Did you see this? What the hell? No, I mean all these dead bodies, they all fell from the ceiling. I did not see that. See that 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 box right there? They opened up and and what? just dumped out all these dead bodies, like, right in front of me. And all Adeptus Mechanicus? That is... Yeah. That is weird. That is... Yeah. Mm, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, there was nothing here. Walked up, and all of a sudden, just a bunch of dead bodies just, uh... <laughs> fell on top of me, pretty much. <laughs> uh, strange. Indeed, lifeless and dead servitors. I don't think they are servitors though, because they're wearing robes. Yeah, they they don't look like servitors. Some of them do. This one kind of does. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. <laughs> Double heavy. Get him, brother. Killing the ones behind him. Understood. Tied us with a little quip. <laughs> oh, let, let, let's see how these two fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I was seeing a heavy, heavy fight. It took too long. <laughs> Fair. I do agree. Brothers, I am the support. I am holding him down for you, brothers. Dual function inoperable. Adjust pathing. Xenos, they have us boxed in. A mistake they will soon regret. Perfect. And they all die right when I get here. <laughs> Yeah, it's restored. explosive. Corridor cleared for transit. Advanced by the Omnisire's will. You are the insurance policy. I mean, once they saw the red helmet, they just knew. Hey, uh, Data Slayer. Ah, yes. Okay, she's clearly tempted by chaos. <laughs> like, that explains a lot. Yeah. Do you I mean, question my authority, their authority. Yeah. Also, seeing it on the dead guardsman here with his leg gone. <laughs> Look at what I have found, brother. Brother, now that is the shit. I see weapons. We shall go in close range together. I think we've just effectively swapped roles now. <laughs> oh, there's ammo over here. Munition secure. Restock before we move on. Uh, heavy bolt pistol. Go start you guys in chat. <laughs> I'm, I'm like reading along, just, it's cracking me up. We shall ascend. Aha, I knew it. It's a 50 50 chance. This elevator goes up. Maybe they're not involved after all. Stick to what you know, brother. It's made funny if it went down when I, I said that. Like, into the depths of hell, shit.
Uh, Fun says he's gonna be getting a Mechanicus symbol tattoo uh, tattoo soon. Let's hope the machine spirit has it under control. A meltdown will be catastrophic. We'll disable it once we have the data. The big question though, do you treat your computer as a sacred relic? Do you get incense and everything? Pray to it? Who, me? No, I'm talking a life lesson, but do you as well, preacher, do you? No. I, I do not. I wish I had such luxuries. <laughs> and this is how we ended up inside, um, Martyr. <laughs> I mean, I could if I wanted to, but technology is supposed to serve man, not the other way around. Nah. Pray to the machine spirit. I awaken. Lieutenant Titus, Ultramarine, Second Company. Enter your command. Locate Marius Luz. Access denied. Access rights granted. Establishing locus. Alarax. The city. Temple of Thassian. Vitals are elevated. Our box for a Thunderhawk. Wait. Open file project Aurora. Register intention requisition. Open the file. Oh, it actually opened. Open file reconstruction. Brother, those are classified. We well, are must know. No. It was destroyed. Mechanicus they put it back falls. together. Oh no. Display current location of artifact. Warning. Volkite reactor unstable. Meltdown imminent. Convenient timing. This whole place will collapse onto the city beneath us. Get them off the core. They are throwing themselves into the reactor. We must shut it down before they destabilize it, man. Machine spirit. Power down the reactor. Well, it's a good thing I got a melter. <laughs> Brother, shoot them. You ha you're the only one who has a gun. <laughs> Yeah, but they're too close to each other. That is true. Auto of medical equipment here. Jettison Ammo resupply. Stand by. Jettison? Oh boy. Here they come. Keep them off that reactor. Leroy Titus. <laughs> <laughs> It's like so many, it's so thick. Not even a melting can get through it. Just 
Ah, oh, there's a grenade launcher. Oh, that was oh, very convenient. And another, and another melting. Oh. I think we know the solution, brother. I will comply. Temperatures have fused from its circuits. Manual intervention required. Let me down there. Let me in. Let me in. No no now I saw it back to the melter. Let us get to work. You know what? Taste nades. I've honestly not used any nades at all. A zone throw, brother. Two of them. What is down? No sign of Tyranids. A smell of burnt Icor is enough. We have what we came for. Move to the extraction zone. Well, that was a fast extraction. Yeah. At least we didn't get <laughs> shot down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just Titus was like, move to the extraction zone, and then we just magically appear on the ship. Yeah. So, why do I not remember? You don't want to ask. Why? That involved a type of scanning. Hmm. Target acquired. Interesting achievement. Let's see. What was it? Ascertain the, the location of so and so lose. Amorias, uh, yeah, Morias lose. What did you see in those Mechanicus files? A record of extreme foolishness. Explain. You may direct that request to our captain. Hmm. Yeah, right. So, in other words, you want Give me, me to get chewed out. Got it. Captain, a minute. Yeah. the Adeptus Mechanicus must be stopped. What? they trigger the weapon, the results could be catastrophic. And what makes you suddenly an expert on Mechanica's research? They're using an artifact to power the weapon. I've seen it before, on a planet named Gryia. A traitor by the name of Nemroth called it a fragment of the Dark God's power. It almost destroyed the planet. Gryia. Titus. The Mechanicus are acting on orders approved by the Primarch. And here are you. Talking of Gryia, of all places. Damn it, Captain, if chaos is here, if they get their hands on this thing. Enough! I will hear no more on the subject. Now, did you get a location for Luz? Aye, sir. Then get down there and find him! Titus is like, damn it, we were gonna lose the trail, but look what you did. Luz, <laughs> <laughs> who would see you sent back to the Inquisition? Ooh. Tread carefully, brother. Good soldiers follow orders. Awkward silence. They blacken the sky with their abhorrent buboes. Track targets and commence firing. 
So that's how you pronounce it. I always thought it was pronounced Adeptus Arbitus or something, but apparently it's Adeptus Arbitus. Hmm. Interesting. From all we learn. So what are you guarding up here? With all this lovely, beautiful stained glass. With the Emperor in the back. What are your secrets? So I love how there's like a legit throne up here. But I'm assuming that's the engine of the ship. And say, am I right with that? Be it being the engine, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think anybody knows what the engine of the ship is, because nobody knows how these things work anymore. <laughs> True. I like to think that we uh, go up to the captain and we're just like, Sir, is that the engine? Nah, Titus. That's the nav computer. The ship. What's that in front of you? That's a nav computer for us. That's behind me. Is a nav computer for the actual ship. <laughs> he just goes, nah. That's the, that's the head. Brother, we're, we're, we're good space marines go to relieve them. So. No joke, oh, sir. no. You criticize the captain for the oh, no. intelligence. It's routinely cleaned every day, but surely. Titus, don't you know you had that surgery that made you naturally fall on your knees? <laughs> Good soldiers follow orders. You face corruption. Let me heal you, my uh, my child. <laughs> Chaplain, no. No one expects the Catholic Inquisition. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, that ship is messed up. Immediately, Mechanicus started going over there for repairs and checking on everything. Some of them, one of the first things that they went to was the weapons. They're like, please do not detonate. Please do not detonate. Well, they're probably more like, we must salvage the weapons. Yeah, honestly, yeah. But, but what about the crew inside? It matters not. The weapons matter. I'm sorry, I missed everything that was going on here because you ran up here. What did you say? What? I just came up here to see what weapons are. Yeah, the the, the tech priest over here at the armory was talking to you, which I assume probably was me. Oh, but that, I was listening to another conversation I, back there. I, I have no idea. I walked up here, he, he didn't say anything, and I came up here to see what new weapons there were, and then I was in there, I didn't hear anything, <laughs> so I have, I have no idea. That is hilarious. It swapped all my weapons back to default, by the way, so mm -hmm. I had to change them all back again, for some reason. Understood, understood. But, uh, so I have no idea what this guy was saying. Uh, probably nothing important. Appreciate it, uh, Willow. Mechanicus. Keep it, you keep it up as well, bad sister. Also, he's got uh, an uh, autopsy. Antiviral response distributed within 36 hours. Full immunity achieved within one generation. Package what? Plus scans plus biological samples for immediate dispatch. That is disturbing. You know that virus bomb we, we gave at the very beginning of the game? In one generation, it became immune to that. <laughs> and one generation for Tyranids is like a day. Yeah. Oh. 
Get the so, accurate counts on our reserve of melted charges. Yeah, there is an unacceptable discrepancy here. Lifelon says, LOL, your virus bomb only worked for a few hours. <laughs> Damn. I mean, honestly, it probably was closer to like a few hours rather than a day because all the ones that were there died. Mm -hmm. Time to and then the Tyranids consume their dead because they're so biomass. Almost and they probably time. just all mass evolved immediately. The day so. on me, brother, yeah. is the day they lay me to rest. Yeah. That, day may be that is wild. Approaching. <laughs> Caution, brother. You have not seen him cornered as I have. The only thing more resilient than Tyranids is orcs, because orcs, like, you go and you destroy, like, everything, and you destroy literally every single thing there. If there's even, like, one, like, microscopic cell of an orc, it'll just repopulate the entire planet with orcs, because it's a fungus, because that makes sense, I guess. Damn. Tyranids, like, destroy everything. They don't actually live anywhere. So eventually the Tyranids will kill themselves. Oryx will just live forever. And we'll advance in technology to then travel to other places. Yeah. Exactly. Because Oryx were created by the Old Ones originally to fight Did chaos. Yeah, wasn't no. it for um, the whole Necron area no. of all that? No. No, it was it, 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 it was to fight chaos originally. Okay, because um. So that's why Oryx are like 100% immune to chaos. Um, and then they were so good at fighting chaos, and then the Necrons didn't even exist as Necrons yet. They were the Necron tier or something. Yeah, were, um, yeah, not ne Necron tier, and then they got were, enslaved and yeah, all that. Yeah, well, yeah, well, they were already enslaved to um. I forgot who the some, their their some, god thing. Yeah, some some race because they gods. wanted immortality. Yeah, I forgot what their gods' names were, but then the Necron tier rebelled and became the Necrons, and then Oryx, who just happened to be really good at fighting Necrons, because Oryx were made to be you know like the perfect soldiers pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then they fight Necrons, and then they're they're also perfectly adapted to fighting Tyranids, because Tyranids consume biomass. And orcs are fungus. So Tyranids will eat orc, but orcs will just constantly, like, repopulate too fast. And Tyranids destroy every planet that they go to because they eat everything. And orcs will just live on the planet forever and just populate the planet with hundreds of billions of trillions of orcs. Again, because they're a fungus. Mm -hmm. And so um. basically they just, they just repopulate too fast for even Tyranids to really deal with. But most of the time, Tyranids don't even bother, like, fighting orcs because, like, it'll just take too long. Which is kind of funny because, like, all Tyranids care about is food, and you think that fighting orcs would be the perfect food supply because they're just repopulating all the time. Right. But for some reason, they just kind of don't. I was going to say, the only reason what I mentioned earlier was I watched, like, a very, like, long video, and it was, it was explaining how that the old gods that, uh, that were owning, like not necessarily owning, but was basically owning the Necrons prior. Well, they, they weren't owning them, they were just simply existing, and the Necrons wanted mortality, got pissed off got pissed off at them for not doing it, and then the Necrons went for, with another group, I'm trying to remember their name, that then enslaved them, and then they got and rebelled back uh, with the whole Grand Rebellion. But um, yeah. the reason why I said that is because apparently the old gods... Um, again, I don't know this, this is with the lore video, or what have you, but it was saying how they created the orcs and also, um, another race, I don't know if it was the elves or what have you, or something, to try stemming the tide of, like, the Necrons and all that stuff, but it was just, it, it was already too late, and they got completely wiped out, like, full genocide. And, and also, Life Lesson was saying here, um, earlier, changing a little bit of the topic, but back to earlier, where the virus bomb... And he was saying how um, it literally just turned everything into a sludge, and that they couldn't, they they didn't consume uh, the dead. Um, they they can't consume the dead. First, one destroys all the bonds of bio uh, matter, turning into a useless sludge. Different time, the planet was like pure radiation. They died super fast. They don't just want food. They look for efficiency. Fighting for food isn't efficient. And then he says the elves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm trying to remember, it, it was a Drakir, I'm trying to remember, 
it, it obviously there's like so bajillion things that have been like bombarded at me. I'm like, I need time to review and digest things. And not counting that this game is also adding new things, but I think this is something more I can relate to because of the fact that like I could see it happening as opposed to being told in a book kind of style. Yeah, I know, Life Lessons, there's lots of lore. I mean, there's like literally 60 books just for the Horus Heresy, if I recall. And then they constantly retcon shit all the time, too. Right. Which, I think that's also what's kind of annoying, I imagine. It's like, you'll have someone say something that's relevant, and everyone's, like, who read the stuff prior is like, that's not, like, nah, uh that's not true. That's doesn't make any sense, and it's just people getting mad at each other. That's also why I said originally orcs were made to fight chaos, because mm -hmm, right. that was that was the original lore. I don't know if they ever retconned it or not, but that was the original lore that I read, was that the old ones were trying to fight chaos, and they were like, well, I mean, every other race can just get corrupted by chaos, so we need to create a race that can't be corrupted by chaos and also loves to fight and can just never run out of forces, so in sports yeah but it makes sense that like if the because the old ones eventually disappeared nobody knows what happened to them mm -hmm. but just like in fantasy they kind of just fucked off except in fantasy the old ones left because of chaos like directly because of chaos in 40k i have no idea but they just kind of disappeared and then everything else is kind of went to shit but i believe the 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 necrons originally worshipped the old ones i think and then they left to worship the um katan or katan or some shit yeah like yeah it was a katan that and was then, who, yeah and then the these they, they these turned ant off. alien things were like bioluminescent species or some shit the necrons were like oh these must be gods and then they became enslaved and then had to fight against I believe they were forced to fight against the old ones. Yes, yeah. That's what it was. And saying. then they and then they fought against orcs, but that was before they were like Necrons. They like they weren't they weren't yeah. fought yet. Yeah. But um And then they, you know, rebelled against their new gods and then became these robot Egyptian things. Mm hmm And um stuff, but uh, a life lesson says they yeah. took a nap, and I don't know if he's referring to the old <laughs> ones or the other ones, but I, but as far as I heard, the old ones either effed off or either they were completely wiped out. Allegedly, they say yeah. it's wiped out, but we all know in these worlds, everything is up to interpretation or is waiting to be revealed later on. And then, um, on top of that, took a nap. Yes, the Necrons did take a nap, and then Mechanicus knocked on the tomb and pissed them right off. <laughs> And then uh, Life Lesson said, Now let's talk about the best race, dot 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 dot, the Tau. <laughs> no. No, how about F future Destiny looking boys? No, I'm, 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 I'm yeah. fine. Alright, on to the next yeah. mission, yeah. Battle Brother. Are we not concede another loss to our enemies? Keep the deck. Ready yourselves. Brother, you seem troubled. I tire of reckless fools. I hope you do not mean us. Not unless you worship the Omnisire. Ho <laughs> ho ah, Then I share your distaste. Which is weird also because in fantasy the old ones created every race Little on the planet. Wretches have been found crawling through mm -hmm. water pipes, sewage, oh. ventilation. They are everywhere. 40k I believe that some of the races existed somehow. Like humans, for instance. I don't. I don't think the old ones created humans. But in fantasy, they created every species on the planet. Let us grind the chitinous curs deep into the parched soil of Avarax. A vivid picture. I speak only as one who is stirred by the words of our Primarch. I prefer action to colorful speech. Here's our assault. There he is, our boy. He has a, he has a malfunctioning backpack. That's all. <laughs> He's here like he got he got yeah. he got messed up in the crash. <laughs> I am a member of the team. I am completely utterly worthless, but I'm still a member of the team. He's like, watch me, watch. Hey, you may you may say that now, but watch me one patch from now. They're gonna pull a hell divers. <laughs> And then here's the here's the heavy like yes I carry every mission I'm in because I'm the only one worth flying. 
and then watch me in one patch from now be balanced. As in, Tactical gets left very powerful with his grenade launcher. And then Vanguard is going to be like, and watch me zip everywhere, but then have everyone damage the enemy. Thus, I get cut off and I'm left in the middle of an entire horde that I was supposed to zip through. Fun. Vanguard, like, the only thing that <laughs> At least I got my Melta. Co-op is Melta, right? <laughs> yeah. So one. In PvP, I'm insane, but in, uh, in, in, in co-op, all I got is a Melta, right? The bright thing is, I have the knife. But sadly, even though I'm mostly a mix-up melee hybrid, somehow the sniper is a be better melee character than me. <laughs> because he can charge, and the way you can spec out your knife with invisibility and just insta-kill a ball, it's just... Wh what is up with this world? <laughs> now that is true grimdark. <laughs> Let's see, Life Lesson was saying, uh... <laughs> Life Lesson earlier says, You shut your mouth, the towel uh, off of the greater good. <laughs> yeah. And he says the orcs we fight are different than the one the old ones created too, by the way. The ones they created were smarter. Uh, Krork uh, or something. They seeded yeah. humanity as I well. I heard about that, but I, I don't know anything about Krorks, but I, I read about... Like, I read the name. I like having I like how having a discussion about one little topic, no matter how vague it is, interwovens in many different areas of lore that people can just go back and retouch back up on so many times. Yeah. Like orcs. Like we talked about orcs a lot. Despite them not being in the game, but despite being in the first game. <laughs> yeah. I want them back, by the way. Come on, GW. Is located inside the dome section of the city. We'll have to land outside and make our approach. Nice no, it's our turn. We have plot armor. How could we? Yeah, see, he said lock armor. That means lock your plot armor. <laughs> <laughs> plot armor lock. And this is 40k, and we're named Space Marines without helmets. We'll be fine. Mm, yes. See, brother, fine. do you see my face? Yes, brother. Then we are fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no! I oh no! I'm gonna die! Quickly, go into the pause menu and turn off helmet. Nah, man, my helmet looks cool. I know, my helmet also looks cool, so I'm just gonna not. The Emperor protects. Make haste. We have considerable ground to cover. Oh, I Following orders. I was told to make haste, so I'm running through it. Indeed, bro. Brother, they for once broke my armor. Now those are awesome buildings. Special tactic at the ready. Soccer bolt rifle, cigar bolt, and Oculus bolt. I have a feeling there's going to be rain this year. Yeah. That's what the sprint button's for. Hey, another space marine. Who's also a sergeant like me. Good job, brother. Reloading. 
I know you said. I was out of range of my melt, so I screamed and died. I know you said it's for my crack, but it sounded like he was shouting as he was killing and taking off their head. For my crack! <laughs> yeah. Crack grenade, sir. No. <laughs> well, what do you mean, sir? Chiron, that's what you found. Chiron. Your squad. Gone. Neurothrope tore them to pieces. So, like, no way how it was spelled. We need to get across the bridge. <laughs> yeah, Lieutenant, no, right. nothing gets across with that beast up there. What are we up against? It has its rear covered, and we do not have the manpower to break through. The Cadians are holding the bridge. I like to think that all these space, cost. like, all these ultramarines just use an inside joke to just keep making fun of his we'll name and different no-names, so they never say it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> like, they know how to say it correctly, they say everything other than how it's spelled. Watch yourself. <laughs> also, Life Lesson was saying, never trust a space marine with a helmet to live. And he's also loved the gothic era style. I want to build a house in old gothic. I need to replay the campaign. They touched by crack and I have a slight problem now. <laughs> oh no. Grenades, brother. Ugh. Maybe blind, but I have spirit. Chiron, how do you know Varellus? Oh, so now my character calls him Chiron. Ah, oh, yeah, the so brother, because it's like Gadriel's like I don't know how to pronounce your name. So you know, you okay, hold on, hold, hold, brother, hold up, hold up, brother. Let's hear him talk first, and then I got something to say. Okay. <laughs> Agreed, but first I must point out something. I like to think all the voice actors, other than the Chiron voice actor, knew how to say the name. And are like, shit, we want to say this name, but we, we're not sure how to pronounce this, and we don't want to waste all this valuable time and effort and money. Um, let's just wait on the third day until we get confirmation. The third day. All right, Chiron. Everyone keeps. We we, we miss a lot of opportunities. To say Chiron. But uh. Which yeah. is weird because people call you Titus and they call me Gadriel, but this guy yeah. they just never called him anything. Until now. Never. Until this. Yeah. Uh, until yeah. this mission. Yeah. Honestly, just give it a few moments, I'll start hearing the enemy saying, Chiron, Chiron, and we're like, we get it. Hmm, <laughs> munitions. Munition secured. Brother, we are ambushed. Ah. Yes, this thing. This way. You made a mistake. Oh. <laughs> I can see you still standing there. <laughs> oh, you messed up. You messed up, son. <laughs> Just try tossed away like trash in the pile. What did you find, brother? Well, it told me to come over here, and now it tells me to come back over here. It's, it's so that Chiron could be like, Brother, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> well, you're not paying attention, and you just start okay, hitting well, him with your power. I, I am going to go look and see what's over here. Yeah. The game told me to go over here, over here, and look like there's other stuff over here, and then it told me to come back over there, so... How does this guardman have a heavy bolt pistol? <laughs> Look bigger than his entire arm over here. Armaments here. Alive. He's dead. His side is side, but there's nothing else. So that's weird. 
I'll say this lifeless says they use oh, it like a rifle. Yeah. This is just the way that we came in, but mm -hmm. it's like from a different angle. So kind of strange. But also they don't use them except under special circumstances. That's fair. <laughs> lifeless said earlier. Hello, new name for my main character no one knows. Chiron or Sherion, because he said C H A I R O N. I would sooner focus on the mission at hand. You are withholding information relevant to the mission at hand. Mind yourself, Sergeant. Your behavior has been erratic. You force your way into classified files. You tell us nothing. Gatrio, we deserve to know who is leading us. This conversation is. Gatrio, stop being a gad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure from what my how my guy talks and my overall play style, I'm gonna fall the core. Yeah. Any any second now. Mm hmm Any As second. Only now. space marines are allowed. Them and the sisters. Frankly because you don't tell a sister no. <laughs> yeah. That plus for whatever reason the the sisters have more funding than even the space marines do. Yes. <laughs> they get literally whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Infinite black budget because, you know, they do. Space marines are like, we're the best of the best. Battle scissors are like, yeah, Brother, really? There is a so. data slate here. Really? Yes. I will wait until you return. I have no idea where you even are. Observe this Why are you way the fuck back here? There's enemies up this way. There's a data slate this way. Yeah. But blood for the blood guy. I mean, it, Emperor. <laughs> Brother, no! Can't. I can't tell if he's talking about a woman or no, right. All I do know is he's hard. He's like the when you oily have... joints of her smooth, <laughs> splinter body. I'm just like, oh. Um, he just okay. has an Adeptus Mechanicus girlfriend, that's all. Good. Okay, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, finally, it. I have found enemies. Ready your men. You We're about to oh, take yes. down the neuro Good. Feet, brother. Make it suffer. But I had it. <laughs> Funny how the plasma pistol is like as big as a guardsman's in, like entire torso. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they just get a lot of duct tape to hold it in place to take one shot. <laughs> I was actually a legit boss. Yeah, that's why I'm running over there to kill him. Let's go get him. You fool. We've played relic mode. I'm shooting the horde off of you. I'm just ignoring the horde. Because I can do that, but I have a melt. Ah, yes. Ah, the horde finally broke my armor. Let me shoot one shot and kill him. But unlike in co-op, we can just regenerate everything. <laughs> we you actually can't. Oh, I, I lost like health earlier, and I just shot one shot into the ward to just regen all my health. Back. So you actually can't. I, I, but then again, I, I didn't have like you know a bunch of health missing. I just had a bunch of contested health mm -hmm. and just shot just heal. So I, I don't know if you can like straight up heal lost health like you can't heal off. Running low on ammo. Oh, ammo's ammo. up here, brother. There's ammo box up here. Yeah, I found ammo down here too. Melt a bomb deployed. Got you. Could not get me now. Take my pain. 
We're going to skin you. Get him, brother. Your arch nemesis. It's like, no, I'll get you in multiplayer. I pulled a knife out of nowhere and just like literally stabbed him. I think you saved it just for him. I have acquired a new skull. By the Primark. <laughs> this poor salamander, day by day, gets corrupted Master towards corn. Heading for the bridge. Status report. Damage is worse than I thought. Tech are working. Unless like you pull you his arm it, off and stabbed updated. him with it. <laughs> Brothers, if you proceed. think about it, the only real difference between like the salamander. And a corn worshipping space marine is salamanders actually try to help humanity. Mm -hmm. That's kind of it. They both love melee, they both love fire. Uh, they both make weapons. Only one's green and one's red. Mm -hmm. Kinda makes sense why I've always liked corn out of all this out of all the chaos gods. Especially in fantasy. Corn in fantasy is more like a he actually cares about his followers, or 40k is kind of just like, yeah, I don't care, just go kill shit. I don't care about it. Like, the whole story with, like, Valkia and everything just shows that Korn actually does care about his followers. But she doesn't exist in 40k versions. She's, like, one of the coolest characters in all of fantasy, but she doesn't exist here. Destroy their mines before they hit. I don't care. Yes. Let them hit me. Come on, hit me is all I can see of you. Clean efficiency. Oh yes, black screen. Ah yes. Need a ride, brothers. Sergeant, good to see you. I don't know what kind of tank that is. Thought you could use an extra hand. Oh, welcome up. Climb on. I was kind of hoping we'd like ride on the tank. Yeah. Have to shoot it. Have a turret section. <laughs> oh no, not like turrets, no, I mean, just like right. riding on the tank shooting with your bolt or something. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Oh, that's what I meant. That's what a turret section is. <laughs> no, a turret section, you're firing a turret on the tank. No, a turret section means anything when you're riding on any vehicle. Yeah, but it's not a turret. You're, you're shooting. not shooting a turret. Right? No, a turret is because you're stationary, but you're on something that you're not controlling. Well, that's fucking dumb. stupid. That's not what no, a turret is. That's the, the, <laughs> that's the gaming version. That's what, that's what, that's the technical Reach version. Well, it's wrong. Alright. This is wrong. A turret is a turret. Oh, I know. I, I understand what you meant. I'm just saying in gaming terms, that's what it's meant by developers. In old her. Perhaps there was a communication error. The captain insisted. The deserters. No, no, no. We have our orders. Box your captain. If you are deserters, 
I'll execute you myself. Where's your purple eyes, boy? Captain Fairburn, come in. Captain Fairburn, come in. Ambush. Damn. <laughs> Ain't that a zinch? Ah, oh, yeah. Thousands. I hate these bastards. You will burn! Traitor! Heretic is started! Traitors of the Thousand Sons! Cowards! You will pay for what you've done! I know you wanted that one, yeah. so I just stopped. <laughs> even even that execution, yeah, my character is totally uh, totally a loyalist, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, totally. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm totally a loyal. Brother, totally. brother, totally we're, we're taking him for interrogation. <laughs> brother, no! <laughs> I mean, hey, they say stoke the fire is great. No doubt. That matters not from whence the blood flows. Brother, what is this? Heresy, I hear. It's against the Codex. <laughs> Show me, show me one instance where it's actually against the Codex. That's the joke, brother. Is that... Exactly. I'm saying See, you should look, listen to the Codex look, when look, I look, casually disregard look, it all the time look, for my own convenience. Honorable combat, camaraderie between brothers, and killing the enemy with ruthless efficiency. How is any of that against the Codex? Or what the Imperium stands for? Brother. Just oh, for the Emperor. Skulls. And, and, and skulls. <laughs> You know, you know how the Imperium loves skulls and everything, right? Right? Brother, why do I see skulls everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Were these here also, all the time? <laughs> it also makes sense. Yeah. If you look at my character's armor, he literally has red skulls. <laughs> no unnamed man. Unnamed badass. How could he die? Oh, he's gonna die. Oh no, we gotta cover. I bet now you wish you were that character, huh? Aha! <laughs> uh, you... uh -huh, enemies are here! I can do something! <laughs> you fool! You should have stayed away! My character is like, they seem impervious to your weapons as I'm killing them. Like, okay. 
And previous our weapons if we were playing on veteran, brother. <laughs> if we were playing co op. <laughs> yeah. Got him, brother. Carry on. Ah, yes. This thing. Caught. Changing magazine. Indeed. I'm covering him, brother. Back to the wall. That's not what I meant to throw. I was gonna toss normal frag grenades. You don't get to live. So you kill me with your melter all the way from here, brother. Very deftly efficient. I believe my brother Gadriel has been corrupted by corn. I must tell the Inquisition. Just like at the very end of the first game. Oh wait, I didn't! Someone did that to me! <laughs> also, life, uh, life lessons are earlier. The tank um, that you didn't know was a Razorback. It's a troop transport. Also, you're saying? Like, I have a red helmet. I have a red skull on my shoulder. A red skull on my back. You don't have- Brother, you must calm yourself! Ah, oh, yeah, class unit. Cool. And a bolt sniper rifle. And a marksman bolt carbine. Brother, you this gotta will grab be fun. Brother. Grab a rifle, brother. Never. Alright, brother. The enemies are out of range. Yes, that's what the sprint button is for. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, an enemy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chiron's been corrupted too. Yeah. Let me just whip that guy into the uh into that chair and just broken him to pieces. Hey, another last fuse. Love that one. Game's like pick up a sniper rifle. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'll be fine. Very good. I want covering him. They're like, you would have to cover him if he was your third player partner and you guys are playing on veteran, but you're not. I wonder what actually happens in this second if you have three players. One of them just on his own or just never yeah. Oh no, I, I think they're straight up on their own. That's why they have all these sniper rifles to cover that player. Because it's so out in the open, like you kind of have to. But, since we have an AI teammate, you don't have to worry about that. Just to regroup and I, I can't. Yeah, we have to kill all the uh, main Majora's enemies. We just killed one. Well, then why doesn't it say that? Why does it just say regroup? Exactly. It's uh, it's it, it's Warhammer logic. You know how it is from even Vermintide. Like don't say it, but we have to kill all of them. Again, because we're all corrupted by corn. It just makes sense. Yeah, see, I killed. You did. That was new enemies, brother. Yeah, they didn't make it out. <laughs> Brother, you're so efficient. I'm even the best sniper in the entire Imperium. You are, brother. Not even Chiron can beat your high score. His blood rage knows no bounds. Sergeant, check the perimeter. Yes, brother. You're going to time out. Explain yourself. Need I justify my hatred? 
You need justify your recklessness. The traitors have a debt to me. And you would throw away your life to collect? Death is my duty! Your duty is to the Emperor. No, it's for corn. You will die when and where he so chooses, not over some personal vendetta. Do you understand? Lieutenant, you should see this. some kind of shield the altars same ones we encountered earlier they must generate the shield destroy them then purge these abominations from the face of this world I mean I'm literally getting behind that so uh proceed preacher proceed you will soon learn that when dealing with heretics Nothing is as it seems. Ah, a plasma incinerator. Mm. A power sword and a bolt carver. Cool. Classified files may be of chaos origin. Why must it destroy it? It is immensely powerful. They believe they can control it. And you're just gonna hand it over to loot. Let it continue. These are my orders. War gear ready. What are they doing? It matters not. Kill exactly, it matters not from which the blood flows. Be careful, I let my dog off his leech, and he is hungry for skulls. See, raise the armor of your contempt. Yep, yeah, I told you. It shrinks from us. Then keep close and endure. We must disrupt the spell. Precisely, brother. Precisely. The heretics sent such a mega force to meet us. Show them the error of their ways. Or abominations that wish to die. Leave these monstrosities to me.
I love how you and I in the sink just pulled out our plasma and started shooting them. Oh no, that was probably Chiron. My bad, my bad. I confused his blood rust with you. Because he was doing what you were doing. I saw you and then you just went into blur and it doesn't help that all these enemies and ourselves are also blue. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should be red. Exactly. I should also be red. For knowledge. I mean, I, I do have a red helmet, so... Yeah. And we also, like, I also kind of have a red helmet with being the lieutenant and all that, and a little bit of red apparel. You don't get to have fun. As hollow as your fallen brother's damn. is undone. Lieutenant Titus, the Lance of Jove, status report. We are patched up and on our way. See you at the objective. The Emperor protects. So that's what our pilot sounds like after all this time. <laughs> <laughs> Lance of Jove, stand by for extraction. It's also his name. It's pilot. <laughs> it just says pilot in subtitles. <laughs> Yeah, but we call him Lancer of Jove. So yeah, Lancer of Jove. Yeah. Man, I took a deep third dirt nap. <laughs> Come with us. To where? The battle barge. Compliance, but I must speak with Archmagus Nozick at once. He's dead. Dead. You are to replace him. Uh, Lose. Someone's carrying something heavy. Well, yeah, you just find out that your boss is dead and now you're taking his place. Mm-hmm. 
Probably after they just requested your boss to do the impossible. That makes things a little awkward with all their relationships. <laughs> but also showcases the history. Vital asset. We must report to Captain Akaran. Log notes from Ethian Links immediately. Administering maintenance. I will need a repair crew before my next flight. Yes, ma'am. Take note of the battle damage for the engine seers. Armor plating in sections 28B and 40E is compromised along with void seals. Portside aileron is jammed. Portside afterburner has shrapnel lodged inside. Pressure test the fuel system after the leaks are sealed. Heavy bolters require a full resupply. Short range sensors have been rendered useless. Make that a priority. I'll make the necessary arrangements, my lord. Interesting. Oh, there's this area over here. What's this? Sector Delta 2. Let me in! I don't know, but it's something. Do you think it's going to be like some DLC expansion or later in the story? Uh, probably story stuff. Copy that. Because it's opened up right now, it's been closed from there. Mm -hmm. There's probably some what was that between you and Luz? Oh, what's this? Irrelevant. Oh, hold on. I'm talking. That is your right. Brother, we only want to help you. Help? You almost cost us the mission, and now you speak of help. See, Preacher, you never get in any issues or any problems or any trouble. But you... Get to have all the skulls you want on your armor. <laughs> yeah, see, I never, I never say anything mean to Titus, but mm -hmm. Chiron over here is always like. A, mm -hmm. uh, anyway, what the heck are they doing over here? Yeah, I guess things. Mm -hmm. They're tapping into the web. They're watching this live stream, brother. Whatever that is. <laughs> Alright. I'll let them continue doing their Mechanicus things. That's a lot of Mechanicus.
Asher Militarum forces report multiple contacts with Rubicade throughout the Hive City. Still no heretic ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've always got to be careful with those cutscene triggers. <laughs> Lord, heretic Astartes. They're showing up in every Hive City on Avarax. We're already overstretched by the Tyranids. The traitors have us off guard. The Adeptus Mechanicus tell me Aurora is ready. They say the weapon will work. So, I know your concerns, Titus. But we may have no choice. Can we at least warn Kalgar of the danger? Impossible. The astropathic relay on Avarax has been completely surrounded. Every attempt we've made to break through the Tyranid lines has failed. Can we Vox a message in? There's a dead zone around the relay. Something's interfering with our Vox comms. We have to get inside. Emperor, save me. I've tried. Now the Tyranids have launched an attack on our defenses. We're pulling back to the fortress. We'll make our final stand there. Battlefield projection. Magnify C3. Where are you? There. The Hive Tyrant. We've had no reports. It's there. We kill it. We break the synaptic connection. It scatter like rats. A Hive Tyrant. A worthy adversary. And if you're wrong, if it's not there, I cannot afford to throw men after a hunch. Give me two squads. Two squads? We need to kill the Hive Tyrant. Find whoever is jamming us, and get the message inside the relay. Six men. That's all I can spare. Use them wisely. Thank you. The Emperor protects. Lieutenant Titus. Receiving. Attend me on the crew deck. Orbital position. Acknowledge. Rotate thrust by an inclination of 8.91 degrees. Maintaining position in relation to orders. Execute on my mark. Mark. Things are getting a little exciting. I'm feeling decapitations coming up. <laughs> I know we don't kill it because the co-op mm -hmm. team kills it, so Yeah. If the chaplain wishes to see you because of my transgressions, I will take full responsibility. I gave no report. I have yet to decide if you require formal penance. You see, Chiron, that's why you need to just shut the fuck up and be like me. <laughs> yeah. I ain't that the truth. Varelis always did put his brothers before himself. Oh damn. He once shielded me from a Tau ambush. Rail rifle nearly took his arm off along with half my helmet. The one degree of deflection saved my life. We only had to mourn his pauldron that day. The Emperor will remember his valor longer after we join him. Forgive me, brother. I'll see other uh, space marines on the other side as well. Can do a full loop around. I have a feeling these ones talk. Flesh 
that we may settle old scores. So again, bloodthirsty. Where's the actual blood? <laughs> no wonder why he's not a big fan of Zinch. He's like, there's just dust everywhere. I hate rubric, rubric marines. They have dust. It's everywhere. Yeah. Of course. It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> Chiron just standing here waiting. Yeah, he's like, I'm here to be reprimanded. <laughs> the captain has put great faith in you with this mission. Should you reach the relay, your message to Lord Kalkar may determine the course of this war. Choose your words wisely. You doubt my intentions. It is your actions I will judge. I need not remind you of the consequences you suffered the last time. If you cannot trust in the will of the Primarch, then you are unfit for this duty. You see, Titus? That's why you need to shut the fuck up. I don't get chewed out by anybody. <laughs> God damn. I, I don't get shit up by anybody. Everybody loves me. Man, a, a real representation of the real military right there. <laughs> or just any yeah, any hierarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I just I, I just do what I'm told. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't I, I I don't ask questions as long as I'm, you know, fit in to go kill shit, I'm fine. <laughs> And uh, I'm also never there whenever we pray for the Emperor because I'm always off killing stuff, so uh, yeah. Yeah. So onwards, there is stuff to kill. It seems in, I am not in the, the Emperor's only name, one on this of course. ship with concerns yes, about your intentions. It is the chaplain's responsibility to ensure our chapter remains pure, not yours. Your yeah. erratic behavior is plain for all to see. And now, I find you have a history of it. I am doing my duty, as I was then, protecting a system from ruin. Yeah, see? I question you, and you just tell it to me straight, and then I just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Chiron, Chiron is mad, and, <laughs> and, and, then his you, and then you yell at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Poor Chiron. <laughs> He's saying poor Chiron. Poor ship. <laughs> Still messed up after all this time. At least it's not on fire anymore. Yeah, they, they did repair it. But... They even got and a... Like the, front, the, the, the front was all beat up, but now it's like repaired, so... Mm -hmm. I like how I see the sonic eye from that guy being used right there. It's inspected all. And then... I wonder. I wonder what oh, this is going on. Location. It's either going to be like, sir, it was uh, it, it was damaged, and we can only repair this. What do you mean, only this? Or either, sir, how did you talk precisely? Oh, you see, I uh, nose down into the ground. Ah, uh, so that explains the messed up nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See what weapons are available today. Yay. Galio and I were just examining your recent diagnostic. Galio, I object to such intrusions. Oh. As do I, but they are queries I must fulfill. I seek only answers. Your survival is a profound mystery that must be resolved. Such unbridled curiosity is the gateway to ruin. But that is where you are mistaken. Ruin is all around us, but I will soon depart for the Aurora facility on the Merium, and there I shall close all gateways to ruin permanently. You will see. Yeah, like I said, you see, Titus, this is why you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> do what you're told. You get, you get chewed out by everyone all the time. Even in my Nobody prior game. <laughs> Nobody ever has anything mean to say to me. <laughs> Why does it keep changing my gun, bro? Like, yeah, same. Stop, stop changing my gun. 
Oh, I could use the plasma incinerator now. I still can't use a thunder hammer. Why not, game? Because we're saving it for the special moment. If you know the special moment. Because we know by the time that you get it, you're going to be like, Man, I want to use this all the time! And then the game ends. <laughs> but then you'll have it unlocked to replay through the campaign all over again. Anyway. Uh, you probably can't. Yeah. I'm going to use the plasma incinerator. I'm going to check that out. See how it fares. I had it once in the mission. Dropped it again for the Delta gun. Indeed. Well, I guess it would be kind of a kill if I had plasma on plasma, but it would be kind of I fun. I mean, it's the exact same as plasma pistol, it's just a mm -hmm. rifle. Yeah. Let's see its stats. I decided to keep it. Lieutenant, the squad is ready. We are yours to command, Lieutenant. The astropathic relay on Abarax is under direct assault. If it falls, so do our hopes of reinforcement. We will engage in a three-point operation to break the Xenos command. Restore Vox and secure the relay. We will not fail you. Not one of us can afford to fail this day. Prepare for deployment. I will transmit mission details on descent. Ah, so third level, Demon Host. Boarding the Thunder. Pardon me for one moment. I must use the restroom and then we will proceed. Further, I've returned, and I was just thinking in my my head right now, if the Space Marines didn't have their um, mutations and technology to be able to use the restroom, you know, during combat, 
Is that what they would use the Thousand Suns helmets for? They're like, oh yes. An empty container to u utilize. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, thousand sons of bitches. <laughs> always make sure that they always remain thousand sons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no more, no less. Any less, and we lose our target practice. Mm -hmm. Any less, and they'll lose their namesake, then it's no longer a thousand sons. song all right so while our uh, co-op teammates are fighting a demon hose see what we're up to gotta send a message to Lord Calga Facing the Hive Tyrant. Talasa can handle it. They have three men. We should be with them, but you have us playing courier. That message has to get through. And what exactly is that message? Speak your mind, brother. I searched the archives. You were once captain of the second company, and then you disappeared. Over a century ago, I was serving with the Death Watch. There would be records. Not for a Black Shield. A Black Shield? You would erase your chapter markings. I would die for these colors. Then why? I was accused. It was my penance. What were you accused of? Corruption. Brace for landing. No further details. Not gonna be like, well, it was just an accusation and there's no evidence. Alright. He's so angry he's his armor's clipping. You talk about those little flat things on the side. <laughs> yeah. For me, those uh, th those fly up every single cutscene. It always, it always looks like every space marine is wearing a, like a little skirt. Mm -hmm. Every single cutscene. I don't know if it's like that for you. Mm -hmm. No, it was only until that very part, which is honestly yeah. hilarious. What is he welding over here? He just likes fire. Brother, look at him. He only, he, he's just doing good because he likes fire. This uh, that this mechanic's like, yes, you're doing a very good job. <laughs> His pops is a special forces. Oh, he's doing a good job. Yeah. Maybe he's the reason why Dark Tide's grounds are so slippery and we could slide all over them. <laughs> I you think we found our man. <laughs> you can even slide upstairs. <laughs> now that man is a god. A man to shape the ways. More than Zeech could. <laughs> See, they're all praying and honoring yeah, us. Yeah, they all have bayonets. Why can't we have bayonets? Yeah, where's our bayonets? Those... <laughs> those rejects get to have bayonets, but we don't. Oh, those are interesting looking IVs. Who drank Pepsi and uh, lemonade? <laughs> For me, it looks like Big Red. Yeah. Lemonade. Yeah. Man, he's got that. He's got that Kool Aid powder. <laughs> the 
this guy's like standing Ooh. here with a rifle, like, I'm ready to kill you whenever I'm ordered to. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I heard you whispering in your sleep, demon host. <laughs> <laughs> the Astropath Relay is four miles from here. Expect heavy tyrannid presence. What of the arch enemy? Sporadic reports, but they are here. I have a feeling this this mission may be one of my favorites. Do we fear the Valsinos? Then hammer at our door! Damn right! For we are the Canadian Eight! The most fearsome, tenacious, and relentless bloody men and women that ever crossed the stars! Kenya, our home, lies scattered across the stars! But do we relent? No, sir! No! For we are vengeance, and we shall bring death to any that threaten the sacred soil of the Imperium. Ah! You will give your life in the name of our holy Emperor. Sir, yes, sir. Will you give your life in the name of all that is good and pure? In the name of our holy Emperor. Sir, yes, sir. Then take up the Canadian standard and hold it high. So that the enemy will know the name of the executioners. Okay, that was actually a pretty good speech. My voice actor, you nailed it. You nailed it. We are in the presence of angels. Oh, look at the cute little pews. <laughs> Oh, come with her! By abandoning your brothers, I beg of you, your that punishment you give my is dishonorable death. Squad! Ready! Aim! Fire! I tried, but I, they wouldn't let me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Salamander. Interesting sword here. Yeah. Robotic arm, everything. This guy reminds me of the one guy that, um, the orcs loved fighting. The robot hand and, and the robotic eye. Prak or something like that. I forgot how you say his name. But he disappeared. Probably got killed by a demon, and then the orcs decided to launch an entire war onto the demons as well. Because he was their favorite commissar to fight. Because if without him, there was no entertaining or interesting walls. So ah. For some reason, I, I could do this, yeah. but I can't do anything else. Yeah. I say, it looked like you were giving him a, a shave or a haircut. Sorry. That's, that's, a, that's a funny way of saying, like, just, just whipping someone. You're like, quiet! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, with only a cost of forty dollars, you can then get these cosmetics. Looks just like these characters in Dark Tide. I'm, uh, I'm brother, here. brother, you're pinned there. I'm pulling you out. I'm trying, brother. I'll be damned. <laughs> um, brother, screams. brother, we are pinned here. Here we go, brother. <laughs> Okay. No, Chiron, Chiron no! no. <laughs> Brother, no! <laughs> brother, leave me! Carry on! Alright, brother, we shall leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, look at the burn. <laughs> Ugh, the stink! Hold your nose, lad. Entering the box blackout, dastards. can poison you with their stench alone. Damocles out. Oh, Empress, safe. Watch your tongue, guardsmen. Monod, forgive me. <laughs> Out of all times to say something, you had to do it when the angels showed up. Yeah. That honestly looked like the natural way. <laughs>
Chiron. If we encounter Chaos Force, something said Chiron instead of Chiron. Yourself with me, Lieutenant. Disappear like that again, and you'll be facing the Master of the Watch. I understand, sir. Why did you not tell us of your penance earlier? It was not your business, and now it is. You have made it so through suspicion and intrigue. Damn. Yeah. Again, you see Chiron? That's right. Need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can ask Titus anything I want, and he tells it to me straight, and never gets mad at me. Uh, er everybody loves me. Uh, uh, everybody loves me. Titus might seem like he's getting mad at me. But he treats you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He never said anything. And Titus also confides in me. I'm clearly mm. his favorite squad member. <laughs> That's hey, what. I'm see, I was say. Oh yeah. No, nice. Yeah. No, that's that is unique. I was gonna say that's also the reason why you are player number two. You're my right hand man. A Chiron over here went rogue solo lone wolf. Open the gates. You know what would be appropriate if if, if if Willa owned this game, she'd probably be Chiron because she's a lone wolf, which is perfect. So you do a good job. I mean, how long do you want to look at uh, these guardsmen try lifting this? I mean, that 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 game's not going to go anywhere. I was thinking you just lift it with one pinky. Yeah. Seal the gates behind us. Yes, my lord. Close the gates. The relay is ahead through the arch. Scores. Engage. Engage, you say? Okay. Indeed. Contact. Ravana defeated it. One less <laughs> I burned you, Gosman. Understood. Live, my brother, Mortis. Mortis. Oh, the tanks are doing stuff again. And they're and they're actually. Oh, and he just roadkill that Majoris. <laughs> I like how like it's not like a cutscene enemy. It's legit, legit enemies. See, Dark Tide, take take notes. Make the tanks do something. Seriously. I don't even care if all they do is drive around. Just make them do something. Mm -hmm. 
I agree with that. Right, I don't know if it has to do with like engine limitations or whatnot, but Helldiver is using the same engine and has vehicles that actually do stuff. Mm -hmm. Like the Pelican or the, the, mm -hmm. the Nexus or whatever. So. And also the leaked vehicles that are happening in the game too. Yeah. I like that. See, the tanks just, you know, drove through the door. And it's actually shooting. Mm -hmm. And actually killing enemies. Yeah. It actually sets up somewhere that makes sense for a tank and then starts shooting. The swarm would go feral without their connection to the hive mind, but their focus is still on the relay. Reports confirm the lieutenant's assessment. Enemy cohesion is still in full effect. So they're at the midpoint of the co-op mission. I know that line. Decapitation. And the reason why they're at the midpoint, we're just beginning, is because we spent, you know, 15 minutes looking at Kamazars and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn, those speedrunner co-op players with all the relics. Why don't we get fancy melee weapons and guns? <laughs> what is this gold tier? Oh yes, that's right, the plot armor. A good trade, a good trade. <laughs> But, to be fair, on this mission in co-op, you can have a Thunder Hammer, so... Why can't I have a Thunder Hammer again? Remember, the armory is limited. How come their, their armory is unlimited? <laughs> Explain that to me, Mechanicus! <laughs> because nobody likes you, Titus, because all, all I need is a sword. You're right. Zernthrope. I told you, all I need is a sword. That nut perfectly landed. Hold on, come over here. Do you see that nut that landed perfectly on this line wire right here? <laughs> Look at this. Over here, brothers. Oh, yeah, the barbed wire. Yeah, the barbed wire. Yeah. I watched that land, that was Ready great. <laughs> okay, there's gotta be something back over here. Or did you already check this area? I killed enemies. All the guardsmen, or well, okay, all of them except for one looks like they all died. Mm -hmm. One guardsman somehow survived. There's a stim here. Good job, guardsman. As for the rest, uh, good on. Well, what's also weird is see how this guardsman's outfit like doesn't have any clipping issues. Mm-hmm. And how it's free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what other game that's in the same universe it has the same outfit that's not free and has clipping issues? Ah, Dark Tide. <laughs> yeah. 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 I did see something on their holster right here, but that, it's like barely a clipping thing, I see. And that's just because of the stance. Yeah. You could easily edit that one out. Yeah, or just not punch over like that. Then it's fine. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, clipping and stances is really no big deal. That's been a thing in games since forever. I haven't really seen any game that doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. But clipping when you're just standing still is, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> something. It's something all right. Shock grenades. Is there an alternate route? Yes, but it would add considerable time. Then we must find the power and restore it. So now I can't tell which way to go. Down over there or up? Because this looked like it was going up to the tower. 
Can you even go this way? Yeah. There's even ammo stand right here. Incoming right, I'll go up here and see what's up here. Over here has whoa! What the hell? There's a bunch of Reload. surprise green enemies over here, and a data slate. And I think they interact with. Uh, it's a dead end. No, that's that's the next part. Yeah, the data slate. Gotcha. Eight last pistols, various designs. What is in this? What the serial numbers are filed off. Stalker bolt rifle. Heretical Heretical symbols bolt are applied rifle. to the surface oh. of the weapons. I'm enclosing really pictures supporting that, the evidence. Evidence to be destroyed in accordance with invasion protocols. Traces of the cult indicate that it has long since taken root in the hive. The mere thought that he has reached the highest levels turns my stomach. These officials, bureaucrats, and politicians are so mired in their intrigues that they warmed and nurtured the roots of heresy within their walls. Well, the fire of retribution is already consuming them. The punishment of the Emperor is inevitable. End of record. Supply. Interesting. Found a guardian relic. A boon that thrums with promise. Is everything right down there? I hear. <laughs> yeah, I'm just attacking while I hear the audio script. Supplies over there. Are you ready, brother? I assume yes. Always oh, ready to kill. Stuff. We have power. Open the door. I was half tempted to do a uh, melee strike to land even more badass. Oh uh, yes, enemy. The heretics mean to stop us. To all appearances, yes. Elaborate. The traitor legion's legacy of deception goes back 10,000 years. They are masters of it. They are clearly here to stop Aurora. I am not convinced. There is more to this, I am sure of it. Their motives matter not. I will kill them just the same. Oh, Chiron. Yes, Chiron, yes. Yeah. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> kill them all. <laughs> I've become more powerful than any thousand sun. <laughs> I couldn't parry this guy two times in a row because he hit me and I was in I was in a stun lock animation and all it did getting hit four times was uh took all my armor away down to one armor left and I was fine. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's how it should be with every difficulty in this game. There should just be more of those guys, but mm -hmm. I still don't see the purpose of using the power sword with it not powered up. Yeah, I agree. Because it's supposed like, to be like a single target, but it's not even... We must yeah, help those it's, people it's, down there. Because it's like, I just killed all those enemies with it in single target mode just fine. Brother, I need your help. 
Well, defend the guardsmen. Look. Defend the helpless guardsmen. I'm, I'm covering you by killing all these guys. There. I pushed them all back. Now they're over Oh yeah, so let's guard. Brother, how did you snipe him from all the way from that distance? You killed him. Restocking. Good shot. The guardsmen are saved. You got you know them, Salvador. In 40k lore, actually, if I believe that this has enough range, if I believe really, really, really strong, it, it has enough range. Just <laughs> look at the orbs. <laughs> <laughs> the power of manifest. I don't know if that applies to humans, but I mean, that's how it works for orcs, so... Well, isn't that kind of what happened to the Sisters of Battle? With believing in the Emperor? No, because they actually have legit faith in the Emperor, who's actually ah. a god, whether he likes it or not. Gotcha. Because, the way I see it, look at these the, Emperor, the Emperor has to be a god. Because the original Sisters that were that were deceived by, um... What's his face? I forgot, I forgot the guy's name, but anyway. Um, they were called the Daughters of the Emperor then. And the leader of them ended up actually, like, basically staging a coup, essentially. And then the custodians came and were like, yeah, okay, you, 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 you sick psycho bitches, you need to come see the Emperor himself. So they led them all into, well, not all of them, but like, you know, like three of them into the, the palace to go see the Emperor. And they spoke to the Emperor, went, and went directly to the Emperor. Nobody knows what was said. And then they come out, they all have stark white hair. Mm -hmm. And then they renamed themselves the Sisters of Battle because they said that they weren't worthy enough to be called the Daughters of the Emperor. They weren't even the Sisters of the Emperor, they were just the Sisters of Battle. And then they all fervently believed the Emperor is a god. But these are the same people that literally spoke to him face to face. Mm -hmm. He could have told them I'm not a god. Yeah. But he didn't. And then their faith that was already super, you know, on fire was just like... So much so that they literally become saints and angels and shit. So I mean, obviously the emperor has to be a god. Like their argument. That's that's that that's the only explanation that actually makes sense. He just has to be a god, whether he wants to be a god or not. Enough people worship him, therefore he becomes a god. <laughs> so he might not be a chaos god. Some people say he's a full-on, you know. Like you no know, new chaos god, but I mean I don't I don't know if he's a chaos god or not, but he is definitely a god. And then the living saints are basically like his uh, his, his his demon princes in a way. Interesting. Which is ironic too. I mean, he could have just stopped the whole Emperor worship thing forever ago, but he basically encouraged it, and then you know went on a mad ta mad tangent to the guy that started it and told them not to do it after he had already sta established a church and millions of people worshipped him and everything. Mm -hmm. We should turn around and regroup with the main force. Titus to Resilient. Requesting Gamma Pat and Hammerfall bunker on my location immediately. You mean to oh, jump? Oh yes, Hammerfall. Request confirmed. Stand by. There's our entry. That's quite a shot. Damocles to Talassa. Report. If Talassa fails to take out the Hive Tyrant. <laughs> Then our little excursion was all for naught. Yeah, see? I'm mm -hmm. a good soldier. I save people in the back. <laughs> see, Chiron? You need to stop speaking behind my back instead of trying to stab it. <laughs> exactly. See, Chiron, you need to be more like me. <laughs> and in order to be more like you, we're gonna strap you up with this backpack. Because it's just badass and powerful. Main force. Why toil in obscurity when there's glory center stage? Hey, Sergeant. Our brothers are dying while we sneak around in the shadows. 
If we fail to send this message, we face a massacre. Okay, see, that's the meanest Titus ever gets. Yeah. The Gadriel. Yeah. If I and was then Chiron, he didn't accept it. Titus would have been like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slap me in the face and be like, you, you, you do what you're told. What's well, that something? It's like threatening with, 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 with the chaplain. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Titus literally threatened to send um, Chiron to the Death Watch. Mm hmm. Our lieutenant you know. said it himself. Mm hmm. So. There's deception at work. If you got something to say, Sergeant. Yeah, if you got something to say, say it. Because we all know Chiron here can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he goes! Damn it. Man of the words. Just... Yeah, see? Yeah. See, you follow me. Chiron goes off on his own, and you're just like, oh, well, who cares? And he's like, we have to cover him. He's, he can't help himself. <laughs> when you go off your own, we're just like, all right, I guess we're going. Damn, whoa, what are you doing over here? Yeah, see, I'm a badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, it lagged there for a whole second. So yeah, they literally, so so they're you're literally using lag, uh, like like lag switching on you to get to get a hit on you, just like in real, like just like in real yeah. life in the game. <laughs> you're like, I will defeat you despite the bad ping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, ah, see if you change her away. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even get mad at me. You, 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 you just Not give a me word. A bolt pistol. Yeah. <laughs> you just walk up, give me a bolt pistol. No just lecture. Walk off. No lecture like the guy. The guy wrong. <laughs> Poor Chiron. <laughs> Poor Chiron. <laughs> Damn. Ultramarines. Casual. You're not thinking straight. I've seen the same with you. Damn it! You are an ultramarine. Oh, that's the meanest thing you ever said. And I just say yes, Ward. See, yeah. I, I don't give you any smack, unlike Chiron. You mean a whole level worth of BS on smack? Yeah, 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 exactly. See, and I also after rogue. passiveness, yeah. passive aggressiveness. I go rogue, and you're just like, here, take a bolt pistol. You need it. I'm just like, thanks. And then you tell me to act like an ultramarine, and I just say, okay. And then you just started clicking skulls. They took away my power sword and gave me a change. Well, so, because you got too powerful, you know, they just had to. I guess, yeah. I don't know. Let's see, what's in here? Auto bolt rifle, bolt cart, and instigator bolt cart. Okay. Can I have my power sword back, game? <laughs> or better yet, a thunder hammer? No, you've been reprimanded. <laughs> That was the true punishment. <laughs> yeah. But see, again, Titus never got mad at me. The game just took away my power sword. Mm -hmm. Titus can't get mad at me because I'm his favorite. Clearly. <laughs> hey, I can actually go down here and kill them. Repeat. No, the poor assault. <laughs> yeah, 
Or is all getting fucked. <laughs> He's like, this boss battle's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this boss battle sucks. Man, that, that, that poor tier. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I've been shot, brother! We get every straggler. <laughs> uh, I marked the enemy and the Chiron finally killed him. Oh. Well, that was me who executed him. Uh, Chiron, uh, Chiron disabled him and he was trying to, but then he fell off and then tried getting back up. By the time he got back up there, I got up there and executed him. It looked like Chiron did. Come on, Chiron, assemble. <laughs> there you go. Chiron, assemble! He's like, why you gotta talk to me like that? Gaddy boy. <laughs> Got real. Thought we because, had something. Because everybody likes me. Yes. Jump I'm the Emperor's so favorite son. Ammunition, brother. Yeah, I don't need to have a fire thing around this entire time. That's fair. With dust. We must proceed on foot. Oh no. Fouled with dust. Uh, Power sword, brother! Finally. Power sword. Multi-melter. This is what we call in co-op a bad time for you. <laughs> <laughs> they handed me the multi melta. <laughs> They've made a grave mistake. Straight into the box of you. Do not let them up. Reloading weapon. I am death, servant of the Emperor, and you will taste my wrath. What is this skull the skull throne business you are speaking of? <laughs> 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 I am death, destroyer of worlds. Brother, no! For the emperor skulls for the, the, the golden throne, yeah! <laughs> it's lore accurate, they stayed in dark side the whole time. <laughs> and they're rejects. I'm an exactly. angel. Yeah, exactly. I didn't realize we were defending something. I thought we were just fucking shit up. <laughs> no. All the guardsmen are all, all huddled up in a corner. Or mm -hmm. We're over here just killing everything. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. If this was veteran, we'd be hiding behind the guard. Yeah. Hey, a carnifex. Ah, uh, yes. I heard he liked grenades. Taste hell, asshole. So, why do bosses also have contested health? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I don't understand that. Because if they damage you, they don't heal. The mm -hmm. So I don't know why they have It's health. gotta be the newest difficulty, I bet. I, I, I have no idea. That's my only theory. Get him, brother, get him. Give him the one, two. Give him the self stab. Yeah, brother, you did it. Give him the twist twirly whirly, brother. And I ripped his head off to collect his skull. <laughs> brother, where did his skull go? And what is that big, heavy, black, red, bloody bag? <laughs> Another one? What? Up uh, what? Brother. Okay. They There's want two of them at the same time. What? Now this I like. There's three, brother. There's three. Really? Yes. Fight me! I'll kill you all. <laughs> the salt! He did it! The <laughs> salt finally did something worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> With his pistol. <laughs> 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 because his two teammates are too busy doing nothing. Probably being down, they're dead. Viridian here. If you can hear this, Damocles, we got the bastards. Excellent work, brother. Any contact with Talassa? Talassa to Damocles. The alien contaminates our world no longer. That actually is the assault, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Open the gates. <laughs> this straight up is the assault. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That's what makes it all the most more impressive. Yes. Because we all know the Vanguard was zipping away to try getting help with his melted gun. I can't move any faster for some reason. You are on a bound, brother. Like, I was able to run in here and I'm just stuck walking. And I, don't, I don't understand. It's a style I point. See, I, I see you and Chiron able to run ahead, but mm -hmm. like, I'm, just, I'm just slow walking. I think you're tired after the initial push. <laughs> <laughs> Need to take a nap? Now you're reloading, Chiron? <laughs> Come on, my reload. Well fought, brothers. I will make sure the captain hears of your deeds. I need no commendation. <laughs> Is that right? Enough. See, Chiron, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> Lieutenant, upon completion of this mission, I request transfer to another squad. <gasps> what? I will pass your request to the captain. Why? I was expecting Chiron to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Why am I... Why did it take my power sword again? Maybe that's the reason why you're like, they keep taking away my toys. <laughs> I'm leaving. I want to transfer to a new squad. <laughs> I keep confiscating it from you. <laughs> See, Chiron, we know he's a fuck up, but you... I can't believe it. I'm not I'm a fuck up. I... I just love killing things. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> you fuck things up too hard and too much. Uh. Like how is just a paste? Oh, I'll see if I was like, there a fire. <laughs> yeah. I tried that at, at the last fire place too. He tries staying in front of them and there's just an invisible wall. Oh, he's hitting you. Yeah. Oh, wait, do you have something to say for yourself? No, my lord. <laughs> Check this area. <laughs> well, he's on fire. Too many pings, please wait. Too many pings, please too wait. wait. Too many pings, please wait. Too many pings, please wait. Too many pings, please wait. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going on and on and on and on. 
Chad is crawling up here. What? Oh, uh, someone yeah, says. I, I hear someone say it's crawling up my ass. Yeah. Yeah, up there. He has a search for her skull with him. Damn. <laughs> what a life. The hive fleets cast a psychic shadow that tears at the minds of psychers, denying worlds in their path the chance to call for aid. Let us hope we are not too late. All right, I've given you back your soul. Oh yes, powers. See, game. <laughs> why do you take it away just to give it back immediately? Because you have to look good. Because you paid all that extra money for this lovely skin. You and by God, you're gonna watch it for a little few moments. To get the value out of it. It's cool and all, but like, I have a power sword, so mm -hmm. like... Yeah, yes. Protect us. I don't know. Us I can do this, but I can't sprint for some reason. Hey look, corn. Or not, not fucking zinch. Mm -hmm. Fucking corruption. Where? On the ground, bro. Oh, yes. See the, see the big eye in the center? You mean the Inquisition? Oh, is the fact that it's no. weird because I'm the, the fact that it has a fucking eye inside of it. Ah. Uh. There's a reason why psychers always have eye symbols on their stuff because magic comes from the warp, just like in fantasy. Magic comes directly from chaos. Mm. And Zinch in fantasy is the god of magic as well as change. And I would assume it's the same in 40k, just nobody knows it because nobody knows the chaos gods even exist except from space marines. Whereas in fantasy, everybody knows that chaos gods exist, which is funny. It's like everybody knows chaos exists, but the Empire is like, oh yeah, we must never let anybody know this game exists. <laughs> it would freak people out. You're like, brother, it's freaking me out. <laughs> this looks like the room in Dark Toad. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one room you have to defend in. I have a message yeah. from Manius Kalga. I cannot help you. I know it's exactly what, what map you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like that one, but we actually know what that one is. With the charges. Because, yeah, because nobody knows what the names of the missions are. I would have you know. Give me your message. Oh yeah, that's magic. She really said, let me feel out your message. See, why don't they zoom on you on, on, on me and you? <laughs> For Chiron. <Because laughs> Nobody likes Chiron. <laughs> yeah, Everybody nothing. hates Chiron. <laughs> yeah, nothing more like empty head. Nothing more. There are no guarantees. <laughs> like that show Everybody Hates Chris and Everybody Hates Chiron. <laughs> I like Chiron. I want someone to do like an abridged parody where just like the thoughts of Chiron's brain did an entire thing like Chris Rock. <laughs> From everybody the thing that's Chris. funny is remember the first time we tried playing this and it made me Chiron? Yeah. And now I'm Gadriel for some reason. It's just like why? Yeah. I always thought Chiron was just player two. Mm hmm. But I'm Gadriel. It's weird. It's because you're accursed back then, brother. Do you not remember? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So this is like straight up blood magic. Yeah. Damn. And how was this not chaos corruption? Mm hmm. Oh no, they found me out. Shit. Heretic. What is this? I do not know. You wish to bring Kolga here that you may kill him. Heretic. Heretic. You will betray us as you betrayed them on Gryar. Lies. 
He means to kill her! Lieutenant! Gadriel, I am no heretic. He seeks the power of stone by himself. He must be stopped! Kill the heretic! Kill him! Enough! For the no! Good soldiers follow orders. That's all I can say. They follow my orders and stop your bullshit! <laughs> I was gonna say, if Chiron did that, I'd be like, God damn it, Chiron. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Chiron. God damn it, Chiron. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, shit. Chiron was actually right. Uh huh. Ah, a disc of Zinch. Interesting. Uh, oh, well then, um... Alright! Imura! Come here, Imura, whatever your name is, so I can kill you! Uh, look, brother, I can't do anything. He's out of range. Brother, no, he's fast. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a... They took away my Melta gun. Brother, no! <laughs> they knew, brother, they knew! All I have is a sword. They also took my gun, too! <laughs> At least I have a power sword still, but, uh... Come down here and fight me! Ah, he's using magic, it hurts! I didn't want to do this, but he left me no choice. I'm in I the center. He was a bolter. Ow. This guy just jumped out of his freaking space and stabbed me. What the heck? Oh. See, Chiron, we wouldn't have to be doing this if you didn't shoot this woman, but no. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Chiron. But damn it, Chiron. We could have got that message through. <laughs> and then we could have found out. God damn it, Chiron, why? <laughs> I wonder if Titus is, like, even gonna, gonna get mad at casually this morning. Yeah. Or, uh -huh. or he's just gonna be like, God damn it, Chiron, why do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> I also kind of wonder as well. How could you, how could you have known? And Chiron's like, but I was right. And Titus goes, I don't care if you were right. How could what you? What was known? the logic? Yeah. You must be a heretic, you a traitor, a spy, Gadriel. You shot her. Boy. You overpowered me and pointed my own bolt pistol at my face. You are a true brother. <laughs> you followed through the codex and the commandments for the emperor, and followed through the hierarchy and ways and means. And let's be real, we were duking it out, but let's be real, we were talking it out. But Chiron had to ruin it! <laughs> Didn't he? <laughs> yeah, Drew, you requested to be transferred to a different unit. I cannot allow that to happen. <laughs> I have been promoted to captain. You will be promoted to lieutenant. Chiron, you have been court-martialed and sent to the Death Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Lasers grow stronger. Got me with the magic. I don't know why I couldn't I have no ammo in my rifle. I have six rounds, but then I have my pistol. I could probably finish this. Ammunition to 
I, I, I lied. I actually have one magazine for my rifle. Battle brother. Can we finish him? It's dead. Indeed. I can't see anything. Chiron, how could you do this? The Chiron, we wouldn't be dealing with the second phase God right now. It, Chiron. <laughs> God damn it, Chiron, I'm getting killed. God damn it, Chiron, why? There's two of them. <laughs> oh, man. That hurt really bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my stem. I'm fully healed. You know what? This explains everything. Chiron wanted to have us play this on the first time on Veteran. I bet he wanted on Roofless. <laughs> Oh no, brother! I'm being possessed! Save me, brother! I don't know what to do! Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> oh. <laughs> brother, he seems to make us a puppet, brother. <laughs> he will try to play with us like how Chiron has played with our feelings and emotions. I have been corrupted. Everything is blue and purple. For the no. Ah! I'm being attacked by something. What the? I'm shooting him, brother! Let him go! <laughs> He's trying to steal my soul. But my soul belongs to the, the Emperor! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chiron, don't let him. Chiron, no. <laughs> what did I say, Chiron? I don't know. Lieutenant Titus, come I don't know, Chiron. Tell me, did you get him? How did you know? I was a boy on Kalf when the word bearers attacked. I came to know the mark of chaos. We're returning to the battle box. Yeah, I told you that was a mark of chaos. Mm. I understand your actions, but your suspicions end here. Are we clear? Yes, sir. See, made up, just like we said. <laughs> you see, Chiron, I have to, I have to literally beat him up, kick him in the, kick him in the knee, seal his own bolt pistol, and point it at his face for him to get mad at me. And all he says is, "I understand your actions, but your suspicions in here." And I say, "Okay, understood." And then we're all, and then we're all back to normal. You see, Chiron. See, I have to have Chiron sit next to me because I have to watch him closely. I can trust you by yourself. What do you mean sit next to you? He's sitting next to me. Oh, on my side, he's sitting next to me. See, now we what? both in our own universe have to watch over Chiron. Okay. okay. It's weird. Every single time on the ship for me, you're always sitting off by yourself, and I'm always sitting next to Chiron, and Chiron's always looking at the mission screen. I'm staring directly at him, <laughs> um, like, over my shoulder. And then when the mission ends, Chiron is, like, looking down at the ground, and I'm just staring at him, and you're just kind of looking up and down and just kind of all over the ship. It's weird. <laughs> but y you always sit by yourself for me. For me, you're always just sitting by yourself. I have to watch it for Chiron. <laughs> wow, okay. That's weird. It probably changes, though. No, nah, it's been this way for me forever. Mm. So. And probably the same. traitor forces have arrived in their hundreds and commandeered the facility. Commandeered? Where is Luz? Oh. Inside. They have the facility. Luz and the power source. Oh, At, you really lost everything. Right. Titus. What's up, theoretical? We've diverted all available forces to Demerium, but we're well below full strength. We prepared an assault, but it has little chance of success unless we take care of this. They're using it to draw in reinforcements. For every one of them we kill, two more show up in their place. It's heavily guarded. I'll need a combat squad, five men. I can spare three men. Next, 
Well, so that's yeah, what we did in co-op? Wow. Uh -huh. We stopped we stopped their respawner and the read first been cut damn. Every attempt to bring it down has failed. Your squad has developed a reputation for unconventional approaches. Any ideas? Uh, uh look for the emperor. <laughs> it's a burial world. <laughs> See burial world. See <laughs> there was a clash between the ultramarines and the heretics. The sword of Atreus. A battle barge wrecked in the fighting was laid to rest here. Oh, I, I know this mission. This is where we go um, in co-op. Go um, mm -hmm. engines burn bright. Get the Even engine thing turned. working with the train thing. Yeah. And then the ship flies off and crashes into it something and fly, dies. But it might run. A long shot to say the least. But apparently, it was my idea. Da I'm cool. Damn. The navigation <laughs> systems are probably dead. Gad the man. To Red man. He's right. Someone will need to get close hey, for to once target I agree with Chiron. Mm -hmm. Our offensive launches in 90 minutes. The Emperor guide you. Chiron has the most interesting character arc in this entire series. <laughs> <laughs> he goes from shite to, to tolerable, and I can't wait to see how he ends. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, Chiron? <laughs> As you wish, Chaplain. Can I finally have a thunder hammer? Ooh, sure you guys are even even the freaking mechanicus was like, ensure brothers Chiron and Gadriel are in attendance. Yeah. <laughs> was like, damn. Even the mechanicus was like Chiron. <laughs> Why? <laughs> then they go set him up to see the chaplain too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I have a suspicion, but I don't really want to say it. Hmm. What? I mean, do you see any other black space marines? Hmm. I mean. GW is a British company and all that. Oh my god. I reluctantly second that. Why reluctantly? Because it will go to your head. Ooh, whoa, 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 you heard that. Shots fired. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what these guys gotta say. Nothing on this side. See guys more on the right side. Why can you run but I can't? I do not know, brother. Why can Chiron run but I can't? I like the thing that in your sleep Chiron just like puts like rusted oil or something, like he puts water in your servo suit. <laughs> they can't run. He puts he puts freaking um uh locked tight in the joints <laughs> of my suit and I'm just like my why is this so hard to move around? Yeah. Hey, look, a room. I could, I could walk in. Oh, never no, no, mind. This is your room. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, only you can do that. Chiron has to go to the chaplain. <laughs> yeah. Titus, I am troubled by a report I have received from the Astra Telepathica. An accusation of heresy. Her voice was puppeted by a... The lieutenant will answer. The psycho was possessed. Your sergeant believed otherwise. I was mistaken. You attempted to incapacitate your lieutenant. Thank the Emperor, I failed. And now, the only individual capable of reaching Lord Kalgar is dead. By your hands. I will kill all of you. Should I suspect even a flicker of corruption, I will not hesitate as you did. You are dismissed. Why is yeah, it always you Chiron. three? Hear all the chaplain's dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Brother, what was spoken by the chaplain? Time to go. God, you were saying about Chiron? Like, you see, Chiron, he says any flicker of corruption. You see, skulls for the emperor. 
Yeah, see? No corruption there. <laughs> I'm a good space marine. Oh, see? You charge into battles yelling for Ultramar. I charge into battle yelling blood for the Emperor, skulls for the Skull Throne. I mean, Golden Throne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody caught that. Mm -hmm. so I'm good. Yeah. Everybody loves me. I'm Gadriel. Yeah. Gadriel. Yeah, see? We value you. Chiron, why can't you be like your older brother, Gadriel? <laughs> I think he's older than me, actually, because he looks older than me. Exactly. That's why we forgot about his birthdays. That's why he's younger. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, this is why you don't get a red helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that the red helmet was supposed to be for Chiron's birthday, but it got mixed up. So they kept forgetting it. upon the traitors such agony the likes of which they have not seen since the burning of Prospero they will suffer they will break and they will fall sons of Gilliman for the glory of Ultramar for the glory of Ultramar uh, blood for the Emperor see it even kind of rhymes for the glory of Ultramar <laughs> Hey, the armoring hall has been socked new war gear. Do Maybe. I, I love how now you can sprint. You're like, Warhammer. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> like, can I have a Warhammer and a Warhammer game? Oh, they're talking. Galio, mm -hmm. theoretically, could Tacticus armor withstand a suborbital drop? Gravis is too cumbersome for our needs. Negative. Extreme risk. Dense debris fields litter the entry flight path. But if we avoid the debris, could we survive the descent? No, I'm going to hit the debris. I, I'm gonna hit it, and I'm gonna show that I have plot armor. Thank you, Galio. That I am a space marine. Space marine. An orbital drop without gravis armor. It is a sound strategy. But a Melee not available. They're still talking. We are facing way. much less favorable mm. odds today. I think they're done. Now I can see what's in here. What? what but why? Brother. What if this next mission, we just get the Thunder Hammer? Uh, we can only hope. We must pray to the to anything, Omnisai or not. Also, they have like a mech over here. I think it's a Dreadnought, or I'm not sure. This system Where? is a wash in alien and demonic oh, yeah, filth. Does, yeah. Better it burn than we wade through it. The Adeptus Mechanicus would prefer that not be standard protocol. We could deal the Tyranids and the Thousand Suns heavy losses. There is much sacred data in what you would want to be eradicate. Perhaps, but we do not want to waste our military muscle. Look how many units we're calling to serve. It is not wasteful. It is necessary. <laughs> oh. This Dreadnought has not seen battle in 50 years. And the, uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus did not hear that. <laughs> I mean, a Dreadnought not seeing battle for 50 years is pretty standard from what I believe. Yeah, that's a pretty A lot of light. times Dreadnoughts will just go to sleep for hundreds if not thousands of years and then wake up whenever they're needed and then be sent to go fight, so... Because otherwise they go insane or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, a Dreadnought going to sleep for 50 years, I mean, that doesn't sound like anything, you know, noteworthy or anything like that, but okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Brothers, our captain's words need no further embellishment. I will speak only of practical concerns. The heretics will employ absolute deception. You will be assaulted by lies and illusion. The only true ground you will find down there will be each other. Trust only your brothers and your instincts. Now go forth and lay waste to our enemies. For the Emperor! For the Emperor! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this guy, whatever this guy's name is. So, yeah, so, um, 
Chiron is not the only black space for it. Yeah, um, something to be Valtius or something like that, um, I think. Yeah, he's the, um... Vanguard? Yeah, um, it's like Vexa something or something like that. Yeah, something like that. The guy that we talked to on the radio in that one mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is actually the full team. Like, yeah, there's even the sniper yeah. now. Wait, sniper, where's your mouth guard? <laughs> I think it's the only time I've ever seen the sniper without his mouth guard. Or without a helmet, just yeah. in general. On step out of the thing, I want to see close up to him. My brother, will you get a new scar on the next mission? What, what, what happened to your up to your jaw, man? Well, it used to be metal. <laughs> like this man. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I mean, that's just a mask. Yes. Looks like this time we're not going by ourselves. Ah, yes. Dawn's descent. Dawn of War, aren't you playing? <laughs> All right. You ever done this before? Drop through an active combat zone, dodging flak, enemy ships, and burning wreckage on the way down. Exactly. No, this will be a first. The Codex Astartes does not support this action. What did you just say? I am looking forward to it. Better. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a bad PTSD <laughs> moment there. <laughs> had a moment from the first game. Funny how Titus literally so. just looked at me, just like, what? He's like, you better not be pulling what I think you're pulling. See, not necessary, you're my favorite. <laughs> when I was a young captain, one of my men questioned my motives, brushed his concerns aside, and I paid the price. Your suspicions arose because I failed to answer your doubts. As I failed to answer his. That is accountability. That is like ultimate accountability. As are we, brother. We grew up on Calf. Let's say we settle some of that dead today. My sir. Character development. Onward, battle brother. At least they explain why Chiron hates a thousand suns so much. Honestly, yeah. Unlike, unlike other games where it's like, oh, I go berserk and crazy for no apparent reason, and then, uh, yeah. Whoa. Okay, this how many debris can ow, I hit? Ow, I hit a debris. I, I, I hit, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try hitting all of them. I hit, I hit ow. Uh, ow. I hit, I, ow. I, 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 <laughs> I wanna hit all the debris I can. Uh, oh, I have blood armor. You can't stop big, me. I hit debris. I hit a big giant debris. I hit two big giant debris. Perfectly fine. I got, I got achievement. My face is my shield. Hit ten objects during this immortal drop. <laughs> my face is blood armor. Ah uh, yes, fire. Light me on fire. fire. As I hit debris. <laughs> I'm on fire. My screen is red. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see you, by the way. Yeah, I don't see you either. Oh, there's that dragon thing. I didn't see a dragon thing. Like, oh, yeah, it's a big wall. I ran through wall. Yes. I survived nuke. <laughs> I hit every single debris and yeah. got lit on fire. Yeah. <laughs> there'd be like, there'd be like, like big giant walls with like a little window, and I just crashed through the wall with my face. <laughs> You see this face? Plot armor. I'm not gonna die. 
Oh no, I'm wearing a helmet. I might die. It takes helmet off in space. I'm perfectly fine. <gasps> I can breathe. <laughs> By the Emperor. We will do fine. <laughs> Brother, stay close. Hits every debris. Thank you for staying close. See, we survived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through the fire of our friendship. Sir, that was actual fires. Oh. My bad. Piece of my face is built it off. Don't question it. <laughs> See, God is fine. Are you in a black loading screen? Yeah, I have a loading game logic. But, I know. have a joining server. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh oh, waiting fine. for Battle Brothers. Loading resources. Waiting for Battle Brothers. Yeah, Kylon, why are you taking forever? <laughs> God damn it, Kylon. <laughs> Uh, Chiron, oh, took your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after the loading screen ended, I saw you on my left, me uh -huh. in the middle, and Chiron on the right. I turned and looked at Chiron, just like, dude, why? Clear a path. Hey, I have a thunder hammer. What did I say, brother? I had- I- I- I also do have a thunder hammer. I knew it, brother! It's finally killing all these chaos bastards like I always wanted in the single- uh, in the multiplayer! Man, I'm getting so confused. The single player is becoming so good, it is the now new multiplayer. Fuck him up! <laughs> oh. oh, he teleported away. Can't teleport. Can't teleport for this. Get him, brother, get him! I punch you. And I blow you up! <laughs> Get off my brother. Double mashed potatoes right there. <laughs> we are in unison, brother. We don't talk about our third brother. Where is hey, he? <laughs> I kicked this guy in the knee just like I kicked you in the knee. <laughs> Thank you, Chiron. Set up this kill for me. That champion lies defeated. Enemy down. We must hurry. Without our targeting signal, Colossus' efforts will be for naught. That pillar of corruption provides the land. Delassa, oh, shit. <laughs> Report status. Brother, I know you wanted to read, but I mean, you, you could always come back to the law books later, brother. <laughs> hey, look. Like, why would I want it shall that? Be done. <laughs> Are we going to let them be For those chain sold enthusiasts. Today. Yes, but I want to use a Warhammer in my Warhammer game. Mm -hmm. I see Chiron has a chain sword. Very He's good. not cool enough to use a fucking Fire sorcery. Mm -hmm. their barriers, no doubt. I grabbed the Melter. <laughs> Brother, no! All I see are enemies everywhere. 
Shot by something. I'm getting it, brother. I'm getting the sorcerer. I don't know if this enemy's real over here, but he's shooting me, so. I laid the sorcerer's body to rest. I guess he was real, because I executed him and I got health back. <laughs> <laughs> I see a church over here, brother. I ring the bell. Reload. Another altar of corruption. Destroy it. Yes, brother. Repositioning. Stuck here. I landed Brother. on top of this thing and the king. Brother, you are pinned here. I must crush the balls. Thank you. <laughs> See, Chiron, I'm not that close with you. I don't touch your ball. Of course you would say that, Chiron. <laughs> We must take the risk. The sleeping giant will soon awaken, brother. Yeah, the sleeping giant known as the United States World War II. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have just activated, as from the Mechanicus, and has woken up the Necrons! <laughs> Medical students, brother. Look, they put- they gave us a Thunder Hammer for a Thunder Hammer. For that poor chainsaw player that's like, I'm gonna use it and like, never mind, that looked cool. <laughs> I want one now. I concur. I concur. Arms cash. <laughs> trying to get Chiron to pick it up. But, uh... Chiron is too far gone. In that case, there's a data slate here, brother. Oh, yeah, it's a positive Is this just me, or did that guy sound like a slave? I mean, it was from a chaos guy. I mean, the entire time I was like, am yeah. I listening to a slave? Same. Yeah, he like has been boxes. smashed. Yes. Cosmo Incinerator. Crack grenades. Mm. Chiron, take a hint. There's actually two plasma incinerators here. Hmm. A fine gift from the forge. You know what? I'll take the plasma weapon. Jump back engaged. I have a feeling there will be range enemies. So why not? Beacon has been set. Alasa, transmitting targeting signal now. Your signal barely registers, but I read it. Your data is clouded, Lieutenant. Maintain close proximity to target. 
We must defend, brother. We are pushed back. The Atreus will miss its target. We will not yield a single step. Cover left flank, I'll cover right. We will find no rest guide until that tower falls. I got you, brother. Get him. Sword of Atreus primed and locked in. Lock target now. Reaching signal data through telemetry systems. Numerous errors detected due to signal interference. Calculating trajectory. Thank you, Battle Brother. There is uh, no enemies over there, so they came over here. <laughs> we crunch. There. The sword of Atreus lives up to its namesake. That will so that's what we did. We yeah, that's control. what we did. While the enemy control Aurora, the odds are not in our favor. Not gonna lie, I feel like watching uh, playing co-op is better in that way that we did than the than the campaign to actually see the payoff because it was set up and then payoff. Grab the melter again. See any? Okay, no. Brother, sorcerer. We will soon find you in the flesh and remove you from it. This is funny. Warren, there's Emera. It's also hilarious about the whole Warren's there is enemy. In PvP, like, if I mark you, it'll be like, Preacher Warren's there is a Jahu 7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. If it, if it just saying enemy, it, it like or actually class. says, yeah, warns there is whatever the person's name is. Munitions, <laughs> brother. Get him, brother. Chiron's covering with the trash. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
like this whole other section over here, and there's a power sword and all this other stuff. Bunch of ammo. It's like a crypt. What is this direction? Brother, I'm breaking off real quick. There must be a data slate over here, because there's like a lot of an area over here. Grenade. I have killed the enemy. I found a data slate, brother. Not sure. I thought it, like I thought it was a plasma rifle, so I stopped. Mm -hmm. so, uh, nah, it's just, uh, it's like a power energy spike or a light. I glance at it. What about it? I'm kind of dumb. Ah. Is it like a sister? Or. Yeah. They keep hinting sisters, man. It looks like a uh, hospitaler. Mm hmm. Which is like their medics. Mm hmm. Also, they um, excavate like tombs and shit, which makes sense because this is a tomb. Mm hmm. But I don't know why there would be a statue. They will not get but, past uh, this. Hopefully, we should find out. Found a last whistle. Do you want the melter rifle? I just have whatever this bolter is. Mm -hmm. And a thunder hammer. See, why can I have a primary and a thunder hammer, but I can't do that in co op? This will serve me well. Yeah, why is that? Like, I can have a melta rifle, a plasma pistol, and a thunder hammer. And why? I can't have that. And why does the gunner not have melee options if some of the guns in here still has our normal melee weapons? Because it's considered a special weapon. Uh. Oh. The enemy seemed determined to destroy Aurora. Is it possible the device might work? That it could weaken them? Perhaps they seek only the power source. Then why would they kill Nozick? I do not know, nor do I wish to speculate. We are here to end this folly, and so we shall. Proceed. I mean, look. I I can literally even hold the plasma pistol with a thunder hammer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't we get the plasma I, pistol? I, I, I can't do that in a lot. Why? Yeah. And I will destroy it. Probably because people would view it overpowered in PvP, which again, why I'm like, why don't they just make a PvE set of weapons and stuff? Bounce around that and have PvP be its own thing. Like it already kind of is. I mean, in PvP, plasma weapons don't seem all that powerful. Like, mm -hmm. they're okay, but. I mean... Ooh, Diptus Mechanicus sit here. Yeah. Uh, I saw the jet pack. Oh, yeah. No, I, I also realized. 
I realized you're earlier and then I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm so used to having a jetpack with a thunder hammer. Mm -hmm. But now I no longer have a jump pack. Proceed to the camp. Which is actually not a jump pack. It actually is a jet pack, but they call it jump pack for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Restocking. Completely ransacked. Wrong. Take them all. No victory. I just use my my scout ability, and my character yells war, blood, death. <laughs> Normally he doesn't say anything, he just goes rawr or sometimes he'll say like form a crag or something, but uh, yeah. interesting. Bolt rifle with grenade launcher here. Ah yes. And a plasma incinerator, but the I guess I'll take that. Melt the rifles on the wall now. Yeah. I guess I'll carry it, why not? I know you like it, that'd be great with your melee comboing. Since I have a uh, plasma pistol and a thunder hammer, which I mm -hmm. can't do in multiplayer for some reason. Or assault. Melt a bomb, wow. What a Restricted waste of time. by order of the Adeptus Mechanicus. This is Lieutenant Titus. Plasma Cinder. Meds. Denied. Aurora seal required. Identify yourself. This is infuriating. More heretics. We are on the right path. No. <laughs> oh, he was like, weapon my team, <laughs> and I just one swing on him. <laughs> Good kill. What happened to all my team? Oh yeah, they're all good. Indeed. Like your master! Time to use Melfa to heal myself. Mm -hmm. A little thing. See, if only Assault could do that. I've been cursed by Zeech again. No, brother. I just attack everything that moves. I don't know if it's real or not. Blood for the blood god. I think he just said shit, 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 or something, or shield, shield, shield. But uh, he's dead now. <laughs> Get him, brother. Get him. Four. <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be the last of them. Just ammo. their rear guard, no doubt. Stay vigilant. I saw an ammo box around here. The yeah, there is ammo like, so said over the there. I, ammo. Do you believe it? I grabbed ammo. He suddenly did. You said it was destroyed. Apparently not well enough. That damnable Archmagos. If it truly is tainted with corruption. Then we must destroy it permanently. Agreed. I like always have two stims in single mm -hmm. player yeah. campaign. Because it's like, oh wow, well, I, I took health damage and then I walked 10 steps and then another stim. So I just stim and pick up the second stim. Mm -hmm. Decontamination required. Mm -hmm. Initiate biological purgation within the chamber. Brother. 
Brother, we are pinned here. I was looking at this note from this uh, skull servitor right here. Barely a sign of life on this world. It is a burial world, brother. Reserved. I can actually make out some of it. Yeah, it actually is legit writing. It's writing, I just can't see what yeah, you're Yeah, it's just so small. Yeah. If they just had a better res, like, resolution on it, then it would be entirely legible, but it's a little... I still, I, I still remember... Oh, I was always amazed by this way back then, and that in Halo 3 ODST, on the little Medicaid packs, um, if you had a scope, you can actually zoom in and actually read what it said, and it was actually, like, directions on how to use the, the, the meta gel what was in the meta gel like 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 what the ingredients were and possible side effects of the the meta gel on every single one of them mm -hmm. and i would just like wow they actually like care about that put level this of in like super little tiny writing on a freaking meta pack that nobody's gonna read anyway wow that's deep a... down they know they, they know the fans are gonna read I mean, what's funny, I tell people that, and like, everybody's like, what? I never knew that. I think I've actually saw that. Yeah. I even, I even went back and, and replayed part of ODST with a Master Chief collection, and I zoomed in to see if that was still a thing, and it is, and I was like, yes. Yeah, I think, um, I think you mentioned it to me. Cool. Yeah. That shit was freaking cool. Another melter good. rifle. I have a melter rifle. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm stealing. I see someone's drilling. <laughs> I don't know if you ever played the the, the, the old um, game way back in the day, um, The Incredibles: Rise of the mm -hmm. Underminer. Yeah, the obviously the Underminer. Yeah, that yeah, that's what the shit looks like. It's even the same color and everything. Mm -hmm. I think that game was yeah. only on like the GameCube. I thought. Ancient ruins. I'm trying to remember all the stuff was on, but I know what we're talking about. Because because I had it on the GameCube. It was, it was the unofficial uh, The Incredibles 2. Yeah. Because it picks up right where The Incredibles 1 ended, and then that like there was a movie, but it was a game. Yeah. Now they have the Incredibles too, and they don't mention the Underminer for some reason. But these were not made by the devotees of the wall. How do you know? You may soon see for yourself. There's two chain swords sitting right next to each other. Yeah. The two people who died using them. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, and I love the chain sword. But we got Thunder Hammer. Oh, right. quite shocking. The arch enemy have penetrated deep into these caverns. Perhaps all the way to the Ooh, old You should be careful saying penetration when talking about chaos. Yes, gotta be careful. Chiron. Chiron knows from experience. Munition secured. Ruins are vast. What interest could the Mars adepts have in old stone? We know not what secrets hmm, this old stone holds. Hopefully, hold they can hold their weight. Multi melter. Brother. It's your fate. It is your destiny. Yeah, but Let us get to work. All right. Then. I already have a. I already have a melt. I have a mini melt. All right then. Now I'll use it then. Dude, there's multi melt and mini melt. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I was totally expecting you to pick that up, but you just pushed it. <laughs> yeah. Look at these glyphs. Worshipping something. They were spending time with a thousand sons like you couldn't. <laughs> Father a thousand sons. Anything of value, brother? Do you hear him talking to me? No. Okay, has he been talking to you? He only just said something right the second, saying, like, Halgar betrayed me, and I was like, no, cheap tricks, brother. Okay, because for me, he was like, Gadriel, do your brothers know why you are so loyal? And Gadriel was like, shut up, demon. And then he oh. started talking to me again. And he was like, do your brothers know that you are a descendant of liars, thieves, Whoa. betrayers, and heretics? And then Gadriel didn't say anything. And then the, the, the demon thing just started laughing. And then Gadriel just, you know, said like, you know, silence. And then Chiron was like, they focus, brother. Uh, so, yeah, apparently I'm a descendant of heretics. Ah, this explains everything. <laughs> Carry on. So, but not so this is just like the Vermintide Dragon mm -hmm. Film. Exactly. Now I wonder what he has to say to Chiron. Chiron, <laughs> you are doing Chiron. a good job. Hmm. No, 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 no. Chiron, do you hate how your brothers despise you and make fun of you so much? Join me, and oh, you'll be my good boy. Yes. <laughs> Chiron, they don't even say your name right, because you're Charon. Would you like me to sit on you? <laughs> like they, like you <laughs> wish for them to sit on your face, Charon. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I know. Horrible. Ooh, good deflection there. Not good enough! Not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Into the pit you go. Nice, cast his armor into the abyss. Oh, they have a terminator here. Is it a T eight hundred terminator? Not anymore. I just know he's terminated. No apostate punish. I said I terminated. Oh, so, so, so I run over here and on my execution, I hit this this, this Rubik Marine in the kneecap, oh, yeah, really? broke broke both of his legs with my thunder hammer. And then hit him in the face, ripped his helmet off, and then tossed his dead body down here. And then Gadriel just goes, apostate punished. <laughs> Damn, I did not hear that. For me, I killed the guy that you were saying Terminator on. I said he was terminated. And then <laughs> freaking Titus says, enemy terminated. <laughs> I didn't hear Titus say anything. Brother, so, another rifle with a grenade launcher. Yeah, 
But I have those. Understandable. Oh, there's a, a bunch of boxes. Sims, brother. Sims for days. This desecration. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that one Fallout 76 trailer that was like their launch trailer, where you're just slaughtering things together and all having a carefree what, time. The, the um, the, the freaking um. What's the song that played in that shit? It was like a. I'm trying to remember. Is it? Isn't it lovely or some shit like that? Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, it was something like yeah. that. That wasn't the launch trailer, that was the... the uh, um, cinematic um, or whatever, I forgot. It was... It was hyping up one of the DLCs. Mm. I want to say Wastelanders, but I think it's it was not, way before. It was that. way before. Uh, I'm I'm quite I remember it was released right after like the launch to celebrate yeah. the launch, but um and then it's what got a bunch of people actually buying it. But I was gonna say was like that stuff that you do in that trailer is stuff we could finally do in this game. Well, in that game you just no, not really. It was how you wanted to paint it in your mind, but not reality. That's just what that moment of us just coming in here just wrecking shit. Just like walked in and. Oh, so, was like, destroyed this. I'm like, okay. I love the detail of all that. Like, if you hold still, all the different glyphs. <laughs> that was just... in the whispering. Oh, this is great. I don't hear any whispering. Magazine. I mean, uh, nothing, brother. Nothing. No, I mean, you hear whispering? Yeah. I don't hear whispering. I just hear music and these glyph things. Like, I see them. And then earlier, that the demon guy was talking to me. A boy, spare your ammunition for the real thing. I tire of chasing <laughs> for the no shooting the real thing. For the no, perhaps it was already here. How a relic from the dark age of technology. This is heresy. Now you say the treaty of Mars. This damn quest for knowledge. Back with the Blood Ravens. <laughs> More meds there. Another grenade launcher. Ammo cache. Power sword. Marks and bolt. Carbine. Ah, plasma pistol. Finally. Why didn't you just spawn in with a plasma pistol? It didn't let me. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe I probably didn't pay attention. That's my fault. It reset, like, and I forgot about it. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah I probably forgot. Okay. Uh, this looks familiar, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like um. I'd be a DRG and a little bit of Fermentide. Yeah. The rats. The rats. Like, rats of like the uh, like the OG Iron Man. Yeah, I think I'm, I think you're right. Yeah, AKA the only Iron Man game that was actually good. Fitting welcome. Incoming. 
They're not making it out of this one. I'm breaking him, his armor, brother. They are both broken. I just executed a Terminator and Gadriel said, another offering for the throne. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. So, um, what did you say that was whispered years ago? <laughs> I mean, obviously, he means the uh, golden throne because that's the only throne yes. there is, right? R right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, uh -huh. brother. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Clear. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. There's only one throne in the entire existence of the entire galaxy, and it's the golden throne. Everybody knows that. Precisely. Uh -huh. See, Chiron, this is why Gadriel's my favorite. Yeah, see, look, Throne of Terror, see? Yeah. You have seen one before. Ah, Necron. I knew it! The Martians have preserved everything. This place should have been obliterated upon discovery. Listen, I crush your pathetic man machine. No heed, brothers. We will not be distracted from our purpose. Okay, so wait, hold up a second. One, why does Gilliman care so much about this since there's Necrons here? Yeah. World? Two, what, what the fuck does Zeench want with this? Because they can't corrupt Necrons anyway. Necrons are, are uncorruptible because they're robotic and shit, so... Is it that technology? Like, like, what the hell is the angle? I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, okay. I know that the Imperium has occasionally um, fought alongside Necrons because they have the common interest in something, and then they go back to fighting each other, so maybe Gilliman's like, you know, maybe we can broker a peace treaty or something with these guys and, and, and get them to help or something. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I have no idea. These are the big good questions. Uh, it makes sense why the Mechanicus would be here, because, you know, they... Mm -hmm. As they... far as I understand it, the Mechanicus kind of believes Necrons to be, like, the ultimate fusion of, you know, organic and machine, but they don't want to be like the Necrons. They want to be better than the Necrons, somehow. Mm -hmm. Especially with the or, hints of what their history from yeah, the old so they like they like study the necrons but they always kill them they don't well they don't want to ally with them or anything which is, is weird to me, but, you know, but they always so. want to seal their technology and understand it or at least use it yeah except it's all written in egyptian right uh he's speaking to me again Oh, I'm fighting myself. Yeah, all the times I was taken, suffering from the Inquisition, so I touched the stone.
Okay, so I heard some of what he said to you, but he started the conversation by saying to me, like, do you not see how willing the Imperium is to turn aside heresy to suit its own needs? And I heard nothing. And went on and on and on about how I'm apparently like descendants of heretics and shit. And then he started talking to you, and I heard part of it. So. Yeah, I don't know where this guy comes from, but uh, apparently uh, I have some heretic lineage or some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a, it's also a kind of a funny thing now is that it explains the beginning where he's like, when he's seen, um, what do you call it, Death Watch, he's like, oh, I'm so proud of you for going through that and glad to have you on here because he views as a way of redemption. And he wants himself and his family's bloodline to be redeemed, but he hasn't really measured up to that in its own way because he hasn't gone through that trial of oblivion. Yeah, but then, like, what is his bloodline? Exactly. Because it's like, this demon guy says heretic, but it's like, okay. My, uh, like, chaos worshiping heretic, or just like a traitor? Or something. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I yeah. I feel that on a personal level. Yeah. More minions. Lurking in dank holes like the filth they are. Brother, if the archives are to be believed, and on more worlds than we shall ever wish to discover, I pray everyone is unearthed and burned to cinders. Damn, I'm trying to mark something, but do you see that like spire looking thing over that way? Uh, wait, where like way off in the distance over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like those, I, I don't remember exactly what they're called. But those usually hold like it's like a tomb where they put their mm -hmm. soldiers. So there could be anywhere from like ten thousand to a million just, you know, sleeping necrons over there. And we're like fighting right next to them, so it's like I'm gonna disturb I mean, the peace. I mean if they don't if they don't wake up and get super pissed off, then like I don't know what to say. It would be really cool to see Necrons, even if we don't fight them, just like see them wake up and kill all these guys and then look at us and just be like, you know, uh... Oh, you didn't disturb her tomb? All right, goodbye. Yeah, 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 just just be like, who disturbs my slumber? Oh, you fucking Zinch guys? Yeah, fuck you guys. Ultramarines? Yeah. Oh well, goodbye. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. <laughs> it's like I'll sleep on it on a kick in your ass. Also, like back there, mm -hmm. it looks like a pyramid. Yeah, it does. That really does. And then, There's and like then those look like Why some other kind of. Terror? Were these something. things not destroyed? Mm -hmm. Preserved. And then there, study. there's another pyramid over that way. No, and another bigger one, right? And another one over there. Yeah. So this isn't just like a small group of necrons. This mm -hmm. is like. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, there's even more way in the distance. Data slate. Magos Ekaterina Mulvalos analog backup log 9.9.i99i. Oh, Messiah, what have I done? The sarcophagus.
is cracked and a metallic imago hatched. Centipede-like, it skittered up the walls. I tried to seal it in the tomb enclosure, but I dare not go back to see if I was successful. It sparked in me a quaking terror. Whatever purpose the machine god needs such an entity for, I pray to never learn. I must keep moving. Analog backup log. Forget protocol. I ran the anomalous code and received the following integers. 01.23.1.11.05. This is some cruel joke. It is a simple cipher that spells awoke. I hear the skittering machine ding, but when I look, I am not followed. No other footprints in the dust but my own still. I am being chased. Hunted. What have I awoken? Okay, uh, so they're awake. I, uh, uh, I'm gonna okay. go back. Now. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it's a. Uh, uh, hey, Captain. It's a lost cause. It completely went to shit. I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm just sorry. Uh, 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 hey, uh, Captain. Um, I agree <laughs> with the lieutenant. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. We got there, and uh, er um, everything was dead. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and you hear Chiron on the radio. They have awoken, uh, Captain. Something. Shh, shut the fuck up, Chiron. <laughs> what? Get in there. Figure out what awoken. God damn it, Chiron. It's all your fault. <laughs> Two things. One. Yeah. I, it's cool that they're actually awoken or awakening, mm -hmm. but also that's that's fucking horrifying. That yes. Um, that audio. I mean, yeah. That everything. I mean. I don't know, okay. Like, the, the standard issue weapon for, like, you know, space space marines is, the, you know, the bolter. The standard issue weapon for the Imperial Guard is a las gun. The standard issue weapon for for the Necrons is something that literally, like, kills your entire, like, Atoms. body on a, on a subatomic level. Yeah. <laughs> um, just, you literally uh, wiped away just from any we have, impact. We have, we have melted guns. They're considered high power. They have subatomic weapons that erase your entire lineage from history by just shooting at you, and that's just that's a standard issue. Like, damn. <laughs> oh man. And there's like there's like this millions is... of them, and oh. they don't die because they're all robotic. They just kind of mm -hmm. heal themselves. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Look at that. This is, this is all caused by Chiron. Oh my gosh. Oh my... Oh man. Oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, we're not the ones that woke you up. That was the stupid Mechanicus guys. You can kill them. Yeah. We're here killing Zeke, which we, I know that I know that you hate chaos, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know you guys hate chaos. So. Yeah. 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 That. <laughs> Woo! I mean, I got this game to fight here. Oh, no, no, nobody said anything. They have about a thousand it. suns, and now it's yeah, Necrons. Yeah, like yeah, what exactly. the? And everyone's been telling me that not to spoil something that happens, and I don't know what it was, and... Oh boy. Ah, man, this guy's... Yeah. Up. Got you, brother. I, I don't know why. He hit me one time, and I was stuck in a cut... He's just like, oh, yeah. I'm a cutscene marine. He's like, I have to train you for the Necrons that are coming up. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I guess, okay, if we do end up having to fight Necrons, we are legit gonna have to take cover because, uh, yeah, 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 a kernel of truth at last. You have felt the same betrayal as the thousand suns. They call us witch. Heretic, for daring to wield the same power as your god. 
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Are these ultramarines? Yes, yes they are. No, I mean like, like, are these oh, actual? No, no. Or are we just like going Zines. insane? I think we're going insane. I, mean, I hope these are actual Yeah, I saw people on Reddit saying like they wanted like a Necron DLC, and then other people were like, I mean, considering from what happened in the campaign, I wouldn't be surprised. And I was like, what are they talking about? And now I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, brother, we are pinned here. I mean. The most annoying enemy and the hardest enemy I ever fought in 40k Gladius were, were Necrons. When I turned Fallout 4 into 40k, Necrons were just straight up fucking like, no, no, there was there there, there was no fighting them. Oh like, man, like it, it was impossible. Um, they would shoot you one time and you're just you're just dead. <laughs> just instantly yeah. dead. Um. Yeah, and in Gladius, like, you'd fight, like, a squad of them, and then they would just heal after every turn. So it was like, if you uh -huh. didn't have enough, if you didn't deal uh, enough uh, damage fire, fire, to kill them, fire, fire power. then they would just keep healing, and healing, and healing, and healing, and healing. That's and healing so demoralizing. Forever, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. And it, 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 it took so long to kill one squad of them, to just one oh, squad. Dude. And they also do so much damage. It, it, it was just absolutely busted as hell. And then that's just their, their basic ass squad. That's not even talking about, about their vehicles and oh, when they man. actually build up armies. I mean, yeah, they were just uh, absolutely no fun to uh, deal with. And I was playing as the Sisters of Battle with like Faith magic and shit. Mm -hmm. And they were still just absolutely, you know, kicking my ass. Um, and I was allied with Space Marines, and Space Marines were just fucking dying, like dropping like flies. Brother, I don't like the title of this game anymore. <laughs> They're praying. Or are they stuck? I, I, I can't tell. It looks like they're stuck. It does. I see like green shit around them. Is it the Necrons? Oh, I'm gonna kill them. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, e you, 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 oh, hold on, stop, stop, stop. What if it turns out it's the Necrons, but then we needed these guys to help us fight the Necrons? I, 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 uh, I was I, gonna say, up and look over there. Do you see that green bubble? Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that either, brother. Sh yeah, but what's worse? Mm -hmm. Both side of the three prong killing, fight. Killing, or? killing Zine's traders and then having to fight Necrons by the by ourselves, or mm. letting Zine's traders work. All right, I guess we'll have to kill them. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, thought. I already knew. It was just an acute observation. Cogitation looks accurate. The Anguins have been thrice applied. It is loose. Lose. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Lose. Ah, Lieutenant Titus, praise the Omnisire. In just a few minutes, you will bear witness to. You must stop this. Do not make us your namesake. Please, I know you have concerns, but look, this is merely a taste of what the device is capable of. And I have seen the worst of what it can do. My lord, you, you must trust me. This has, has been my quest for knowledge. M my life's work. Shut it down. Now. I will not. <laughs> Just immediately. Fine. 
Forgive me, Lord. Time will reveal the purity of my intentions. Wow. <laughs> what? I kind of expected this a little bit, but man. Yeah, Zinch, help us! <laughs> Your malignant energies are useless. Bring him down. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh huh. Ah, oh, hell, boots. Brother! Grenades, you'll taste these grenades. I heard you like crack. And your mother didn't want it back. Hmm? Oh, Indeed. I was trying to execute him, but I guess my thunder hammer just hit him so hard he got <laughs> On top of two crack grenades in the mouth. <laughs> Would have thought the mechanic. Oh my. Uh, um. What? Where is he? With Aurora active, he and others like him cannot exist here. We will see. This is just the beginning. With these devices. We will seal the Great Rift and drive the heretics back into the warp with nothing more <laughs> than the transference of alignment. of dawn discovered the true nature of the aurora device that left me speechless like we were just like well oh. um <laughs> well darn okay so i think zinch is here because he wants to kill the necrons before they wake up ah that's that, the thing that would make sense right because he he can't corrupt them so and they and they hate chaos so there's no way they're going to ally with them 
But again, Zinch is a schemer and a trickster, so maybe he wants to wake them up to kill us? Or or to kill the Tyranids or something? Because, I mean, waking up in a, an army of Necrons to kill Tyranids, I mean, you know, yeah, Necrons are going to win, eventually. You know, because Tyranids can't eat them. Because they don't, you know, they're robotic. Um, so, maybe... Because Tyranids generally tend to just leave planets alone that have Necrons on them, because they can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe Zinch wants the to planet Adoran. to be saved? Do you read me? For some reason? I, I don't know. Uh, Damn it. Mm. How could that fool lose not have known? He took the whisperings of that sorcerer to be his own inspiration. Luz was merely a pawn. They killed Nozick. Led us to believe they would do the same to Luz. So we would deliver him precisely where they wanted him. And that Smart. spectacle in the catacombs. Deceit to trick that puppet Luz into finishing the work. Yeah, but the work to do what exactly? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the Necrons had already been slightly awakened. Remember the, the, yeah. the, the translation like, thing where the girl found the uh, Necron the spider thing. Corruption. So they're Which already awakening. So... They are broken. What the hell? Where's your purple eyes, boys? I guess they don't have that much resistance from all this because they're not actually Acadians. They don't have that much warp resistance. I mean, didn't Acadians just get warp resistance because they were already corrupted by the warp? Yeah, from like their area, but then like the whole yeah. big thing made it even stronger. Yeah. Basically, they got it's resistance just by being risk. near it for so long. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that they're not right. Not corrupt. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Kind of like dwarves and fancy. Everybody says that dwarves are completely immune to chaos, but literally chaos words exist. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're just resistant to it, but, uh... So, um... Yeah. <sighs> Chiron, we need to talk about what sp spurred all this to happen. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Medicaid stones. Nice. For a second there, that thought was one of those enemies about to strike no, at you. No, I was making sure I still had a thunder hammer. Okay. Data slate here. I'm receiving a coded locator signal. I'll let him talk Akron first. Signature. Not far from here. Chiron, Can quiet. I, I believe so. Mark it on all specs. Mark on your map. God damn it. Chiron was <laughs> pressing Garvey all along.
Well, that's nice. Well, yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> you see, Chiron, this is why we don't fuck around with Zinch. Yeah, Chiron. A grenade launcher. <laughs> what the hell's going on out there? I maxed him. So there's there's yeah, something yeah. outside. Yeah. I guess if you start he's... seeing green lasers run away. I see green lasers. I see blue lasers and green lasers. You honor your soldiers. We will fight to the end. Covering fire. Restocking. This one freaking Rubik Marine teleported away from me like four times. <laughs> but I finally caught him. <laughs> finally caught the little bastard. I just downed that guy. Not gonna lie, this is an awesome campaign. Look at this. Just... Damn. Just everything here. Enemies fighting down there too. In a portal and... Enemies at that castle way far out over there. Wait, there's actually, there's actually, um, Sardis down there. Reloading. Darn. Zinch bullshit. For once we can't cover them. I hit it hitting a wall, brother. It's like, what's kind of cool is it's not just hitting an invisible wall. It actually looks like it's shooting a force field. Mm -hmm. Cause like, yeah. I can shoot up that way. Yeah. But if I hit here, it's just like... My ammo back. Same here, brother. Time to get my kick game back. There must be a solution here. I look No. He's like, why? The logistics. Only brother. Such folly. How does this compare to Brian? Incalculably worse. A warp rift of such size will permit the darkest of horrors to pass through. The fleet will be preparing an orbital barrage. Then we must find a guardian relic dead next Aww. to a dead Asardis. This guy died as soon as he got out of his drop pod. Yeah. Like the instant he got out, he just died. Yeah, there's this guy too, where I found the relic at. This guy died all alone. This guy must have been playing assault. This guy must have been surrounded. God, like he's even a rib cage right now. There's a bunch of ribs right next to him. Chiron is shooting something. Chiron. Oh. Very good.
Man, he is stinky. I don't think he's gonna die. Brother, I think he is the protagonist of the chaos. That's how they got here. Let us get to work. I dumped almost all that weapons ammo right in his head. We must find him personally. Do you hear my gun? Yeah. Clicking. Yeah. Do you? Um, hold on. Uh, it's hard to hear with, you know, Chiron just... Yes, I do hear you. Click, click, click. Really? Also, ammo right here, brother. Yeah, see, ammo. So we can keep shooting that guy until he eventually does. I'll just go around the corner. Oh, finally, other oh, space marines. They don't look like ultra marines, though. They have like darker looking armor. I feel like. Guys. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. They are ultra marines. They're just covered in blood and cuts. Mm -hmm. Like massively covered in blood and cuts. <laughs> yeah. Captain awaits you inside. Courage and honor. Courage and honor. Virgin honor, that's nice. Brothers, be mindful of the casualties. Oh, hey, look, you can actually see the medic over here. Gone mad. You're all right now. Killed seven before anyone knew where the shots were coming from. It's Sienna? He was mad. Empress, strike me down if I'm lying. I know. You believe me, don't you? Sure. It's Sienna from Vermintide. Oh, man, it's totally not Sienna from Darktide. Ah, yes, you're correct. <laughs> That I did not expect such a nice cameo. I wonder if it actually is her though. Mm -hmm. I mean that in notation is just too perfect. Titus, report. What in the name of holy terror do you call this? We failed to stop Luz. I can see that. He was tainted, an unwitting puppet of the arch enemy. We are now facing a warp rift the size of a small cruiser. Three volleys from the resilient and not a scratch on that pillar. If it has a weakness, I need to know what it is. It is powered by the artifact from Grier. If we can destroy that... Where is it? We do not know. You call that a solution? What is the alternative? There is a field around the pillar. Impenetrable to our ordnance. We have observed their forces passing through it on foot. We must get close enough to see if we can do the same. Proceed through those doors. We make our assault imminently. Well, that's nice. We're totally not gonna die. <laughs> well, he's actually joining us in the fight. You know, I feel I like we need our prime to move on the enemy's flank, but we have Honestly, yeah. Them. They are carrying the company's standards. What is if the they have fallen? The trail? We will retrieve it, Captain. Ultramarines! Ready! What is the fate of those that turn from the light? Death! And what will you cry as you tear into the traitor's heart? Vengeance incarnate. You who are the first 
and last bastion of hope for mankind. You sons of Gilliman, go forth in the name of the Emperor and lay waste to those who would defy his righteous word. For the Emperor! Well, that's not nice. Indeed it is. They're gonna need all the faith that they can have to muster. And hopefully it pays tenfold. Medical stems here. Found a stem. I have two. Same here. Then heal yourself and pick that one up. No, brother. They need it. For the wounded. You must save Sienna. Every stim saved goes to Sienna. The front is beyond this bridge. What is that thing? I can only walk for some reason. Spread out. Might be a good thing we can only walk. I could run now. For the Emperor! I'm using my grenades for once. This is a burial world, Titus. If we fail to defeat the enemy, then I will burn this place. But I would prefer to not disgrace these honored dead. Can our scans locate the signature of the power source? We are blinded by all the interference. It is out there, at the heart of that profane madness. Agreed. One way or another, we must reach that obelisk. Then we shall. I mean, honestly, we should excuse it, Serpentatus, because there's Tyranids and now there's Necrons here. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> the, you know, full of Meridia on this planet. <laughs> oh, man. Zoop. Gone. Hey, look, the guardsmen. Mm hmm. Base guardsmen. A lone guardsman standing next to a bunch of space marines. <laughs> Firing. He must be. With, this, with this a dead space marines. Must be one of the most badass guardsmen because he's still alive. Honestly, yeah. And remember, I told you. I told you. It's remember, remember from the very beginning, the very first mission, it's, 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 it's John Guardsman, remember? He's still alive. That's my head cannon. <laughs> On Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bloody Heldrick. It's wreaking havoc out there. We need to start rationing ammunition. We slow down our shots and they'll come crashing through our defensive line. If we don't slow down, we'll be throwing a proper super before long. Good thing I brought my own So they're almost out of ammo. You see me laughing? With last guns, they're almost out of ammo. Holy crap, and then they they have slingshots ready. <laughs> This must have been a long firefight. It's going to get a lot tougher the closer we get, so we'll need those frags. Understood, sir. Scabrox, we're getting hammered by enemy air support. Round up any heavy weaponry that can knock out those damn flyers. I'll see it done. Oh, we 
Syndicate expects heavy losses in the assault. Have the medics prioritize wounded that can return to combat. The others will have to wait. I'll make sure they understand. We move any minute now. Be ready. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. All that is needed to win. I cannot fathom that ten of our brothers may have fallen. Along with the standard. I dare not picture the company banner soiled by treacherous hands. Ultramarines do not fall without a fight. They are alive. But they may be in need of support. And we must move quickly. Here we go, brother. Onward! Grenades. I've been corrupted by Zeech again. No, brother, no. Resist. That looks like the tomb that Serana's in in Skyrim. <laughs> See how the priests maintain these graves, even in the midst of this war. Their devotion is commendable. We must hurry. Our brothers pay in blood for every second we delay. They should be on the other side of that door. Anything of value here? Yep. Ready. Data slate here. Over there. Demarium is honored to provide temporary rest to Salamander Chapter. Space Marines of the Salamander Chapter. They are sons of their Primarch Vulcan, of whose fate the Imperium is unclear. Loyal to the Emperor, these Salamanders hailed from Nocturne. Their actions were pure and noble. Paragons amongst Astartes, through their loyalty and their glorious deeds in service of the Imperium of Man, we honor them until the day Vulcan returns and claims these bones. Demarian okay, so this planet cannot fall. Be buried salamanders here. You're like it's no longer a choice; it is now canon. Then take this, brother, a relic. We cannot fall. Now they said something that got you really more invested. <laughs> we shall shatter the enemy in faithful service to the Imperium. Then onward we charge! The standard! It lies crumpled in the dirt like a rag! Lieutenant, what are your orders? We fight! Brothers, assemble around the standard! Victory or death! Yes, brother. What happened to our captain, by the way? It's a good question. He was here and then he disappeared. We hold this ground in the name of the Primer. If we die, we die with vengeance on our lips. Hold the line!
Calgar. Lieutenant, I received your message. Brief me. The central obelisk appears to be the source of their power. It's protected by an energy field. Give me a solution. We've hit that shield with everything we've got. Nothing gets through. My lord! There may be a way. In the catacombs, Lou said all it took was a transference of alignment. And then he inverted something. An object. What of it? It was identical to that obelisk. You want to invert that? Explain. The Aurora device might have a weakness. Might? Chapter Master. We cannot stay here. Lieutenant, you stand by Sergeant Gadriel's assessment. I do. Captain Akaran, muster your company. Aye, Chapter Master. Brothers! The heretics clamor for a taste of victory! But we will defy them this day, as we have defied them for ten millennia! We are the sons of Ultramar, servants to the Emperor and guardians of the Imperium. Let these wretches feel the wrath of ancient vengeance! I like that green stuff. <laughs> well, yeah. it looks, looks a little too necro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have brothers in mind. Viridian and Talassa. We will handle the last one. I'll get them moving. Brief them over the box. Yes, Captain. Viridian, Talassa. Have you received new orders from Akaran? We have, brother. Moving to point Alpha now. Talassa on route to point Beta. You will need to rotate the small replica of the obelisk. But be warned, it will hurt. Not as much as it will hurt the treacherous bastards out there. Pain deepens devotion. I will gladly volunteer. Go well, Damn. Are you ready? Yeah, so when when Calgar showed up, I, my first thought was, hey, Gilliman, and then they yeah. Gilliman. Yeah, that's what I thought so, too. Yeah. I, I knew it wasn't as soon as he started shooting with his mm -hmm. arm gun. But, 
Yeah. I mean, having the chapter map is cool, you know, but, you know, ha having the fucking Primarch itself would be, you know, a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. But... Okay, this is a bad idea. This I'm here. Really bad idea. I'm here. I will break him. I got you. Everything was going fine, and then they were like, "Aha! You fell for our trap!" And then they just summoned like a whole army of the Chaos Marines behind me. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." Uh, Zinch. Gateway. These small obelisks appear to be the keys to that gate. We turn the keys and lock the gate. Exactly. Ready to deploy the store, brothers. Go! I don't even know if this particular demon is in 40k, but that demon looks a lot like Kairos Fate Weaver from Fantasy. Hmm. Not, not exactly. Kairos has two heads and then looks a little bit different, but... On your six. Because it says attention. Munition we'll secured. That, so I was looking at that. They told me to. They turned it. Who left? Tell us some report. This is Straben. It is done. May the Emperor bless you, Straben. I am but a lightning rod for his will. You may rejoin the main effort. Drive the blade in deep, brother. Talasa, out. Terminators! They have destroyed the bridge. Watch their fire! They have the advantage. Not any longer. to now I don't know so I'm asking you mm -hmm. it looks like you're, we would advance for here but I've, I've, I've they're advancing now. now I knew it I saw this and knew we had to move it this plan of yours may actually work Gadriel the idea is worthless without those that execute it I think my hearing is damaged that sounded like humility. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Chiron. Oh, hey, I'm all kind of melted. Mm-hmm. I'll open it, brother. We'll crush them by the balls. Traitor is done. Ooh. <laughs> I like a good fight. Another automaton. Found a stim.
stuck in Zenith's magic and I'm corrupted. No, brother. <laughs> I will kill him. I can't move out of the Zenith's magic. I have a box back here. Granted, my thanks, brothers. For Vanguard. One more. Welcome to Dark Tide. <laughs> <laughs> they are everywhere. Honored brother, join us, and you may sate your rage and aid our cause. Lead me to the slaughter. Onward. This is the silence before the tempest. Death was the beginning of my true purpose. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Some resources back here, but <laughs> when I die, I want to be a trip. <laughs> Copy that. Grab some stim, brother. No, man, I have to die to be a dreadnought. <laughs> All right. I will respect your wishes. Then I will live to see you there. <laughs> you just said vile sons of bitch, but it stands for Magnus. Vile sons of Magnus. Down there. But my grenades can. My shockwave can. Coming more ammo, brother. Chucked it, killer, it. Chucked it at him. We have our chance. Yeah. Move. Yeah, I want to be a dreadnought when I die. <laughs> this one's mine, bro. That's like a little kid saying, I want to be a cop when I grow up, Space <laughs> Marines. I want to be a dreadnought when I die. <laughs> Watch Chiron die. 
Cairo, no. We could do this together. It's funny how Titus doesn't do a single one. Uh huh. He's like, I already had my moment in the first yes, game. My lord. <laughs> But see, Chiron cheated. He has a robot yeah. arm. Yeah, a lot easier. That was... I, even, I even looked at him like, bro, really? Yeah. <laughs> Chiron. <laughs> God damn it, Chiron. These cutscenes look so fun. I know. It's like, I just want Henry Cavill's Warhammer show. <laughs> so somehow Calgar is just so badass he doesn't get frozen by Zeke's magic. <laughs> I know. He's so badass it's fated that he'll win. I mean, he, he's going in with no helmet. You know he's going to win. Into the abyss with sand overcome the chaos invasion. That was weird. For a game about Tyranids, I don't really see that many Tyranids. <laughs> I know. Like we fought yeah, the, it was like in the first like, quarter, like 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 three or like three missions, and then ever since it's been a Thousand Suns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a complete like from difference between the advertising and everything that they said, yeah. completely one eighty and completely went a whole nother direction. Which is it's still great, it's wonderful, but that is true. <laughs> I mean, you, it seems like you fight Tyranids more in, like, operations. Yeah. Because there's, like, I, was it, like, yeah. two missions? You fight Thousand Sons, and every other mission is Tyranids. Uh-huh. It was a trap. Perhaps. It's this. The Immaterium. If it is, we must move quickly. To where? Aw, they took guardsmen. our guardsmen. They did. They took our guardsmen. Oh, he was shooting this- Look, he was shooting this guy in mid-air. Oh, I'm trying to cover his friend. While his friend's executing one of them. Damn. There's like two other more behind. Mad respect. Oh who no. Gonna, who do you think is gonna win over here? The Chaos Marine or the or the Ultramarine? I feel It's hard to say, but I feel like it would be the Ultramarine from the fact that he can maybe do a counterweight thing and he also did it to save the guardsmen below him. So maybe the guardsmen can make a play too. The guardsmen doesn't even look like he has a gun though. Wait, actually, no. He does. Mind. He does. He dropped it. Okay. He's like laying on top of it. Mm -hmm. And the Chaos Marines like looks like he's about to fall over. He's like, yeah, all, momentum. All yeah, wait. That he, yeah, he could completely just counteract and let let momentum completely screw him over if he just yeah. pivots him left or right and do a counter or, strike. I mean, the Space Marine has a chainsword. He could just activate the chainsword. Mm -hmm while blocking which might you know throw this dude off and the guardsman could just get up and do something right so, yeah. but man this next guy right here see this damn yeah. 
Oh, he... I know this guy's gonna die. But... Yeah. <laughs> he died a badass too. Uh huh. Oh, this is upside down. A time thing on the bottom of it too, top of the cross. Uh -huh. Reminds me of those iron crosses. Ah oh, man, we don't talk about that. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this poor guy. Look at him. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. Already guts coming out of the plate. <laughs> oh. And this guy already hit him because he's blood mm -hmm. already coming off the swords. So. Yeah. All oh, those guys on the ship right there in front of us. I hear yelling. Yeah, mother, father. Yeah. Our brothers, I hear them. Do not trust your senses. Oh, well, look at this ultramarine is fucking this guy up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just blasting him in the face. Oh, look. Look at this Sparta kick over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks more like like he hit him. Yeah, it does look like him, yeah. Or, well, no, I know, actually, no, he hit him with a chainsaw. Because he was blood. Mm hmm. I think what he did was he hit him, but then he shield, like, you know, like, his, he shoulder bashed him off the edge. Oh, look, there's uh, some tanks, but not our tanks. But they're blowing up from it. This guy is getting, uh, you know, Supreme Chaos game. Oh man. Poor guy. That's the thing. Well, then again, he could maybe survive in the, the explosion. I mean, no, because look, there's a Chaos Marine behind him killing mm -hmm. this dude. Mm hmm. Yeah. Lord Kalgar left you to rot in the Death Watch for a century, Brother Titus. Coward. He's talking to me. Do you hear him? <laughs> He's talking Make to me. Saying that Kalgar left me in Death Watch. <laughs> and I did not hear what he said I to you. Smell fear. Okay, so he said that I'm like my ancestors. An empty show of cowardice and betrayal. And uh, then he started laughing. Hmm. Um, so what did he say to you? Oh, he was saying how um, Cal like that Calgore um, left me to rot and to die pretty much inside Death Watch, and that he smells fear and, and all that, and I'm just basically calling him on his bullshit. I didn't say anything. He just said that, and I just didn't say anything. Oh yeah, no, I'm and just telling you what I said. Yeah, and th and then Chiron was like, you know, don't don't listen to him. So I guess Chiron mm -hmm. heard somehow or something. Yeah, somehow. Makes me really wonder what the third per person here is. Oh, okay. Frack grenades. I actually need Let us put this to use. I'll be fine with what they've given me.
him, and we shall do you the honor of ending you swiftly. Release him! After all your efforts in bringing him to me! Enough games! Silence this heretic! One last dance before the strings are cut! Not this time. Ammo crate floating over here. What the? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Can I pick up ammo, please, Dan? Thank you. Indeed, brother. I don't give a shit, I will fuck you up. The demon roll. Go for the eyes. All under attack. Open fire. I'm in a black void. I thought you were glitched out or something, but I, I guess, I guess, uh... Were you still out here, or were you yeah, in the black void? Yeah, I know, I was still out, I was still out here fighting, though. I was having a private battle with him, deflecting and fighting in a complete dark void. It was pitch black. It was crazy. He was pulling all these crazy moves. I had to do it perfectly. Brother, no! Got real! Let him go! <laughs>
see the Sue? Yeah. I'm like battle war like hardened all messed up. I'm like in a okay, I'm in a black area surrounded <laughs> by right? okay. all at it. They are mere imitations. Yeah. I see you. Oh, is weakening. That last fight will leave him really. Onward, brother. We must find a way out. Over there. Brother. Something is happening. Let's go. Lord Kalga! My words to you on Talasa. Speak them. My lord. Speak them, or be slain for an imposter. Rules should never make a prisoner of intelligence. Titus, it is good to see you. The sorcerer's power wavers. He is vulnerable. See how his domain weakens as he does. There is only one place left for him to hide. Let us dig out the heretic. There he is, within the stream. He prepares for another attack. It is the artifact. It must be. There is almost limitless power within that shaft. Then we must make haste, brothers. Brother, it is over. You did it. Brother! Yet done. <clears throat> you 
the character growth. For the Emperor! For the Emperor! Lieutenant Demetrian Titus, your decisive actions have saved this system from ruin. And so it is with great pride that I now present you with an honor worthy of your deeds. The Laurels of Victory. Let every warrior of the Adeptus Astartes see that here stands the true measure of a son of Gilliman. For the glory of Ultramar! Courage and honor! Company dismissed. Forgive me, brother, that it took me so long to bring you home. My lord, that is... Fierce was my wrath when I learned of your detention. In their arrogant suspicion, the Inquisition failed to recognize the truth. That no evil will ever overcome a devotion such as yours. Thank you, my lord. There is a mission. It will take you away from the second company for a time. As you command, chapter master. The brother chaplain will brief you. It was he that suggested you for the task. My lord, the sword of Kalth is ready to depart. Thank you, captain. My ship will convey you to your destination. I should be glad of your company. Titus, it has been an honor. It has indeed, my captain. I hear you'll be taking your leave of us. Not for too long, I hope. Emperor guide you. And you, sir. Brothers, I am called to serve elsewhere. You'll be missed, my lord. I will not forget the blood we have drawn together. Nor shall we. I owe you both a debt. You have restored my faith in brotherhood. We shall await your return. Courage and honor. Courage and honor. honor. Titus. Lord Kalgar has informed you of your assignment. Good. I will brief you en route. You are joining us. I am. Very good, my lord. You have done well. You have won the trust of your brothers. And of the chapter master. But know this, Titus. The stain of suspicion never completely fades. I will be watching you, should you falter on the path for even a moment. I will show no mercy. Leandros. What? <laughs> it is time. The man who put him there? <laughs>
That would be fitting. be watching you, the lord of change and a figure from the past. So we completed the campaign in one sitting. <laughs> it's not surprising to me. It kind of felt like it ended abruptly. Yeah. I mean, it kind of gave that uh, Gears of War one kind of vibe for the, like, abruptly, but it was great. But it ended yeah, on a great but, note. But, like, like, it didn't, like, explain exactly, like, what happened mm -hmm. to the planet. It was just like, oh, yeah, you can defeat the Chaos Lord. Cool. Mm -hmm. Great, but what about all the Tyranids? Yeah, I feel like the whole thing I'm getting here is, like, there's going to be expansions of the I story. Hope. It looks like I it. I mean, I mean, come on. I, I mean, feel like that's got to be the scene. It's like, it's and like the they set it up for a sequel, mm -hmm. but it's like, what about like you know what happened here? Because again, we have all these here and it's here. Yeah, we could could uh, Kadaku. And the Necrons yeah. and everything. So it's just like, what are we gonna do about that? Exactly. Like, I wonder if they're gonna have like standalone stories for just like specific people, or if it's all gonna be Titus and to what end. But overall, I, I really enjoyed it. It was great. It's funny they're showing some art from the multiplayer, from the co-op. Because, like, you didn't face the uh, that boss from Decapitation. Oh, you do in the very beginning in the, in the tutorial prologue. I, the Hive Tyrant. I guess so, yeah. But, yeah. I thought that was a Carnifex. I thought it was a Hive Tyrant, wasn't it? Uh, I'm not gonna say anything for sure, but okay. that's just what I remember. We could yeah. always check in the future. I know they made dialogue mentioning it was a Carnifex, but then again, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I mean, anyway. to be fair, when I played the, the tutorial prologue mission, like, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> yeah, you had a piece that would just follow along, same here. I had a... I was... I was under the effects of themed corruption before <laughs> even knowing Thief was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, but overall, I mean, they it was really great presentation. They definitely nailed it. Um, I will say I do understand what people mean now. What like, And I already felt it, and I knew it was coming. But, like, it was wonderful. It was great. But we want more of it. Like, it feels like there needs to be more. Not necessarily that it was too short, but, okay, cool. This is fine if this is all you do in the time. We're, we can be a little bit patient, but we want you to continue doing it and not wait for like a whole other game. Just with every update and stuff, you know. Kind of like with the whole roadmap stuff. Like I hope it's a solid, steady track, and they start introducing more stuff as opposed to a couple of DLCs, a couple of things, and then immediately into the sequel because you know a lot of people bought this game, you know, and make it rushed or take a bajillion years. But I mean, overall, solid work. I was say, do you, do you think the hint for the new mission is going to be what is going to be made entirely tailored towards what the community was voting for? You know, with the whole Primark voting and all the other kind of stuff? Uh. What do you mean? Like having the Primark actually be there? Mm hmm. Like all of this stuff, because, you know, now they're having the chaplain and all this new secret mission. It keeps the door open for whatever they want to do. I mean, 
I feel like the the new missions are only going to be co-op. I don't think they're going to mm -hmm. add any like campaign story. Missions. Yeah. I will say one thing. I'm I'm glad Titus got his redemption. Way better than how the first game ended. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hold, uh, I don't know, are you still in the credits or did you skip it? No, I'm still in the credits. Alright, we could probably just chat and just continue watching the credits. Maybe they might have something a little secret or something, but then again, give all credits where credits are due. It was absolutely a fun ride. Uh, what was, what was your favorite part? Uh. Underground, seeing all the Necron stuff. Yeah, like I, I mean, totally it, wasn't yeah, that. yeah. I, I, I really love that one single data slate that we heard. Like it was just the build up the, of the Necron, uh, where it the, just the one with the spider and everything. Yeah, I was just yeah. like, man, that. And even if they didn't like execute it in that way, I think just the fact that that you know eludes and opens stuff up for more, or just the idea of what's going on, it was just great. And of course, we did see Adeptus Mechanicus get lured to the uh, appeal and all that towards finding out what stuff that they should not know. <laughs> Ended up being a puppet. And this entire time, we just kind of led it to its finality. I was kind of expecting just only us three to go in there. I was kind of shocked to see the Chapter Master be the first one to run in there. And I didn't know how his fate was going to be. I didn't know if he was going to, like, as most games do, or stories, they have, like, you know, tragically die, or something, or wounded. But he was just holding his own. And he was just trying. But I think he was viewed as the priority that the main guy was just too focused on him, didn't pay attention to Titus. <laughs> Which is hilarious to think about history from the first game. It's like, come on. You're gonna sleep on this guy once. Here it goes and happens again. I um I will say I love the characterization and the banter between the um, co-op teammates that you have. That was uh, especially hearing that you're telling me that um, you hear different dialogue depending on who you're playing. I honestly want to like look up online or replay through and be able to have that opportunity. They they definitely should have an option to where you can select what character you play as. Yeah, that's what I was expecting from co-op mode. Mm-hmm. And I'm all the way down, uh, I'm checking out everything here. I'm just like, man, they're even showing the office support, and they're like, we're, we're getting everyone's name in this son of a gun. <laughs> oh, man, but... I would say the music was pretty good. I had it lowered, so I didn't get to hear it as much as it could have been strongly, but it was pretty good. Sound design was phenomenal. I mean, that's pretty standard for Warhammer games. That Even if the true. gameplay sucks, the, the the audio is usually always top tier. Mm -hmm. They do have kind of uh, audio files, don't they, huh? Yeah. The music is good, but it's not as good as Dark Tide, in my opinion. That's a fair statement. There I get what like, you mean. There's nothing that really there was links like for memory. tracks that were yeah. really good. But, like, for the most part, it was like, yeah, this is cool, but, like, Dark Tide music, like, every single track in Dark Tide is just freaking awesome. I think the fact going for Dark Tide is the fact that, like, it made you feel like you were in 40k while this is, like, it was 40k but heroic 40k, like, just yeah. a little bit generic heroic music, but it was, like, it's what it was called for, it's the Ultramarines, I was, I was yeah, down for it, yeah, I was completely yeah. on board. What is your thoughts on the uh, controversial um, reviews of this game being a six out of ten? From uh, how, is, how is that controversial? 
it was uh, people find it controversial because it was from IGN while they were reviewing like a whole other game that was like very low budget, not caring, but was pocketed uh-huh. in their pockets. And they gave that like a nine out of ten, but they gave this a six out of ten out of the gate. Yeah, I didn't even hear about that. So that yeah, know. yeah, no, that's why I'm saying it. Yeah, a lot of people um, feel it's like a nine out of ten, eight. I'd have to give it different reviews on different things. Like, that's fair like sound quality like the way how guns sound mm-hmm. and the way how enemies sound and stuff solid 9 out of 10 mm-hmm. you know um, it's not a 10 out of 10 because the sound effects for the flamethrower just sound super weak true, uh, true. the the pirate blaster flamethrower just sounds incredibly weak for some reason um, the chainsaw doesn't sound chainsawy enough mm-hmm um, yeah, if that, that, that makes any sense. Yeah, if um, it, if I had to chime in on my thing, is I completely agree with that. My nutshell, and I want you to go on yours, but if I had to generalize mine, would be eight out of ten because the only two things docking it is like I feel like what you're saying right now, like it needs to be more grimy, meaty, and more impact and more animation and more stuff like that. And it was just the one, also the other point holding it back is that not only is it lacking those things a little bit in that polish, but it's also the um, it was kind of short, and that's obviously only the campaign. And same thing could could be said about the co-op. You know, it was I love the randomization and all that kind of stuff. It was really great, but once you got it down to a certain system, you were fine. Um, when you got to know certain fundamentals, so for me overall, it would be eight out of ten. But I mean, in my heart, I enjoyed it ten out of ten. But if I had to be a critic and completely a shrewd critic, it'd be like eight out of ten. Like there's. There's just they could have done a little bit more. There could be more stuff done there. That that's how I feel on it. And oh, I said a, I said eight out of ten for sound. Design. Yeah, for sound design. I know. I'm just saying my overall yeah. sound design yeah. for me would be nine out of ten. But yeah. but the areas that you address is the thing what's holding it back. Like I can get past that. I could totally see where like I you know a modder can come in and tweak those up. Maybe even just take some files from even as we joke around about Hell Divers too. Could have totally have just taken sounds and effects from there and just plugged it in and be quote unquote fixed. But mm. yeah. But uh go on, so that's for you for sound design. What's your other areas? Like let's talk AI. Like AI like the AI teammates, the AI enemy. Everything. Um I, I will say AI teammates is pretty pretty weak. I feel like in co-op they're perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Campaign the AI teammates are borderline useless for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, and that also hurts the story mode because in campaign operations the, the enemy like, actually attacks the AI and the AI actually fights back and actually kills them. In single player or campaign the enemy just pretty much ignores them and the teammate will also just ignore them like i so many times it's like chiron just like literally aiming at like 15 enemies and just not doing anything and they were like right in front of him and the enemy just ignored him and just came straight for you or me mm-hmm. so that that kind of sucks but i know that they said that they that they were looking into that um same thing but, about the uh the damage values on how much you got damaged yeah um, the campaign overall, like for like, st- like rating like story, um, is kind of hard for me because it's like parts of it are really great and parts of it kind of feel like I should get more of this. Mm-hmm. So like I'd say campaign story is like eight point five out of ten. Yeah, um, like because for- it had it, ha- it has a dreadnought which is cool mm-hmm. and the dreadnought actually does stuff which is cool. So that's a bonus. The data the slates actually are do something, which is cool. Data slates are cool. I wish there was more data slates. Yeah. Um, or more interesting data slates, because oh. some of the data slates are kind of just like, okay, whatever. But then other ones are like super interesting. Mm-hmm. Like you know the the Necron one with the spider and everything, which yeah. is super eerie and super the, cool. Um, really good acting the on po- that. The possible sister of battle. Even that guy who was talking yeah. up the the um, the Astartes. That guy in near the very beginning when we were in the check um, jetpack area, like the way that he was talking, up really highlighted what you and I envisioned how it would be to play as a space marine in this game and what we were yeah. expecting. It yeah. is very true. Yeah, it's like I would love to see the the, the battle sisters. Um, so that that kind of sucks. I was really hoping to see them at least 
in the game. They don't have to do anything. Just be in the game would be cool, but, you know. They're not, unfortunately, which sucks as a fan of the Sisters of Battle, but, you know, it's whatever. Necrons completely took me by surprise. I was not expecting that. Um, we didn't see them do anything. We didn't even see any of them, but we saw their shit, and we know mm -hmm. that they're waking up, so that was cool. Um, Tyranid designs look cool. Um, I was the, in the... the Rubric Marines are cool and lore accurate and how you execute them and stuff, so that was cool. Yeah. And their Zinch magic is all cool. Um, it's just like... Yeah, and then campaign is just way too hard. Or, well, not not the campaign. Co-op is just way too hard. Like, it, it, sh it shouldn't feel like that when you're, like, supposed to be a Space Marine. Um, and that also kind of sucks down for the campaign as well because it's like it feels like you have to play the campaign on e on easy difficulty to actually feel like a space marine and get the most of the game mm -hmm. yeah i feel like Which for sucks. other people i i bet if we would have went through our original playthrough like we did with veteran we would have went through it yeah we probably could have accomplished at the same time but i think we would have felt completely different about the game mm -hmm. because i think we've yeah. been too busy dealing with the you know bs parts of it and just constantly healing each other than actually performing as what Space Marines would probably actually perform at, which is very weird because I don't think I've ever played any game that made me bump down the difficulty ever. Like, like I only bumped down the difficulty because it actually made sense. It actually completely made it more enjoyable. While there's other games, or majority games for me, I'm like, no, bump it up on the higher difficulties. Like, that's where exactly. it feels rewarding. But I think that's kind of what's the weird thing, is the co-op kind of filled that part for me, if that made sense. You know, because eventually I got to a point of mastery real fast. But that initial, especially having to be forced to play with other people, so you have, you know, if, if you're, even if you're perfect, you're still handicapped by, you know, RNG and your teammates environment um, so that's what made that kind of fun and exciting if, if I had to give my review a little bit more of um, a ponder back I would say story wise I would agree with that eight like 8.5 or like 8 for me from how I enjoyed it because um, I think it definitely hit up there like I've had moments where I was just completely silent just awestruck and just enjoying the masterful work and effort put into like all the effects and everything but I would definitely say for a ultramarine story definitely 9 out of 10 or 9.5 like for that idea of what they were trying to capture they did a wonderful job what I'm hoping for is since they have all the other chapters I don't even mind if it's just a one-off mission or one-off thing or you have to get a whole DLC for it but like either re scheme missions to be towards your chapter or hyper specific chapter missions so that people can kind of like have fun and play in that kind of way i think the more easier job would be to um it's kind of more more work but i think it would give back more to the community if it was like oh yeah we're gonna revoice these lines or we're gonna you know repaint the ship or anything or, or redo this thing just for the co-op missions so that people feel like they're playing or playing their chapter or whatever and they can have those selections I think that would make things I mean, more interesting. They are. They they said they are looking into exactly the, having the option of repainting the ship, and having different stuff like that. But nothing about yeah the wood yeah ex so far, so. exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say is that like yeah. as much as I because that, that was the huge problem that you had I noticed and so many other people is that they felt like they were just cosplaying their yeah. their chapter, but they're ultimately you know. Ultramarines, which is still fine, but I think that's the thing, though, is, like, for me, it's, like, I wish the game was called, like, you know, Ultra Space Marine as opposed towards, towards, um, Space Marine, you know? I know, old naming convention, but, you know, at the same merit, I'm, like, that, I feel like there, they, there needs to be a little bit more in that area. And I would also love to see, um, stuff from Chaos. Like, I want to see a Chaos co-op mode or, you know, something more developing in that area. Or maybe what was the events that led up and how did they do the tomfoolery and trickery to get this story to play out as it did? Like, that would be kind of cool to see the other side of the light. It, it just makes me, as like I, like I as I've heard many other people say, it makes you wanting more because you can see what they can do. It's just a matter if they're going to hear this and if they're actually going to pull the trigger. And I know it's very ambitious, but, I mean, they already have, they, they've already had the grandiose, you know, 
arrival of everyone. They already got a lot of funding, so... But you, you gotta remember, it's not mm -hmm. up to state. Exactly. Just, we know. It's up to GW. Exactly. So that's what I'm trying to say, is like, yeah. at least it should be brought to the table. Yeah. It's like, as a Ultramarine story, since you brought that up, I would actually rate this one lower than Space Marine 1 as an Ultramarine story. Mm. Right? Because... You know, yeah. I because, get what I mean. As, as a good like, person. Yeah, yeah because it's like, as a story, it's good. As a 40k story, it's fine. As a Space Marine story, it's really good. But as an Ultramarine story in 2024, I was expecting more. Right? Mm. Like, I was expecting to see Gil in them. Right? Right. Because they, they talk about them all the time. They hype them up, and then we never see them. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I was be... expecting to see the daughters of Gilliman, you know, the the, yeah. the Battle Sister Regiment that is literally a part of the, the Ultramarines. I was expecting to see them, but they don't even mention them, which mm -hmm. makes no sense to me because yeah. they literally take orders directly from Gilliman. They're not a part of the Ecclesiarchy like all the other Battle Sisters are. They gave that up and just signed on with, with, with Gilliman, and they're always there. They literally wear blue armor and everything, just like Ultramarines, but we, we don't, they don't, they seemingly don't exist in this game. And I think, really I, strange. I, and that's the thing is I will agree to that. Like, even if we don't have to see things in combat, like, the more I think about this in hindsight, I'm like, you know what, that is a very good point. Because, yeah. like, it makes me realize there is, like, an insane amount of people who have even dropped, like, the insane amount of money that a diehard fan would drop down, but they know nothing about the universe or anything. They just know it's the next huge big thing, and I think this was, like, a huge missed opportunity to have people... Like, I think this is a great start for people to get into it, but I also feel like people will only think, oh, Warhammer 40k, only space, only these space marines, and that's it, and, like, Brotherhood, and I'm like, no, there's a lot more to it, and I kind of wish that they would have just mentioned more stuff or either... Like, even in those passing dialogue stuff, like, mentioned about the other Chaos Gods and other people's experiences, where they came from. Like, I, I wish there was more world-building into it, which, obviously, yeah. the the, which, the franchise is completely drowned by so much things, and even just light passings would just... Even even what you mentioned earlier, like, if they would have just mentioned this one thing, would have been happy, you know? Which, like, Vermintide did that, right? Yeah, Vermintide right, Vermintide. All mentioned. the different Chaos Gods, they all talk about the Chaos Gods. In fact, when you go to the Chaos Wastes, they talk about the various Chaos Gods all the time. Mm -hmm. And they even they even mention Chaos Dwarves and other stuff like that, which would get people to look up that. Because, you know, Vermintide got so many people into Warhammer and then got people into, you know, 40k because they're not making fantasy anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And then... Space Marine 1 got a lot of people into, you know, 40k. You know, and then, like, Space Marine 2, I was like, you know, this would be, like, the perfect opportunity to get people into Warhammer because so many people were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy Space Marine. And it's like, cool, do you know anything about Warhammer? And they're like, nope, never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Know nothing about yep, it. I'm just yep, going to get the game people, because, yeah. because the game looks badass and cool and it's the next best thing, so I'm going to get it. You know, and it's just like, okay, awesome. So they can add stuff. Well, they introduce people to the Mechanicus, but they don't know jack shit about them, right? Where does it right. say... Right, no one explains mechanic, anything, yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like the only thing... Like, Darktide did show... Darktide showed more of what the Mechanicus is and what I understand of yeah. it than this game ever did. That, that, they, yeah. Great initial spectacle presentation, but terrible presentation yeah. when it comes to the world building. Also, yeah, I just got like, a... I just got out through the, um... What do you call it? The credits. Yeah, Senior I... Fight. I, I, I yeah yeah because um okay talking about that like if if you only played space marine 2 you know nothing else about warhammer right what would you know well you know that mm -hmm. there's a race of bug things called tyranids mm -hmm. you don't know anything about them y but you know, know that you yeah. know that they have the hive mind and that they have things called carnifexes and zoanthropes and shit you know absolutely nothing else about them um, you know that the Mechanicus exists, but they seem to be mechanics, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, they don't do anything. They seem to be only mechanics working on Space Marine stuff, for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um, you see Guardsmen, and they seem to be pretty solid, but they on they are, they're only Cadians, for, you know, because that's the only Guardsmen that there were, and they never mention any other Guardsmen, only Cadians, for some reason. You did see a Commazar, but you don't know what it's called, because it never mentions it being a Commazar, it's just... You know, one yeah. commas are there. 
you know. And you had to stop um, to take a moment to observe. Yeah, um, you know who the chapter master of the Ultramarines are, is, but you don't know of, of any other Ultramarine chapters unless you play co-op and you could, you know, view this stuff. Yeah, and you can and only that, infer on the codex and... Kind of yeah, a, lo a lot of people did complain when they completed the campaign that they're like, we need more of, like, from the first game, like, from the first Space Marine, we need more of codex. We need... We yeah. need to be actually be able to read about all this different stuff and got people actually interested to look up that stuff. Yeah. Which and I will agree, Space Marine 1 did a way better job in that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. Dark like, Tide like introduces we... people to 40k really, really, really well just in the opening cinematic. Mm hmm You know, like, you're not even playing the game. Just the opening cinematic just really explains what's going on. Space Marine was kind of like opening cinematic. Um, you're a member of Death Watch. Just instantly, you don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. um, you you fight through stuff, and now you're an Ultramarine for some reason. And then you find out that you were sent to Death Watch for some reason, but you don't know why because you never played the first game because this is the only game you ever played. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, like it, 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 it it's... might get people to look up Ultramarines or something, but I mean, I like it doesn't talk about anything else which is kind of strange I, w one thing i will point out that's a huge problem is they did all the stuff teasing of necron but never mentioned the word necron or anything even though it was all right. obviously necron yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's a huge problem True. Yeah, if yeah, if if this is your first introduction to Warhammer, you'd be like, why are there all these pyramids underground? Mm -hmm. What what the hell is this this one transmission thing? Yeah, it must be all from Zinch. When they yeah. when the, cuz like yeah, if you're someone new, you'd be like, wouldn't this have been obviously a trap from them? But obviously you if you're a Warhammer fan, you would know, oh, Necron, so you're trying to like piece it piece in that kind of thing and trying to fill it in. But if you're consuming it for the raw thing it was, yeah, that is a huge problem. Oh, it's also funny that they never mention Zinch. Mm -hmm. They say the changer of ways, but yeah. they never say Zinch. So you would have no idea what Zinch even is. Or how to look him up or what have you. Yeah, and you'd, and you'd be like, the changer just... of ways. I wonder what that is. Oh, maybe the guy we kill at the end was the changer of ways, and we Super finally right. win, and that's the end of the yeah. story. Like, like, I wonder what the heck more... Like, And people would just probably assume that... And it's kind of hinted in the co-op missions post, you know, the whole thing. Because, like you said, it's only Tyranid missions. They're like, oh, now the only enemies in the world is Tyranids. It's like, no, there's a whole lot more and a whole lot more complexity. I mean, they do mention orcs. They do. They so, do mention. You know, people, yeah. people would know that there's a thing called orcs, but they'd probably just assume, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Lord of the Rings style yeah. orcs. Yeah, fantasy. You know, or, you know, Elder Scrolls orcs or whatever. You know, so yeah. Or it's either they would see the the conclusion of the first game if they looked up online on YouTube or what have you, and be like, "Oh, did, does that mean we completely concluded Oryx because we don't see him in the second game at all?" Like, yeah. that, there's there's so many ways to read it wrong, and I think that's the problem with this game. Yeah. Which I then, enjoy it. Like, it's great. It's just yeah. It really um, it it was too much of a specialist. It it had too much of a narrow tick on the areas and what it did great it did really really great but it needed to for such a vast world it needed to do more right because yeah that's that, that, that's kind of one of my um i don't want to say complaint but like critique which is warhammer games in general mm -hmm. is that gw needs to make a like an introductory game right right which is again is what vermin type one and two did it introduced people to Warhammer Fantasy. That's what Total Warhammer does. It introduces people to Warhammer Fantasy because, like, if you know absolutely nothing about about fantasy and you go and you go play Total Warhammer One, I guarantee you you'll get in you, you you'll get interested in it. The, there there will be something in there that fascinates you and 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 drags you into the you know rabbit hole of you know fantasy Warhammer, right? Mm -hmm. For 40k, it's like, I mean, sure, maybe if you just really love the gameplay of Space Marine 1 or 2, you might look up stuff, but I mean, most people don't. Right. You know? Right. Because, I mean, like, 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 how many people play Fallout and don't know jack shit about anything, right? Exactly. And yet, they play the game, and they love the game, and they play all the games, but they don't know anything about, like, the actual what, what's actually happening, because yeah. they don't care. 
mm -hmm. you know, because like they don't have a reason to care. And I think like, another problem that, for, like specifically Warhammer has, is that people who are coming from the outside looking in, when they look up and type up and try looking into it, they're like, oh, minifigs, oh, this investment, oh, all right. these things. And they don't right. see the book, they don't see all the inner lore, and it's either going to be okay, too much reading or too much whatever. They don't look at like, oh, I can consume this like online on YouTube, or I could research this thing in this way, and it's really great storytelling. But there's nothing that's letting them know that there's something more deeper and compelling because there's no like deeper. Like, I did like that they hinted a lot with, like, moral conflicts and, you know, animosity and all these other issues, which I think they did a good job for an Ultramarine story, but as a Warhammer story, I'm like, it's grim dark. I was kind of expecting even things to go even more darker. Yeah. The ending was too happy. Yeah. The ending, and I've seen a lot of people say that, the ending was way too abrupt and way too happy. Like, as the mm. ending is kind of just like, oh, great, we won. Okay, time to move on. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, okay, but why? Like, again, there's there's Tyranids here. What what high fleet of Tyranids is this that's attacking? We don't know. Right. At least I don't think we know. I'm pretty damn sure it never mentions what high fleet this is. Um, and the, whatever high fleet it is would make a massive difference as to, like, what actually happens. Yeah, we shoot and, a laser cannon at one ship, and then that's the last we really see of them. <laughs> like, like, yeah, and that's just one bio. Ship. Yeah, and that was like, the first level too. Y yeah, like they. I mean, like, okay, and then they kind of just disappear. And then it's all talking about chaos, but you don't know who chaos, chaos is, is because you know this is your first introduction, and and mm -hmm. it just it's just weird. It's like. When they said, oh yeah, you don't have to play the first game to understand, that's true, but you have to be mm -hmm. a fan of Warhammer to understand what's going on. Exactly, otherwise you're going to be completely lost. I would feel bad for anyone who bought the game to, like, as I've, as I've heard from so many people, especially people who left Helldivers 2, even just mm -hmm. that whole large group of people, even not even Helldiver fans, and I'm being specific there because, like, there's people who just went in there because, like, oh, it got popular and I get the squash bugs, or they were fans of other stuff prior, like, you know, um, Starship Troopers, etc., you know, all that kind of stuff. When they come to this game, they're probably going to be severely disappointed that, uh, where are the bugs? And then people are only yeah. fighting that in the co-op. But then, oh, I heard about this cool multiplayer. Wait, I'm fighting more at Chaos, where... Where's the bugs? Like, what? Like, for me, when I saw like the PvP, I was hoping for like um things I saw back in the PS3 days of like a third faction of just Tyranids just fighting both sides. That would be cool. I mean, I mean, that's what Gears of War did with the PvP. They were like, okay, well, great. People want to play as the the locusts. All right, sure, why not? And so they did, and you know, it was cool. And yeah, and and it's like okay. I love seeing the Thousand Suns because the Thousand yeah. Suns are one of my favorite Chaos Legions yes, in all agreed. 40k because they're so they're they're just so freaking cool and there's so much lore about them. That's badass. All right, I love the fact that they're lore accurate with how you execute them. I say that all mm -hmm. the time, but I just you know, yeah, you can't you can't go just, over that it, fact. It, it's like I just love the fact that you just rip their helmet off and just see all this dust come out, or you chain sword them and dust comes out. It's cool, right? And I also, I love the fact that we actually get to fight someone who's not fucking Nurgle. I'm tired yeah. of fighting Nurgle. Yes. That... I, I, or, or, or just Warhammer Hammer. I'm tired just of fighting yeah. Nurgle. Vermintide, you fought Nurgle. Uh, Darktide, you fight Nurgle. Um, there's another game, I, I forget the name of it, where, again, you, you fight freaking Nurgle. And that's another thing that was like, Inquisitor Martyr was such a breath of fresh air, because you fight Corn. You fight Tyranids, you fight Zinch, you fight Nurgle, you fight Swanesh, you fight, um, what, um, Eldar, you fight, um, you know, just all sorts of different things. And so that was cool, right? And so it's like, yeah, I, I was super happy to, to see Zinch, but I'm a fan. Mm-hmm, exactly. And so it's different. It if I wasn't good. a fan and I bought this game for what it was advertised as, as you fighting these bug things... Uh, yeah, I would be really upset that I didn't fight a lot of bugs, like... Yeah. In co-op, you do, sure. Yeah, yeah. But in, 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 in campaign, it's like three missions fighting bugs, and it's badass <laughs> and cool, because they're, cause they're everywhere, because, you know, like, like they, they kept showing off, like, oh yeah, look at how many enemies we can have on screen at one time, it's yeah. so cool, look at this fancy technology, and it's awesome, and then you go fight Chaos, and there, there'll be, like, 
what, 20 enemies on screen at a time? Mm -hmm. Right, and right. Like, that's not what it was advertised as. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, it, like, I don't want to say it was, like, mis you know, false advertisement, but it kind of feels like a bait and switch in some ways. Yeah. Um, which, again, as a fan, I'm okay with. But, you know, I, I still wish that there was more, uh, like, Tyranid admissions. Yeah, as as far as I see in operations, it's, it's, it's there's a total of six missions, and for the Tyranids, technically there's three exclusive ones, but obviously we all know that the very last one is something that's probably going to be in that extension sort of thing of the story, where that wasn't necessarily related to the story at all. That was just its own co-op mission. Now that we, now that you and I have context of the story now, um, what while. It is Ballistic Engine. The uh, it's, yeah. It's when you nuke yeah. the Hive City. And yeah. the thing is, though, is that obviously you remove that and you're going from this campaign perspective. It's only Inferno, Decapitation, which is, again, at the very beginning. And and then it's the third mission, Vox Liberatus, uh, which is a mix. It's a shared one. Where it's which funny, is really it, cool, which by is the way. it is I, that is my favorite mission because yeah. of how they mix the enemies and I, that should have been and for one should have done but more. Fight each other. Yes, exactly. I love that. I love uh, I like I, I love fighting a rubric marine mm -hmm. and then seeing a tyranid jump on him and the marines like oh shit and he goes and fights a tyranid. Mm -hmm. That's just cool. My huge problem with that mission though is if you hover over the mission and I'm showing this on screen right now, it says M enemy presence, tyranid swarm, possible chaos forces. You play the mission. Once you get through like the first quarter or half of the mission, it's just chaos. <laughs> like no yeah. one like I'm just gonna be honest there. Like I don't have a problem with that. I love that mission. I love that because you know, when you are playing like I'm gonna say that for myself because I was that guy who was playing Inferno all the time. You know, I was playing that in decapitation. But that's also the thing is as I realized if I was playing the other levels, like Let's be real, no one was really there to collect or grind for the armory data. No one was trying to do it like for any of that kind of stuff. It was just for the story or for, or for the sake of, oh, I'm doing this because I needed to get the little badge symbol that says that I did it on the higher difficulty, and that's it, you know? And it, obviously that doesn't get you anything. That's just for you, for your own sake, and no one else sees that. Like, There's nowhere in this game where you could see someone else's stats. The only thing you could see at all, at all, is someone's level which let's be real someone could be level 25 and still have everything gray like mm -hmm. how are you going to know your team composition i think another highlight point i should also mention is you could play level you can play with level 25 and i bet there's someone going to be online right now and i i bet it who's going to make an entire account i have all 25 characters and i never invested any of my coins or anything in that into leveling up my characters and they're going to have other people suffer through that, or they're going to make themselves suffer through that, And but that's going to be their kind of, like, ego sense thing to it. And I think that's also another huge problem is that you don't see what other people are bringing. At best, the only thing you can see is that thing I told you that you told me you didn't even know about, where you show up the objective and you hit the, um, like, for controller users, the right bumper to see the next page, and it says, Team Synergy. Like, what did the person bring Team Synergy? Well, if they didn't bring anything... They just didn't bring anything. It's just empty. And you're not going to know that until you're in the mission and you're already too in the thick of it and invested into it. Where I feel like that kind of forces everyone, no matter, even if they're playing with Mr. 25, has to look at that. And it doesn't help that there's going to be people who are going to be critiques of, well, on this mission, you should be bringing these weapons with these perks, with these things, and you should build your weapon this way, which obviously you don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. But... I mean, even when we play the campaign here, we also highlighted the difficulty is very much rough. And even if they lower it and they make the new difficulty, that's going to be coming out to the difficulties that we already suffered through. Then at the rate, we just kind of play through and experience everything the game has to offer unless they actually bring more and something new to the table, which, you know, is fine. Like, I would love more, but the same merit, I also see that kind of a as an overall community health problem, if that makes sense. Anything you want to chime in or mention? No, I'm just heating up food right now while you talk. That's perfectly fine. Not a problem, boss. I found, um, I found a piece of pizza in the refrigerator and a burrito. <laughs> My man must survive. 
a way to crack uh crack the seriousness and in, in our uh earnest or stern talk uh talking about this game but real talk overall i i know you and i enjoyed the game i know you um like i've seen so many other players like it was kind of like I'm just gonna be honest. I enjoyed operations because I kind of saw what they're putting down, and it took me, like, I had a hyper focus and hyper fixate on like doing everything that the game was asking and just figuring it out all by myself. Because I feel like if I did learn, like, and that's a huge problem. I see a lot of people going online and learning all the information on how to play or do the game, but I'm like, you just, you just gutted your like the whole skill ceiling for yourself and all the other kind of yeah. stuff, and you just kind of like made it brain dead or made it too trivial or easy or like and i also see that as a problem like you could play as like i just got the game and then you're playing with level 25 people and they do everything and you did nothing and you get all these levels and stuff and it's just you know you're not going to see that growth which it sucks and i'll have to say it you kind of had to be there or you have to play with people who are around your level and your skill level to kind of see that general genuine growth and that's from operations, which let's be real. We all know that everyone from the get go all played campaign. And even, even, if, even you and I even mentioned people who went from campaign coming into operations, they were getting slaughtered, like just straight up, like completely massacred beyond repair. And it was only the co-op veterans that was just really holding the duct tape together. And even when people got relic, even if people got level 25, I, it, what I was going to say earlier, and I just remember what I was going to say, is watching people play Operations, it looked like to me, to see, from from the outside, who who was fine and could honestly, like I mentioned way earlier, I could play these missions with very little issue. It, it really looked like watching people pull teeth out. It really felt like they were pulling I mean, their own teeth out. That's, that's literally how it feels to me to play Operations mode. Yeah, because if you die, and, 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 you, and, and you get punished is, hard. This is coming from, from someone who enjoys hardcore games like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cooperative uh, I don't, PvE. I, don't, yeah. I, do, I do not enjoy Space Marine 2's difficulty for Operations mode. Again, I, I got the game to be a Space Marine, not to feel like I'm you know fighting tooth and nail every single two seconds. That's not what i wanted a space marine game for if what? i wanted that I, I would play dark tide which i feel stronger in dark tide which is stupid you um, you even we even mentioned true. in prior streams and especially with the new patches that are really coming out now hell divers yeah. 2. somehow yeah. hell divers 2 makes you feel like like i saw okay I'm, i don't know if i sent this to you but i saw a short that someone made before the patches, it shows them um, someone modded Helldivers 2 where they were, it looked like they were playing and, and, and going in the game as a guardsman. But then after the patches, they were a space marine. And I absolutely agree with that. The weapons hit, everything goes through. Yeah. When you get hit, you get hit, but you can recover. But it's still that fair chance of difficulty. And like you even mentioned way earlier, um, even if you're at that um, point where you're playing on the hardest difficulty to the easiest difficulty, they have those spikes of challenges or it's very easy or very hard. And the thing is, it's not like, oh, more health or they do a lot more damage to you. It's like, no, the, there's just a lot more enemies and they ha they can do new abilities and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like there's some sort of limitation going on over there because it makes me very suspicious. I'm like, why wasn't there a lot of bugs in the campaign and everything like was there some sort of limitation and i was expecting to see a lot more chaos there's sometimes i felt like i played through um relinquary the fourth level um for uh, uh for co-op operations in space marines 2 i felt like i faced more chaos marines in that level on some generations than i face in in a lot of the big climatic battle sections of space marines 2's campaign and obviously to be fair sure we were playing you know on the easier difficulty and usually we always play the harder harder difficulties in games and we even did a little bit in in this game but i know for a fact it would have been the same because that's exactly how it was with co-op operations and playing through the first level like that's all it was. It was just a modifier difference. That's literally all it yeah. is. As so, as you and I who went through the first level of the campaign on veteran and on day one with all the you know everything to go right and to go invisible wrong for the game, enemies. invisible enemies. Yeah. yeah. Despite all that, yeah. it was only that. That was the only difference. And I was like, wow, really? Like, 
Huh. I mean, I I, I wouldn't know. I couldn't see yeah. the enemy. But <laughs> right. Well, I, I'm I, well. I do have my stream, so thankfully you could see that in the you know if you look back in my streams and stuff. Um. So it was very much exactly the same, and that was the kind of um huge revelation because what I was hoping for. You have no idea. The entire time when we first booted up like this stream and this whole playthrough, I was really hoping, I'm going to be honest with you, to be like, okay, this is too easy. Let's bump it up to normal or let's bump it up to veteran or something like I was really excited for that. But at no point did I feel like there was any fruit. There was any worth it. It was just numbers on a spreadsheet of just you take more damage, you suffer more. And I... And, and, and as someone who already went through operations, already level 25, plenty of classes, and got max rank gear and all that stuff, it just didn't feel worth it. It it did not feel fun or where it was or what have you. And it made me, I honestly had in my brain of, if I want that and if I really want to do that, I'll go boot up Helldivers too, because that's what I've been doing yeah. for a couple of days. Which... I've noticed I have in like you know my friends list an insane large amount of friends and people and stuff like I saw where Space Marine Two was like two whole pages of friends. Now a lot of them are gone. They're not really playing the game. Some just did the store like you know like a lot did the store and some went to campaign. Some went to PvP a little bit. A lot of a majority of them are gone. Yeah. I honestly feel like they're all waiting for new content. But a lot of those people then went back to Hell Divers too, and they're actually st sticking there. Yeah, see, I kind of had the same thing. I don't have, you know, a massive Steam's friends list by, you know, design. But all of my friends on Steam are... Hey, Hot, hot Moz, appreciate you following. Also, uh, Kepler did say, holy shit, I slept through the night, and when I wake up, you are still streaming. Yeah, we went through the whole campaign, Kepler. It was great. Um, Anyway, my good friend Preacher, go on, you're saying. All my Steam friends are Warhammer fans, because that's how I met them, from playing Vermintide or dark tide or whatever um you know and when space marine 2 came out they were all constantly playing space marine about two days later a lot of them were playing either dark tide or vermin tide or mm -hmm. uh, total war or um some even played um God, what's the other warhammer game um space hulk mm -hmm. um yeah space hulk I, yeah. I didn't really like that one by the way, but you know, um, I've heard people know, mention Martyr even when I was uh, playing co op Inquisitor with people, Martyr. yeah, Inquisitor Martyr, yeah, yeah. Um, some even went to go play like single player games like Cyberpunk or Fallout or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then like the Helldivers 2 update thing happened, and a bunch of people played Helldivers 2, and now they're all just kind of playing other stuff, mm -hmm. like r right now. According to Steam, let me look. I have, you're you are the only member in my Steam's friends list that's playing Space Marine. Yeah, let me check um, mine right now. I have two that are playing Total Warhammer Three, one that's playing Vermintide One, two that are playing Vermintide Two, one that's playing Warframe, and everyone else is offline. Um. So. Yeah. yeah. Like I only have other like you're not even on right there. I only see one other person playing Warhammer. Or decay space brain mm -hmm. which even at like and to be fair this like this amount of center time for me obviously i have people who are friend i friend it all across the world so i have people like in asia europe north america south america you know everywhere across the globe you know even you know all that the thing is though is even in this time i remember seeing like 10 or whatever people and this is like I, I'm gonna give the news flash here, everyone. Um, we began and we're playing the stream on a Friday. It's it's the next day. This is the weekend. Like this should be prime time. Like you know. I thought the day was Wednesday. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no. To, like for right now, it's a uh, one a.m. right now for me. Um, for Sunday, but we were playing Friday, and this kind of gives me. An honest look at it, like, people are waiting, people want to have more, but, like, there isn't much more, which, I'll, which to be fair, as much, it's really hard for me to say because I really love how they do their system. I don't want them to be, like, a gotcha system of, like, oh, you have to be here for a season or whatever. Like, I like that a lot of people feel comfortable, which is 
one of the huge sides of release that uh, of relief I've been hearing from a lot of people is like I can actually put this game down, play something else, and come back to this game when I want to. And it's my own personal progression. I don't have to feel like I'm behind something and have to catch up with whatever, whatever, whatever. Which is a really awesome thing about this game. The only problem that I see of this game is, is it going to actually do anything to catch up? Like, or is there going to be something to make people want to come back? Because the retention, I'm, I'm just not seeing it. Like, the campaign was great. I could totally see, like, I even had people like life uh, life lesson who was in the stream was like hey i went through the campaign i want to re-go through it again either with other people or play another character through it which you can't really can you know you have to kind of rng that but regardless it was more so the difficulty the higher difficulty which i also feel that everyone's waiting for the brand new hard difficulty that we're all waiting for for operations and campaign because it's like what's the point and is there going to be achievement tied to it and what's the point of going through ruthless difficulty to then you have to do it all over again for the brand new hardest difficulty so i kind of see where some people kind of have that opposite of FOMO if that makes sense like does that make sense like it's like like I'm gonna wait instead of like oh I gotta get in there fast like as soon as possible it's like no I'm gonna wait for them to add stuff or to do what they're gonna do to actually do it which that is kind of troubling because if a lot of people are doing or treating it as that like I can totally see where the developers are like well we hit it while it was hot it's gone now it's time to go on the next project which obviously they should still be fine this is obviously new and they have a guaranteed whole um, map on how they're going to do content and stuff going onward, but that is a long-term concern I have, and hopefully that does not play to the negative fruition. I hope it goes for all for the positive. But anyway, yeah, talk, talking about like player retention, it's like okay, so I'm a guy that has. Um, an insane amount of hours for like Vermintide, etc. Yeah, Vermintide two, uh, two thousand five hundred seventy-seven hours. And for people that don't mm -hmm. know what Vermintide two is, it's a co-op horde hacker, hack and slash, mm -hmm. um, game in Warhammer Fantasy, or specifically the End Times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have um, I, I have six hundred forty-one hours, but this game yeah. I pretty much almost did everything in this game and done everything everything sure I could collect more coins and max out a few levels of characters but like to be to be real with you um I only have like a hundred um 11 hours which is great that's great all that time but the same merit that was also going through the grind of co-op operations like this the campaign stuff was just tonight and there's already guides for data slates if you want to find the lore you could look it up online and then they already confirmed they're going to be making operations easier. Same with campaigns. So, uh, yeah, that probably will less and less grind time. Uh, go on. Sorry, you're saying the yeah, hours. Which, which anyway, the gameplay of Vermintide is to be real. It's doing the same missions over and over and over again. Yeah. Um, but I can't see myself getting thousands of hours in space screen unless i played a lot of mm -hmm. pvp or something yeah like th um, there's not right that much i have 68 three hours in space marine um most of that was in co-op operations which to me just kind of feels like pulling teeth half the time and that's not fun in a space marine game if you were playing a guardsman it'd be perfectly fine mm -hmm. you know but i it's like you're playing a space marine like it it's just it's just i don't know it's just weird but, like, the PvP I played maybe six hours, six or so hours of, um, PvP was surprisingly fun, but I don't see myself getting thousands of hours in PvP. Mm -hmm. um, once you play the campaign once, there's really no reason to play it again, because you already know what's going to happen. Right. Um, it, the campaign really has no replayability outside of just, oh, I really love, you know, Ultramarines or whatever, so I'm going to play the campaign numerous times, or, oh, well, I'm going to play it co-op with a friend who never played it before type of thing. But, like, uh, otherwise, there just really isn't any, because there's no decision-making to make. There's no interesting plot twists after you play it the first time where you know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. And then the co-op operations, like, it's fine having six missions, that's not the problem. It's just a problem that, like, the si those six missions aren't necessarily fun to play, right? Because, like, Dark Tide released um, with, like, four maps. Um, and I played Dark Tide a lot. 
Um, I have friends who have literally four thousand hours in mm-hmm. freaking Dark Tide. I, I, yeah, I know. I know some people who. Yeah, even from yeah. Vermintide One, people are still playing yeah. it. Like, yeah, it's like it's like I have five hundred twenty-six point seven hours in Dark Tide. I, um, I, I just and I can't see yeah. myself getting even two hundred hours in Space Marine currently, just because the overall gameplay loop just isn't as satisfying. The um, the the way how I view it is like <sighs> the gameplay loop could be enjoyable for people who like it. Like I think that's a very yeah. hyper specific thing yeah. I'll say on that. Is like if you if yeah. if it doesn't hit it, if it doesn't hit good for you, it's just not going to hit good for you. You can get good, yeah. you can get better, but if it doesn't hit for you, again, it's kind of like what we've mentioned about Helldivers, but Helldivers 2 is surprisingly better in this weirdly enough surprisingly better melee and that's yeah. the huge problem and you know obviously they mentioned space Marines who devs did mention that oh we okay people are saying this we know this we're gonna hopefully address it when that time comes that time comes but that's where it currently stands where it is now and the thing that i'm also saying here is my problem with this game is it's missing the spontaneity that the titles that you and I have come from stuff that has been created years ago like oh my gosh so many years ago and I'm just gonna say like, like payday yeah payday like yeah payday uh payday you know like the yeah. whole payday franchise the, killing from floor. the tide games uh-huh. killing floor yeah. um for for me what I would say would really solve a lot of stuff and I've mentioned this many times from even when I was first playing this for the first time to even now is what they need to do is they need to, when you pick a chapter, you actually should be a character that is that chapter and they should not just only be like, oh, I'm part of this chapter. You need to be like specifically that character who is a tactical, that character who is an assault. Like that's a lot of work, but that's what's needed to get replayability and to hear like different chapters reactions to each other and the shit talking and back and forth. Because if it's just a skin over the ultramarines it's the exact same recycled dialogue over and over and over like you, it's going to get to the point where it's just better to just blast music and just turn audio entirely off okay. keep subtitles on and just go through the motions of things you know which is strange mentioning that because because mm-hmm. vermintide did it to an extent with vermintide one right where there but, are no classes it's right just, it's just characters, characters but you know, they are but, different that's what yeah that's what yeah. fu- that that and the yeah, amount of insane exactly. amount of lines that was in the game, even the ones that people have never heard of, you have to go look up online here. That was great world building, and it made you look up more stuff about it. But you don't get that. You only get ultramarine dialogue, and it's only in relation to the mission. Nothing about like, like Their at best, nothing. Like exactly. It's it, in campaign. You 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 kind of get backstory. You stuff, kind of do. It, yeah. It, it's like it's like alluding to something, but it never actually says anything. Like exactly. The whole, you know, chaos demon guy talking to my character about how I'm apparently a descendant of heretics or something. I'm like, right. what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. And if you played single player by yourself, you'd have no idea that that was ever a thing because right. you'd only hear Titus. That's so true. Like you would have never have known that because it's only those hyper specific yeah. parts for that hyper specific character, and you have to play in co op as that yeah. randomly selected character. And yeah. then even then, like yeah, even though it, it, it sparks range. intrigue, there's still like you said, there's no execution. Yeah, because Where, it ends up abruptly. When that first happened, I I mentioned it reminded me of Drakenfels. Yeah, yeah, from, from Vermintide. Vermintide. Well, in Vermintide, the whole Drakenfels mission where the demon sorcerer thing is talking to your specific character and your specific character's class, by the way, mm-hmm. has different dialogue and your character talks back to them. It actually like explains more of what's going on outside of like you know sometimes Karelian, you know the mm-hmm. the elf is like the demon talks to you and it's like oh yeah why did you leave your home and she just doesn't say anything and it's like well you don't know but at least it would get you to you know question it question and you can actually and you can together. actually find out because there's a first game and the first mm-hmm. game also doesn't tell you why she left but you could actually kind of you know make guesses or something with mm, the old educate. gadriel yeah. thing is like okay, from so, the lore pages to dialogue yeah. and yeah, yeah because, motivations because Karelian is really easy to track down. She's a wood elf from Athel Lord. You know exactly where she comes from. I have no idea where Gadriel comes from. 
mm-hmm. at all. Yeah. All I know is he's a somewhat Asian, somewhat white looking space marine of the Ultramarines. That's mm-hmm. that's all I know about him. I know that somehow he his his his, his family or something are heretic traders and mm-hmm. that's all I know. Wait. Which was which was so oh. weird is that like as much as the two side characters of the story was, I feel like their dynamics was. I'm not gonna try saying generic or what have you, but it's just like it felt like they overlapped each other at times. Like w- at one time, this like like Titus is painted in uh, in this way of the bad guy, but he's but we all know he's a good guy. But then your one partner is critical, and he's painted as the bad guy, but then he's the good guy, and then now the other guy is painted as the bad guy, but then he's a good guy. It's like okay, we all know they're all going to become great bros at the very end. Cool, awesome, happy-go-lucky story. But at the same merit, like, there's no deeper character. Like, I could see where someone could get, like, the idea of, like, I'm going to paint myself in this in self-insert power fantasy, but obviously you and I, we don't go for stuff like that. We go more to, um, how do I put it, to see what these characters are and what they bring outside and what they inspire or what they bring to the table for time and time after again because like sure if that's your cup of tea hey drink it that's your cup of tea but for me i want to be able to see what's more on the grander scale of the narrative and i i'm I'm not trying to be too overtly ambitious but coming from many years ago seeing even just the tide series which is vermin tide one and two alone it it leaves a lot to be desired and it makes you realize like well they could have done a whole lot more even with like ambitions of wanting to do something else or what have you which obviously is hard to do because it's like well is that corruption is that them leaving etc like but that even that alone adds so much complexity and like what a character's agency and why they chose to be here and why they're sticking it through here and yeah i mean obviously we're not getting alternate timeline versions of these characters where it's like well I mean, this person there, became that of course character. you can there's literally zinge that is true there is zinge i mean and on top is- of that, that is, is very also true. Literally, the explanation for for careers in Vermintide too. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's literally just Zinch fucking away everything. Salt no, Fire, we could change our entire chapters. So yeah, yeah I don't see yeah. why we couldn't. Saltspire does not change classes. He is always a witch hunter. He is always a zealot. He's always a bounty hunter, and he's always a warrior priest mm-hmm. all at the same time. Yeah. How? Because Zinch. That's literally what the developer That's said. True. That's what GW said. That's just how it is. And so they could totally do that because Zinch is literally an enemy in this game. Yeah. Like you don't That's you don't so fight Zinch in Vermintide. The closest you get to fighting Zinch is um Chaos Waste. Uh, certain maps could be affected by Zinch and they usually have lightning bolt magic. That's it. There's no Zinch enemies or anything. It's just, you know, Zinch effects. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they could totally have, you know, that i mean they can do all sorts of whatever the hell they want because zinch is here like they clearly have the license to zinch it seems like they have more of a license to zinch than they do for tyranids right um, i do agree with that and it I, I i i will also say what stops them from re-editing already done missions to have more dialogue lines of the characters yeah. having either inner conflict hell i want to see what happened like in vermintide where characters had conflict with each other because of what mm-hmm. was supposedly led or said or what have you, or yeah. was heard or what was rumored. Like that was the really cool thing about Vermintide was how much do these characters really know? And they're, ge- they're, 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 they're getting the breadcrumbs are actually catching along. And sometimes they execute it. They straight up call out each other on certain things. And I feel like I, I don't mind, you know, having this kind of band of brotherhood and, you know, oh, we're locked in, we're said, and we're going to carry it on through. But, that is also a thing of why I feel that people are just not sticking around. And, yeah. and, and obviously that goes hand in hand with like what you mentioned way earlier, the gameplay, like you either really like it or you don't. And let me just tell you as someone who really likes it, it can indeed be very much of a slog because let me tell you, if someone's either not perfect or someone just doesn't like it or what have you like that, you know, you're going to have to pick up some level of slack in some area. And it's weird because the game, especially with its leveling system, is either they really want you really up the tight asshole of your teammates or either you're Mr. Solo. And what sucks is a lot of people, when I, when I was first playing this, was very cooperative and wanting to keep together. But as time went on and as people got leveled up, people got geared, they just stopped caring about each other. It was only in the relative yeah. terms of like, oh, if you're a bulwark, I need you to heal me. 
And that's it, that's only if they actually knew or learned that. There's some people who just straight up are like, I only play this class, and I'm going to keep it to this class only. And so it only stays there. And that's, uh, which is fine, you know, you do you. But I do see that as a particular thing, especially if anyone is trying to plan on playing the future harder difficulty. I don't know how they're going to handle the current difficulty stuff when things get quote-unquote easier, the same, or harder. I don't know what they're going to do. But with that new hardest difficulty... I bet you, from all the friendly fire lines, there's going to be friendly fire, and I bet people are going to be frustrated or making pre-comp teams, and I can only see that being more of a nightmare for people who actually want to get better gear or trying to level or trying to get achievements or whatever the heck the reason why they're there for. And I can be seeing that being a great or an insanely frustrating experience. And I can see it great, but I could also see that clear problem. Also, hey, um, Hot Moz, appreciate you chatting here. Hi there. Um, but yeah, I want to say, um, Preacher, anything else you want to throw any light on well, or any thoughts? Yeah. Another thing is, like, the Warhammer is supposed to be grim dark, right? And throughout playing either I any one of the Tide games, Vermintide 1, 2, or Dark Tide, you know how it's going to end. Yeah. Because Vermintide is literally called the end times, right? You know for a fact that everybody's going to fucking die. Like, that's, you know, that's, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's whatever. Like, none of this that you're doing actually matters. The story's already been written. The world ends. Everybody dies. End of story. The end. It's not a, it's not a happy story. And so everybody knows that. And then Dark Tide is like, they, they make it very clear that they don't give two shits about you. You're just a bunch of rejects that they send on suicide missions. And you happen to survive, whoop to do go back and go fight again until you die. You know, Space Marine kind of like ends on like a happy note, which doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense to me. It's like I was honestly hoping I was hoping that either Gadriel and or Chiron would just straight up die. Or get hurt. Um, I was kind of shocked with the prologue. I was kind of hoping that like if they were going to make Titus, you know, us playing as Titus or what have you, we would swap to another you know, Death Watch person that is like, hey, the bomb didn't really arm or didn't get sent out. I need to go in and sacrifice myself. You go it's for this greater good or whatever. And that person legit dies or whatever. It was kind of a fake out at that, yeah. which I honestly, if, if I were to be honest, even if it was just not Titus and it was just a Death Watch person who just straight up died, at least I would show what he had to go through because that's what Death Watch people suffered through on yeah. the daily like that would have been what it was yeah. but it they did that which it was cool it was great in the initial spectacle but in reflection or looking over it as an overall arch it's like hmm so like it paints it as a way of like oh he has his plot armor or either all the other people just bad luck or just were not efficient and he was the only magical efficient hero mary yeah. sue kind of situation so it, it, it leaves a weird sense on which yeah unfortunately for that titus actually legit does have plot armor because gw started making models for him now ah. and titus um i know this because i keep getting youtube ads all the time mm -hmm. um so they have models for him um i don't know if they're like tabletop models you can play them as in, in tabletop i'm not sure but i know that models for him exist now apparently also um I do know he's a tacticus mobile game yeah i was about to say he now. is a character in there i did um, get that ad so I'm like, oh, there's, so he's alive. Yeah, so yeah, that kind of did a, remove the bit that, oh, he had any yeah. issues or he died. Yeah, that, yeah. There's that is There's another true. 40K mobile game card game. I don't remember the name of it, but um, he's he's in there now too, apparently. And so I knew from the get-go that he was going to survive, right? Mm -hmm. Because you don't, you don't do that and then kill the character. Right. And I'm glad that he survived. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. They, they paved the way for Space Marine 3. Right. right. That's fine, but there's no reason for Gadriel and Chiron to survive. They they, they I, could have died. I was hoping that Gadriel lost his hand, Maybe. or you know, or or or, or got corrupted yeah. in some level, and he has like yeah. to subdue it in some way, or or like the Necrons are now searching for them, and they're like marked for death. Like there's so many ways yeah. you could have done that. I was and hoping for that. It's not because I don't like the characters. I mean, I played as Gadriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a great Gadriel's time. Anyone who watched, cool. yeah. It's just, I just wish that there was more they stakes. died. Because yeah. Because it's Grim Dark. Like, I mm -hmm. want to have Grim Dark. Like, like I don't want to end a, 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 a Warhammer game, especially not a 40K game, and go, well, that was fun. 
Yeah, like, like it's like okay. I want to end a 40k game and not be sure if I want to be relieved mm -hmm. or be sad and cry or yeah what, cause exactly because it's supposed to be grim dark and yet it just didn't feel like that at the ending yeah and obviously like if when you're someone who knows video games like you know there's a lot of set pieces from like you know and we obviously tried milking and tried you know like enjoying every little thing that was given but you I all mean, know like it's all we like would literally look at every single yeah every little thing and listen mm -hmm. to every dialogue and everything mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah no and that's yeah. the thing that we wanted more story and we wanted to see those kind of stakes but like for me i'm gonna say it like the only time where i felt like i was witnessing something like what we we're describing is when the commissar was there for his one and only yeah. debut yeah. and i was that hoping was for that yeah it really was, was and it was completely a side scenes. thing entirely and for it me totally missable entirely missable and for me one thing i have a huge problem especially even just the prologue alone i feel like i missed all this like i feel like i'm walking into a grim dark world but i'm playing my power fantasy game and i feel like i just miss what someone else's game that went to total shit like i wish i was just a part of that which when we were having that banner part i was like we're there we're at that part we could like people are getting shot and dying and losing and stuff i could see the optimistic thing and i also saw the pessimistic view but i was excited for either one i was happy with the optimistic thing but reality of like i was kind of hoping for more of that grim dark because of just what the nature of the property is of what i was expecting especially with I how also, much was built up right i also did really like the part where the guardsmen were like oh shit we're running out of ammo we're about to start using you know slingshots and i was like okay yeah you're running out of ammo with las guns yeah with las guns <laughs> that is that is ridiculous uh -huh. <laughs> like, that is yeah you have space marines here and you are running out of ammo mm -hmm. cool and then I was expecting it to be like a, you know, straight up balls to the wall type of fight, but it mm -hmm. was just, it just wasn't. It was like the like the gate opened, and we walked out with space marines and a tank, and everything kind of just died. Yeah, and and that's the thing and, is though, um, is like even if we were to play it on veteran or roofless or what have you, it would have just been, oh, I got hit. Let me stand behind a pillar for like twenty five whole seconds just to get yeah. it filled back up, to then just take another hit and do it again like it, it wouldn't have been anything more now and, what they could have done to fix that mm. is have every single one of your tanks get destroyed yeah oh yeah i was gonna say have one lethal one, enemies yeah have, yeah you know one by one have your tanks get destroyed systematically have the guardsmen mm -hmm. you get know picked off yeah you know just 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 die horrible ways when the guardsmen mm -hmm. die have them crawl towards you and say mm. something like, you know, avenge me, angel, or something. And yeah, and die. Just, one, one thing... Know, make it feel grim and dark, because that's the whole point. But, they, like, they, they kind of died. The thing is, and I always say this critique, and this was a compliment, and this is a critique of this game, especially coming from Operations, is there was the hero mechanic, and I'm going to call it that because it was kind of framed and shaped at... If anyone knows this classic PlayStation... Uh, franchise um, resistance and I'm specifically talking about resistance one fall of man um, if you look up in the manual there's a mechanic called um, the heroic um, opportunities where there will be like a, a, a leaper or, or in this case for to make it for easy of understanding let's imagine a tear net jumps on top of a guardsman and yes indeed that is a thing in this game where you can shoot off it or hurt it so that the guardsman could save himself or you save it um, the guardsman and they can continue for another day but what I was hoping for was every guardsman actually made it impact and actually killed a lot or, or you know, put a lot of fire down. But they were sp systematically, like, being distracted and you could absolutely save them. And it was absolutely in your interest to save them. Like, where it's not like, oh, I don't have to think about them. Or I only am helping them because I want to and then they're not going to matter after this scene, you know? Like, I want there to be persistent guardsmen or opportunities to recruit or get more. Kind of like how um, Inquisitor Martyr kind of did in a way, if that makes sense. Which is very oh, yeah, I was different. Really, just about to say. That. Yeah, like it, like, and that's yeah. a older game, but yeah. and, and a completely different game. But it really nailed that, which you know, in which, hindsight, that's also a 40k game. Yeah, people don't know what it is. Indeed, it's Inquisitor Martyr. 40k game. Yeah, it was, and and that that's the thing is like that's what I felt 
in the campaign is like I want where a player with skill and everything could absolutely save everyone or either like if things just systematically went in this different way like everyone got systematically slaughtered and it made a clear gap of what you're missing like maybe the guardsmen hitting the enemies did overall flame damage was hurting them burn over time or just staggered them or something but now that they're gone like they're easily seamlessly going through the battlefield and it just makes your job a lot harder and sure there's gonna be a lot of people like well i want my power fantasy or i want to think about that i want what have you it's like that's fine. I get that. I think it really did a good job in that kind of aspect. But for replayability and for world building type of thing, I really wanted to um, see that more. And they alluded at parts and stuff like that. And they have some of the animations, some of the mechanics. But it wasn't just that impactful. Like, sometimes I feel like a guardsman can do a lot. Sometimes I feel like they can just be licking and watching paint dry, you know? And I also feel that with some space marines. AI on your side or AI generally in the battlefield in general because sometimes I felt like in those old games of well the only one who's going to be progressing the fight or the battle or the story is me and if anyone who has Call gone duty, through Assassin's yeah Creed. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah no seriously and I feel like yeah. anyone who has gone through the ringer and as and I love co-op but anyone who has gone through the ringer of co-op knows that and you have to know that if you're playing the highest difficulties or you're trying to grind the most effectively, like you just have to know that. And that just becomes a thing that's just inherent. And that's kind of like a huge problem because I feel like things should still matter. Even if you're on roofless, you know, it shouldn't be enemy more tanky or things X, Y, or Z or all that, which I'm fine in some aspects, but it also feels more of like, well, only me and my team could actually make a difference. I mean, These people I'm are just fine with it. Things. It was a Carnifex. It was anything right. other than a Carnifex. No. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. You know, because zoanthropes on ruthless mm -hmm. just take forever to die. Yeah, you have to have specialized units. To, like it just yeah. takes so long, and it's not fun to fight Engaging. a zone throw whether it's the twin zone throw or just the big world boss it's not it's yeah. not fun to fight against and, and that's the weird the problem world boss has these has these super annoying what i like to call bullshit attacks because they have telegraphing yeah. and then yeah all of a they have crap, gotcha mechanic like, yeah yeah and like if you miss one dodge you're just stuck in a for a micro frame yeah and, and or you're straight up dead so and i've seen enemies in the game that it's not really that big of a problem, problem in, yeah. in campaign right right but in co-op freaking cutscene enemies are just everywhere yeah and and, and it's not fun even with the boss of decapitation has a huge problem you could have one majoris completely yeah. just mess with you even with a whip and you can't do anything yeah. and if the main boss is going after you you're dead you either have to make complete distance and use bs abilities or bs weapons to solve it and, and cheese it <laughs> yeah <laughs> melt a gun um cloak sniper the list goes on <laughs> and like that that's kind of the that's kind of the or, or, or bulwark just in general you know just existing, <laughs> existing you know? with his team yeah and and i that like as much as like that's a cool pro in some ways it's very much of a con and yeah. And then I'm not asking for, like, oh, nerf stuff to the ground where it's unplayable and, you know, like, for metrics sake. It's like, no, 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 that it's fine. We're just asking for less of that stuff. And, that, like, what you were saying about the Xeranthrope, I absolutely agree with because, like, you can completely get that shit locked down and nailed down. Carnifex feels way too easy and feels, like, too much like a rolling boulder or truck that's coming at yeah. you. I wish he had more variety. He can, like, extend his hands out and... You know, like do a lot more other than I mean, just a BS crowd spin effect. You know, I, I mean, feel like he just specifically they can shoot thorns at you. Yeah. The problem is they hardly ever do that. Well, well, the thing is, like, for me, what I'm saying is like specific like hand strikes that all you can do is block, but you have to do like a certain chain. Like, okay, I'll paint you a picture. Let's say there's three space marine, one in front, two at the two sides. Let's say, um, this Carnifex has this randomized thing either it could be very telegraphed or randomized whatever you want but what would be cool is he uses one he uses his right hand to hit one space marine he uses another to hit another a little bit off or either at the same time as another and then he uses his mouth or whatever to hit the one in the middle and they all you can do is block but you have to block with a certain level of progression like you have to block um a basic like in, i'm talking blocking as in the sense of block 
balance and fencing. It's a flat out block. But when it comes to the third attack or something, then you can counter attack or whatever, and it leaves him very stunned or open or hurt or or you break off a piece of his armor or what have you. Like it feels like you're just too busy shooting at his face all the time, and he just eat, like with a lot of classes he just melts. But Zernthrope, it's either brain dead easy or either even if it's brain dead easy. Oh, here I am running up. Got to roll, roll, roll through his you know pulsing attack and people like rolling to dodge it. To just melee and stun him and just hit, 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 hit. Oh, he's going to scream, so I got to roll away, shoot, and repeat again. It's not engaging. It's like once you know the pattern, even if you don't know the pattern, even if you're not perfect at it, it's just kind of BS and doesn't feel engaging or fun of a back and, back and forth. You can enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy whatever I can in this game. I think everything in, in some level is enjoyable, but... Those are indeed what I would say compared to a lot of Majora's enemies is a huge weak spot. And my gosh, they really rely on a lot of gunner enemies. And if you have yeah. a brain cell to take them out or what have you, it makes like example Inferno, that end bit makes it trivial. If no one takes out the little gunner enemies and the gunner Majoris, then no one's going to make it out. Like, you know, you're not going to recover your armor. It's going to be rolling central 24-7. You're not going to be able to land a bullet or a shot off or even a melee strike unless you want all the minorous enemies or the majorous enemies to hit you. And it's a huge game of um, risk and reward, which I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say the controversial take on this. It's not controversial. I think it's obvious. You're going to be the vanguard who's going to solve all that entire problem. You're going to be the cloak sniper who's going to solve that problem. You're going to be the overwhelming striking force of heavy to solve that problem. You're going to throw your banner in Bulwark to solve a problem. Assault? Duct tape and dreams, my brother. Duct tape and dreams. Tactical? Grenade spam. All the way. Or abusing the Melta. Or abusing weapons in some regard. Or scanning the specific enemy and doing that. Which is fine, because again, these are all team synergy and team stuff. But at the same merit, let's be real here. Especially I'm looking at you, Vanguard. And a little bit Sniper. Sniper could help people, but I'm going to be honest. And I'm looking at heavy a little bit more too. And if a bulwark is not being friendly and is just being selfish, it just promotes selfish gameplay pretty much. And that's where I'm kind of hoping for like assault. Get some more opportunities to set up teammates. Like I want his weapons to just inherently do a lot of stagger. And it promotes him to make enemies red. And then him move on to the next enemy. Like maybe whenever he breaks an enemy... He gets his charge immediately back or something. You know, there's so many ways you can work with this, right? The problem is assault at this point Wait. literally can't do that. He can't because, because yeah, his because, melee and his little pistol. The thunder hammer yeah. is perfectly fine at making enemies red. Right. That's not the problem. Yeah. The problem is he has to execute them. Yeah, he has otherwise to. Otherwise, he will die. die. Yeah. And it, it it's just like, and that's on like the you know level two difficulty, like. Mm -hmm. You have to execute every single enemy as assault, or you, you'll just die, or you know, whatever. Like, unless if you're like like an absolute, you know, god with dodging and parrying everything mm -hmm. and That's never it, getting yeah. shot ever. Which at that which rate is impossible. Which I'm you're gonna get shot by something. Right. Which I'm gonna say like at that rate, play vanguard if you want to turn off your yeah. brain and just put on the perk that opens up your perfect parry window, increases by 50%, or when you roll. Like, I don't have these equipped. I already mastered that stuff. But yeah. as people see online, like, there's stuff where you can, like, like um, when your health is less than 50%, your perfect dodge window is doubled. Like, there's so many stuff of why you would play other classes to just turn off your brain and remove that bullshit factor from the game. Because why wouldn't you? I see people do it all the time. That's the very first that. characters I've seen max out, yeah. too. I use that perk on Vanguard with a fencing weapon just to prove a point. Yeah. That he could have fencing on a melee weapon like everybody can, but he could also have a thing that increases the perfect parry window. What that combo does, fencing with that, is it makes every single parry a perfect parry. Yep. Every single time. Mm -hmm. it does, they don't even have to be glowing blue. You can just parry just a regular ass enemy, um, just a regular attack, and they'll either just die. Or they'll get, you know, massively staggered and just magically become glowing red and you can just execute them or shoot them or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, just every time. Um, which, yeah. But melee enemies is also not the problem. Because even if you miss a parry, it's like, 
at best you'll get hit for you know one armor plating at worst you'll get put into a cutscene you know but melee enemies isn't the problem it's just getting shot by stuff and just mm -hmm. you know losing all your armor immediately because it's made out of paper mache or just dying um because mm -hmm. they just do like it feels like they do like 200 percent more damage than melee enemies do for some reason mm -hmm. um Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas says, "Good morning." He says, "Stream is already nine hours." Yeah, indeed. Uh, we went through the entire campaign of Space Marine Two. We had a really good, fun time. Um, right now, it's kind of like reflection and critique hour a little bit on the game as an overall product, as we've both played like all of the game, like PvP, PVE, campaign, and. Being critical in the area of where we hope people hear this, learn it, and not just regurgitate, but like take in their own opinion, have a wealth of that, and be able to share it to hopefully to the right sources to make a positive change. Like, I don't want things to be like needlessly branded at ease where it's like, well, if I want to feel like I'm playing anything worthwhile, I'm going to boot up Helldivers. Like, I, no, I, I want there to be stakes and I want people to actually care about helping and caring for each other. But I don't want a situation where the heavy is playing a single player game by himself with his melted gun because you know, there you go. And he's not caring for his team. I don't want a bulwark who's only putting a banner for himself to heal and not helping his team. I don't want a sniper who's seeing the back line, not sniping enemies for, to disable for you to execute and to, to choose when to execute into what have you but is only killing enemies that are closest and only relating to him because again he's playing a single player game or assault who's stuck in the back line trying to heal but is having to play his own single player game because he's forced to play a single player game and no one cares about assault because he's assault or tactical who is constantly in the brush of things or either again using a lot of weaponry and hiding in the back of the line like sniper in a way not being stealthy, but using um, aspect scan and, and just drilling down rounds down the range because he can do that. And that's kind of like... A part of it is obviously what people want to choose and how they want to play. Like, there, there's so much a developer can do in that kind of way, but at the same merit, there is plenty of what they should incentivize and, you know, desensit um, like I, I'm open for player expression and how they want to enjoy and play the game, but... I feel like there's a lot of stuff that needs to be better explained or like, hey, you are this class. You are responsible for this thing. Let's get with the program. Like, I don't I don't want a situation where I feel like I have to, like many other games I've played where I have, I feel like I have to give whoever I'm playing with a tutorial on how to be better and to, and to, to, to be greater and then having to do it every single time, you know? Because, like... I could play Helldivers, and there's some that could be sort of to that level, but at the same merit, a lot of it's very simple, and, you know, it's straight-up stratagems and what you have and, you know, where you position yourself and where the lux of the cards are drawn. But in this, it's like, well, a lot of spawns are very calculated. When it's random, it's random, and, you know, how perfect is someone perfectly pairing or dodging? And, you know, what is their level of their character? Do they actually have anything spent on their character? What perks are they bringing that I can't look at? What um what is their team synergy perk and are they actually utilizing that or are they ignoring that? Like I've seen people who are like, I'm playing as a sniper, never go for headshots, only go for melee. Like like there's so many things I can point out and they'll be part of like a melee crew. I'm like, why do you have a sniper? And why are you playing this way? Like, it, and I'm not trying to like be mean or like, hey, you gotta play in this way, but that's uh that's how it comes off. Also, yes, Nicholas, it is indeed podcast hour because obviously we're in a sense wrapping it up and what have you. By the way, um, Preacher, um, did you want to play Helldivers or anything else? Um, do you want to talk about I'm, this I'm more? I'm still trying to fix it. Like, oh, still trying to fix Hell Helldivers? The, yeah. The, the freaking uh, on the menu bug yeah. or whatever the fuck yeah. it is. The new bug like, came out. But I, we'll, we'll, I, we won't dive into that now. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll dive into that when we boot up Helldivers if we, when we can. But did you want to talk more on this? Did you want to play more co-op of this game? Or, you know, what, do you want to talk more on it? What's the situation with you? How, what are you feeling on doing? I mean, I I was kind of like, I mean, if I can't get Helldivers to work, I was probably going to go to sleep because it's almost 4 a.m. 
for me. Completely fair. Um, it's almost two. We've been here for what nine hours now? Yeah, as I said, I didn't realize it's been that long. Yeah, um, so that means it's so nine that hours. That means the campaign was like what seven hours for us. Yeah, seven hours, and we spent Which a lot of time talking. Is and we, pretty good. We, we, I mean, and we did a, we did look at every little thing go. that we can view. I'm not yeah. saying every little inch of like every data slate, but we 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 explored. We we took the time to appreciate things, make comment, you know, comments, jokes, stuff like that. So yeah, mm -hmm. which saw amount of playtime definitely there, and I can see where it's like, well, that was a fun experience. Even though I know the story for what it is, let's go play it again or either play it for on a hard difficulty. I do see that as an opening window not as much as other games but i do see that as a window and the co-op is just straight fun and 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 you know if you enjoy it that's that's where i put the caveat if you enjoy it and when things are changed or what have you it's kind of like hell divers 2 in the aspect of before the up before the recent update and patch versus to where it's now you know like you may and which sucks it's like you may have to just wait or either maybe it won't change and is this something that you can accept and enjoy it's kind of the hard part there but yeah, yeah i mean i would say that if you're a fan of dark souls you'd you, you'd like space marine too mm -hmm. because it's which i didn't expect that Dark I didn't... Souls combat but with guns. Yeah. Um, that's that's pretty much how it feels. Um, if you are expecting a power fantasy, play single player in easy difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's you know, it's fun. It's, it's the uh it, yeah, it's it's um, the um what do you call it? It's the space marine experience. And uh, and, and yeah. as we already covered, playing on hard difficulty, it doesn't feel better. And we love playing the games on the hardest difficulty. It just felt like I'm gonna just slog. go. It just felt like a slog or just bullshit for bullshit's sake. Yeah. It felt like pulling teeth and clenching pearls the entire way. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, definitely, it is uh, it is a good story. I mean, if you watch, if you actually watch, watch this. I mean, you know how it goes. But if anyone is tuning in and does not know. It is, uh, I think it's definitely worth the buy, but it is very, like many people have been saying, very short and leaves a lot of stuff open, a lot to be desired. And yeah, they just open. I love that they're willing to go there to open a lot of doors, but it's just like, but are you going to actually execute it? And is this like, what I would hate is we open that door for the third game, you know, like I would hate if that's going to be the case, it's like, well, that kind of sucks, like but, you know. And shit, you know, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. oh yeah. Like we only are going to be doing this stuff. It's only if we I mean, decide for a third game. Yeah. I mean, in, in the season pass that they leaked a long time ago, it has new enemies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They did like say in, new enemies like, like in the season pass and new missions. And people were like, okay, well, when it says new enemy, does it mean like a new type of chaos Marine, a new type of Tyranid, or does it mean like a whole new race? Cause it doesn't, it doesn't say it, says it doesn't specify. Enemy. Yeah. And it's like, I would love there to be Necrons as an enemy. Um, you know, even if it was just in co-op because mm -hmm. getting, getting shot by Necron and dying instantly, that's lore accurate. That's fine. I don't give yeah. a fuck if I'm a space Marine or not. It's yeah. a fucking Necron. I yeah, should be Necron. dead. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I would be totally fine with struggling and getting my ass kicked by Necron. Yeah, same. Stand by because, that. Because, you know, they're Necrons. Um, <laughs> and it, it, it would be fun being able to fight against Necrons in a third-person 40k game as Space Marines. Like, that that would just be cool because it would be unique. It's never been done before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that'd be cool. Or Return but, of the Orcs, etc. Yeah. Yeah, you know, orcs, um, uh, what else could they do? Um, another chaos god, maybe? Or something? Yeah. I don't know. You know but... Other than Nurgle, but I wouldn't be surprised if they brought yeah. Nurgle out of the... God, please out of the... Nurgle, please. <laughs> we decided to add pox bursters and, 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 and grenade throwers <laughs> and toxic gas. <laughs> A GW, please. No more Nurgle. 
<laughs> for 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 at, at, at least at least two years, please. <laughs> at, at least two years, anything but Nurgle. I don't even care if it's like the most you know dumbass piece of shit enemy, like um, <laughs> I don't know, freaking Tau or something, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't care. I just don't want Nurgle anymore. Like it, it it's been so it's been so <laughs> overdone. It's not even fun anymore. It's not. Um. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a whole event or a modifier of, like, just Nurgle enemies or just a whole yeah. map for it. And, yeah. Like, I, mean, I don't mind, I don't mind diversity. Fair. I don't mind, yeah. I don't, like, especially yeah. in this kind of game, like, and I kind of feel that already with, like, the poison pods from the Tyranids. And, like, they get, they get easily repurp repurpose that stuff, even from, like, um, the Thousand Suns with their, like trickery magic and stuff like i wouldn't be surprised if they were just like a different spin on the same exact same formula yeah but yeah i do i do agree i yeah. if i could see something else i would be more excited than seeing nurgle again but i to also be fair, understand. fighting pox bursters in space marine might be fun mm -hmm. maybe but it, it would just feel too much like dark tide yeah and, and they need to make no. those different. Yeah. Or if it, you're going to have it, like, yeah. do, like, if you're going to go out and do that, then be more ambitious and just keep going. So that, for me, like, I want this, and I'm sorry if this is too ambitious, but make this, like, the go-to game for people who are new to the franchise or make it to, like, the, the game where everything comes together, even if it's, like, a light stroke of something you're going to have that huge um, that staying power of, well, no one's done it before. And it's definitely going to help for the future, for future game and projects. They're like, well, let's argue because this game, let's say for example, Space Marine 2 had every faction. So you're going to be able to say, well, they had every faction. And I feel like that's also a problem is that if you are a, you know, we're going to hyper spe specialize here and say a Warhammer or, either, or, e or even a Warhammer 40k fan, it's kind of hard coming to a more simpler game when you're like, when you come from like Martyr Inquisition, where there's like many different more things coming together and it's a much older property where you're like, okay, come on, let's, we, you can do more. You can just slightly mention or, or do something with it, but it's a matter if it's actually done. But I do know models and all that is all a huge, um, you know, cost and what have you. But I think that's what would be the unique thing if for them that no one has done yet is let's get a third person or first person or whatever game where you could play these many different characters and you're facing like all these different factions and you're learning all these different things. Because I feel like the best you can get that is some flavor text in certain games and it's only specialized towards a certain thing. Like you mentioned yourself about how some games are just strictly Nurgle. Man, I love learning all this lovely stuff about Papa Nurgle, but at the same merit, um, where's the rest of the universe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's a huge problem. It's, it's like, I don't have a problem with it. It's just, where's the rest of the universe? Like, I feel like, because you, you, you're selling me on, this is Warhammer. So where's the rest of Warhammer? <laughs> and I think that's the reason why we kept in Vermintide for so long. Because it had those little things. Like, hey, we didn't really see crazy much of, um... What do you call it? I'm trying to remember, um... We didn't see that crazy much of dwarfs, but we saw, like, certain... Sp sp uh, specific DLC dialogue or what have you that was their locations. And, you know, we only saw them after being destroyed and stuff like but that's that's kind of the huge crux and problem there is that like we're not seeing that much in here like we had to go like that one like sister of hospice you mentioned had to be at a data slate completely hidden in, in an area i had to find completely going off the beaten path from where the story wanted, wanted to take us and that was cool to see and discover but i wish we didn't have to speculate i wish it was just confirmed went there and and actually went there uh, Nicholas says, I am playing Vermintide right now. Nice. Nice to hear that, Nicholas. I'm proud of which, you. Which Vermintide? Yeah, which Vermintide? Uh, if, if you are brand new and you have the opportunity to play both, play through one. Play through two. Uh, definitely going to be long-term investment in two. Especially a huge one. That has an insane amount of replayability. And even when you... Th my, my hugest advice, 
in comparison to Vermintide 1, Vermintide 1's grind is insanely grindy. For like, I do like some of the unique modifiers in that one, but that's just more of a mechanic thing for me with gear and weapon for me. But Vermintide 2 has that, but in spades, but you have to put the time commitment. Like, you have to level up the classes. You have to... Um, to a certain point, you have to learn when to break down your weapons to then craft new ones and to increase your character score. I didn't know that for years. And I didn't know I was struggling and I, I could have been building things better or what have you. Like, it's kind of a thing. Uh, Nicholas says he's playing Vermintide 2. I like both of them. I just think Vermintide 2 is better. In it is. Essentially every way, except yeah, Vermintide 1 had the lore book. The, yeah, the lore um, book. Um, dialogue. The yeah, personally dialogue for every tavern. room and the yeah. tavern yeah the tavern is infinitely better than the keep um but besides that everything else for emergency 2 is just just way better yeah um, i i but yeah, yeah if you're if you're brand new to the series and if you have the money definitely play the first one first yeah it, it'll it'll really get you involved and interested in the characters Oh, yes, because um, you actually see where their rough start is. And yeah. even if you play the same mission over and over, so many unique dialogues and interactions with the characters just completely yeah. going back and forth on things. If even you can, if you know yeah. a lot about like Warhammer Fantasy lore, I would still recommend playing the first game first. Yeah. Um, just because of the characters, which all the characters are um, um, canon. They, yeah. They've all been canonized by GW, so... Yeah, you're not just playing as a dude just named Marcus Gruber. Like, you are playing yes. as a hero tier character um, with all their abilities. So, which, that's another thing. You're, you're hero tier level characters, and you feel like heroes. In Space mm -hmm. Marine, yeah. I don't feel like that's a... That's so true, yeah. Space Marine. Like, right? like, it's just... I, yeah. I feel more like a Space Marine in Helldivers too, which is so weird to say. Yeah. Like, even in Light Armor... <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is which is such a weird thing to say yeah i shouldn't be saying that i like yeah. I, I i and I, i'm so proud and happy that helldivers 2 is finally taking the right steps back on their road to better better po pastures but man like hmm which again seeing that success story in a way makes me very hopeful for this game to get on its own track it's just when it decides to do that now, I do love how the devs have been listening since day one. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love how they've actually been fixing issues. Like, the Invisible Enemy thing has been fixed for a lot of people. It was never fixed for me, unfortunately. But honestly, I think it was just I had an old laptop that was, like, just not powerful enough to run the stuff. Um, which, that's that's on me. That's fine. Whatever. But there are other people that had way more powerful equipment than I had. And they straight up couldn't run the game and those issues have been fixed for a lot of those people now and how many how many games have we played where like it'll just sort of be unplayable for like half the people that bought it for like four years um <laughs> you know because like people just don't care yeah and they they keep opening up you know um feedback forums and shit in the, in the discord and on their website and everything so that's cool um but But yeah, I mean, overall, it was just, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I, I viewed this game, especially with after this long chat, an 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. I don't see it being bad as like a 6 out of 10. I, I will say it's more lean towards 8 or a 9 out of 10, to be honest, because of the sound design, some of the music, a lot of the set pieces and all the stuff that was covered in there, but you know, for, for what the tight experience that it is, yeah, but at the same merit, was definitely wanting you to have a lot more. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more they could have um, done to add and spice out, uh, spice up things. I did love the boss fights. I will say that, especially in the campaign, that was, uh, that, that was actually pretty fun in Space Marine 2. Like, especially being like, taken to the void. Boss fight? The, I'm trying to remember his name... Ismoff, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah the Zinch guy, yeah. that guy was really fun to fight. I, in both of his fights, because we did fight him two yeah. times. Yeah. I I did like his last version though a lot more because of the unique properties in there. Um, there's some other enemies, um, that was just I enjoyed fighting, 
it was a good time, but I also felt like, um, that's the weird part about playing it on the easy difficulty is that it felt like even, I, I didn't f like, I know I could easily have cheese things, but I didn't feel like I had to. Well, that's the problem with this game is that if you play it like on ruthless or veteran or either normal, it feels like, okay, I have to cheese this just for survival or just for yeah. success or just for my sanity. Like it didn't feel like you learned or got better in certain ways. Like for me, I did learn and get better. Like if, you know, I play co-op, I could just parry and do everything like that. The only thing that's going to get me is just complete RNG of things just messing me up or maybe a teammate sets me up for failure. But I mean, again, that's more on me for reading the situation and putting myself in that position, which is also another funny problem. I also noticed I would say, and this is going to be my controversial take, if I'm going to compare, since I've brought up so many times Helldivers 2 and this game, as much as I love that there's no timer in this game, but there is kind of that semi-endless horde and all that kind of stuff, I will say, even despite that, if you are good and you know your teammates are better or whatever, I feel that you would get more unearned needless rewards in this game for like AFKing and staying in the huge back line and not really doing anything or just be chilling and just taking the scenery and smelling the roses than Helldivers. Helldivers 2, you actually legit have to go and do the objective. You're on a timer. You have limited resources and a limited amount of things you could do to get those resources. The only thing that's really limited is health, but if you have a bulwark, that's kind of solved. If you're playing certain classes, that's solved in the sense. And apparently they're addressing that, so that may be also solved in the future. And I don't know how to feel about that in some ways. Like, I'm glad, but... Now, in health wise, I could see a good and a bad of on it, um, but I also see where they have a lot of areas that are unlimited ammo, and I'm gonna be honest, it has to be unlimited ammo because the melee sucks, and I feel like the developers know that. They rely too hard on the gunplay, and the gunplay feels straight like it came out of uh, out of Space Marine One. It feels like some things didn't change or innovate. And the saddest part is, is that there's some people who came from Space Marine 1 who got a little tick that they innovated stuff from Space Marine 1. I was happy to see that. They did innovation. Because if they didn't, and I want them to innovate more, because if they didn't and if they don't innovate more, it makes me feel more inclined to go boot up Space Marine 1 rather than, beat up, uh, than to boot up Space Marine 2 to go play the Horde survival mode that was in Space Marine 1. Which, by the way, is hard. I don't care even if you're max level, whatever, or anything like that. It is harder than, I would say, ruthless operations. But it's, like, good hard, but also, like, makes sense hard. Like, it felt fair, and you could win it. And it was a lot of odds stacked up against you. Isn't it weird to say that, like, Dark Souls feels more fair than Space Marine? I think that, yeah. Because it's, like, in Dark Souls, it's, like... If you if you suck the combat, <clears throat> you could just run past everything. Mm -hmm. Right, which right. you can do in this game. You can't do that in Hell Divers. Like I guess in some extent you can, but it will always catch up with you. In this game, Maybe. you could ru you could run checkpoints and completely lose entire hordes of enemies. Sometimes there are some things where you can't, like to place the bomb, you know, sure, thing, and de or, decapitation, you know, yeah. endless hordes and shit like that. So sometimes you can, but sometimes you are forced to fight them. In Dark Souls, you're never actually forced to fight anything unless it's a boss. And then it's just a matter of, okay, let me just, you know, figure out what your, you know, animations are and what your telegraphs are and, which, you know, whatever. Which, yeah, if you know that in this game, even for the Majoris or what have you, it becomes brain dead. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you feel invincible and it's just curb stomping the entire way and you're just like, you're just going through the motions of things, which... It hey man, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say for myself, it was fun. I enjoyed it, and I I would still boot like hell. I'm debating on booting up more co-op operations and doing that. Uh, but probably should get some sleep, and probably not tonight. But that's that's how that's my thoughts and feelings on it. Uh, because I can find enjoyment and some fun in operations, especially seeing other people and how they react in the field, and can also go the other way because that's just how online gaming goes. But I will also um simply say though, there are times where it's just to that level of brain like i'm not gonna say entirely brain dead but it, it just feels like 
I get off the game, which for some people they're looking for that, right? Like, hey, I just I don't I'm, I got home from work, I'm stressed, I and I want to just turn off my brain and what have you. The thing is though, I had friends who take that mentality in life. I actually have reached back from those friends. Then they told me, hey, I played this game, and this is people I know in real life, where they are like, hey, I play all these games. I even play like the most frustrating like Call of Duty games where I booted up that game at a friend's house or I bought it or whatever. And I refunded it. It was, or the game's just not for me, man. It's just not for me. It was either just too taxing, or it was just too this or that. And it sucks because it feels like, especially when you're playing operations, out of the most of all the modes, is you have to do that in, in, that investment fallacy of no man. You just gotta level up your classes. You gotta you gotta max out your weapons, and you gotta pick the right weapons, and you gotta play in these things, and you gotta cheese in this way. It just feels like cheesing. And I I see that where people just don't want to do that. And I don't blame them. You either you you love the cheese and you eat it up like the little scaven you are, or you or you don't. <laughs> there's some days where I'm like, no man, I'm gonna play something else. And there's other days where I'm like, backstab we go, you know, just entirely for it. I mean, uh, I think my streams of Inferno <laughs> should say more than enough on that. But that that that's the truth on it. And I don't know. It's just like, I like the operations. I want more. I know they're going to be having a horde mode. But the same merit, I'm also like, oh, what is going to be there that's going to keep me more than operations and how much interactivity we're going to have there is going to be too little is it going to be too much and it's going to and, and one of my hugest gripes is is it going to be when i see the horde mode it's going to make me feel like okay well how is this going to compete with horde mode from the first game because the perk system the a lot of different unlocks that you actually have to legit grind for like legit legit grind for people are saying this game is a bit grind it's not it's really not if you even if you completely suck or you're just grinding through the game on the lowest difficulties you're going to get all the cool cosmetics you're going to get all the coins you get all the stuff you're going to eventually level up and hit the cap for your weapons and we may, may, even if you just survive and make it through one thing of a next level guess what you got that character who now has a green or a purple or a gold and guess what you can just continually play that one broken character and you just have to get lucky buying another group or by yourself a couple other times and you have the relics the the armory data to completely max out your um you know your characters and their weapons like like everyone on anyone who has tuned in my streams for co-op have seen that I've hit the max cap multiple times, many times, and has completely done the entire hardest difficulty of Ruthless and didn't get the rewards for it because I have max cap. Which, in case if no one knows what the max cap is, I don't know if you know this, uh, Preacher. I, I didn't even know there was a max cap. There is. For every armory data, there's a hard max cap, and it's the exact same hard cap. And this is also a huge problem. It's a great thing, but I also think it's a huge problem because it is kind of true. It's 20. So it has the same what? problem that... Yeah, it's 20. And that... For, for I was expecting it to be like 100. 40 or... No, yep. No. It is 20. It is kind of dumb, but it also makes sense because there's very few weapons in that sense. And then, sure, you have to, like... The, 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 I'm just going to be up, on front, up front here. Is It has the problems of hell divers Because guess what? You can have all the wonderful golden... You know, like, for example, right now, on screen, I have this... Mastercrafted green melta gun, and I already have like the multi melta, but this is the melta rifle. I have to level this up for either the tactical, which I'm going to be doing for tactical or vanguard, or any other class that has that available. I think it's only those two, and I have to use that weapon specifically. And all it is is grind time, grind time for the level of the weapon. There's no overarching like it's not hell divers where it's like, well, or or, or even a good example. Um, you know, um, Dark Tide or Vermintide where you can go past the level cap and keep leveling up. It's like, no. You play to max level everything. That's just the truth. Like, oh, you, you have all these golden data? Well, it's only going to play into a matter of fact is when you get um, an insane amount of XP to get to the golden tier and to get that. And let's be real, the only way you're going to really fast 
go through and get that weapon leveled up is play on the hardest difficulty. So you're going to be just be printing, printing, printing the golds over and over and over again. When it, all it is is either you're going to play from attrition by saving your sanity and playing on the lower difficulties. Or you're saving your sanity of playing the hardest difficulties because then now you don't have to grind and do like 10 levels just to get your weapon to green or to purple. You know? When you could have just did like 5 missions on, on Roofless. Which is also where I can also see a huge problem in the future. If you're going to make the future... If you're going to make the difficulties easier... And survivability easier... And then you're going to have a new harder difficulty... Either people are going to go straight to the hardest difficulty... Because you can do that. You can be a level 1 player. It sucks for the people who are even who are either veterans... Who did that slow meticulous grind to build it up and see your character grow... To then just get in a match with some level 1 who's like... I'm expecting an entire free ride... And if you don't want to be with me in doing this, you have to completely quit or boot me out or whatever or what have you. Or either you are taking that person because guess what? It's more fun to have a level 1 player who will never be able to be level 1 again. Because being with selfish max level people who are only abusing certain things or whatever is completely brain dead. And you don't get to play the game because it's all people competing, playing a single player game, competing on stealing the game from each other. I also believe that is the reason why it is not a four-player game. That's the real reason. That's the real reason right there. And it's very limited enemies on screen. It needs to be more. And if there's going to be a whole lot more, open for more slots. But if it's not, still open for more. And I'm not trying to have and say where people should be curb stomped. No, it, th there should be more stuff going there. And I also feel where that could also be a huge problem. Because there's going to be people who are going to play the game. Who are going to be the rats race. Max out all their weapons. Max out all their classes. Do all that. New update. And you do introduce these things. They don't like it because it's no longer super easy and brain dead. But then they also don't play it because it is super bra brain easy and brain dead. Which, again, there you go. Which is fine because you can have the harder difficulties and the easier difficulties. That's that's how Vermintide solved it. That's how Dark Tide solved it. It's not going to be that crazy hard or issue or difficult. Heck, in a way, that's also how Helldiver solves it. It's how most games solve it. But that's kind of the huge thing here is the game incentivizes you to only play the hardest difficulties. Because let's be real. If you're going to play as a level 1 player and you knew how progression in this game works, how you're going to level up your character. Hell, you can have a max level 25 character and you know how this progression works. But you want to level up new weapons? You're going to be playing on the hardest difficulty. And you have other people suffer and carry you or what have you. Or it could be vice versa, but you just have shit equipment. It's going to be that because even if you die, you're going to get more XP than someone who went through the majority of 90% of the level when you could get more XP from just dying midway or through the first quarter on Roofless. And I think that's a huge problem. And guess what? And even if they do make it, guess what? They get relics, they get all that stuff, and then they can spend it on lower stuff. What's the point of playing on lower difficulties? What's the point of being... Okay, so let's say, for example, it's not a huge problem if you're already someone who has everything unlocked and have everything done. Let's be real. Not everyone's there. Not everyone's going to be doing that, and people are going to be working towards something. So why not do that? Like, what's your incentivization for playing the lower difficulties over and over again other than just turning your brain off when you could just take your low-level friend and power-level them and you and your guns in the highest difficulty to have a great time and to, to, to skip the grind, skip the BS, so then you could all have fun playing the medium difficulties or the hardest difficulty. And then eventually it'll become trivial. Then you'll move on to the next weapon, then to the next weapon, then to the next weapon. And after spending all your coins and the XP grind to level up these weapons and you put and figure out the proper prick trees and what have you, you're going to be done. Because guess what? It's only going to be of any value in co-op. Because it doesn't transfer to PvP. PvP is kind of more... I'm going to be up, I'm going to be up front. It's a little bit more um, to, the, to the bone and narrow. Because the first game, the first Space Marine game, had perks that applied to co-op and PvP. And it completely had insane uh, build variety and changes and stuff. So, yeah. And obviously the campaign, me and 
my good friend Preacher here just went through it, and we only got to have fun with the weapons we wanted to play with at, since the very beginning at the very end. And it was great. It was fun. But at the same merit, it also feels like, well, we had to play on this difficulty to get value out of it. Otherwise, we've been facing classic issues from co-op. Or either we had to view it as, well, it's not as strong as what it would be in co-op because you can't level it up. And you can't have access to all these skins and progression. Like, it, it's like very... Like the combat knife. Yeah, like the combat knife. The combat knife in campaign is totally worthless because yeah. it's short exists. But combat knife in operations is honestly borderline OP. Yeah. Um, it just create. I mean, especially yeah. on, like, sniper, which I, I believe that's the only yeah. melee weapon sniper has. Yeah. But the combat knife is also just, in my honest opinion, better on vanguard than chainsword on vanguard agreed um which you know just weird but then like considering that when you look at it from the per tree perspective um the fun fact the chainsword has one extra artificer weapon and that's it and it should be in theoretical stronger because of the per tree but it's not because it's a fucking chainsword it should be more powerful than a knife but it's not, and that's what's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, there you go. And the thunder hammer should be more powerful than a knife, but... Especially with how many freaking yeah. thunder hammers you have to unlock and go through. Heck, I yeah. went through all the way through purple, and I feel like until I get the thunder hammer to relic, it's not that crazy good. And I literally felt like when I was leveling up that thunder hammer, I'm just dragging my team down in melee. Yes. I mean, I, it wasn't really great anyway, but the thing is, I'm dragging my team in that way. So I had to beat a gun person. And guess who only has the Thunder Hammer? Assault. And what's the only thing the Assault has? Is melee or just a bolt pistol or a heavy bolt. It, it was just, what the peck? Yeah. And so it made me feel forced of, like, either I play lower difficulties... I have to do that, otherwise I feel like I'm doing a war crime to my team. Or either, I literally, like, it, it felt like at times where I'm like, hey, I'm existing for my team's benefit. And what I mean by that is not actually like, in the fight field thing. Sure, I can be an extra player, but I exist to give my actual teammates who are actually having fun and connect to play the game their ability recharge thing 10% faster. While I just yeah. exist in the background, clean up some stragglers and shoot them in the head and get an insta-kill, or either do my jetpack slam out and then just dodge roll to safety and that's just how it was and i'm just like man that is that's a way to live that's a that's a way to play <laughs> I, that's that's honestly how i felt on it it was just a weird experience I mean, that's, that's how i feel after like what 19 or so levels of assault yeah like it, it, it just feels like I wasted all that time leveling up a class that can't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, which, which hopefully, this gets the post-patch treatment, which it obviously will because everyone has addressed it. Developers have heard it. They're working on it. And hopefully we see the facelift like how we saw with Helldivers too, which we're all hoping for. But, uh, again, it's a matter of time. And I think that's the only reason why we're talking about it is because it's a problem right now and we're concerned to see it be a problem for the future. Because we don't want it to I mean, let it slide. How to fix assault? Very simple. One. Fix melee. Make his, make his jetpack the exact same as it is in PvP. Or even just campaign, because it's PVE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way. Um, and then to you know make, just overall just just make the melee better, but then like specifically for assault, make it so he gets um health on executions. Mm -hmm. Just as a baseline. What I would just as a passive. If if because he's I, okay. supposed to be a melee class. What I was gonna say was other than the bulwark, he should be and this is gonna sound controversial, he's assault. He should be the first one in and last one out. I'm gonna say it. If they do not add in the system where there's regening health or contested health that comes with the thing, assault should be the person where when he executes someone, everyone gets their contested health back. And but they have to fight to get it back because they're assaulting with the assault. And they have to help the assault secure the execution so everyone gets their health back. That would be cool. That would be awesome. I want that. I absolutely... That would be a great solution. And if, to even balance to have them have to be close to them. Yeah. Same thing with Bulwark. Or the Heavy Gunner. 
you have to, you know, he you have to be around him to get his benefits. A lot yeah. of his um, perk trees is actually like I'll highlight it right here. Like the very last perk he gets is conversion field. When iron halo is active, all squad members re within a hundred meters regenerate ability charge by fifty percent faster. Which that's broken, by the way, because if you're out of combat, you could just turn it on, forget it, and sure. Um, it's what it is, but you're not really going to be having an issue with range combat that crazy much anyway. But man, getting your bulwark to get his banner back immediately—that's uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty strong. And then be able to just find some or trash the tactical to get or the tactical, scan yeah, get the scan, the broken scan to instant kill bosses or yeah, yeah or it, the sniper or to the, instantly get his invisibility back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's yeah. if he was not managing it well. If you are playing as a legit sniper, you should have no problem with it. But that does indeed help the sniper. Um, Vanguard, if you want, like that already comes insanely fast. He even has stuff to come make it come faster. Like he has a whole. Yeah, which the other thing about Vanguard, I forgot to mention. In PvP, mm -hmm. he can use his grapple to maneuver around. Mm -hmm. In co-op, he can only use it to like attack enemies. You can't like grapple to like a building or something and zip to it. Yeah. You can only grapple the enemies. But in PvP, he can grapple to literally anything. Which, that um, needs to be a thing. I did see that. Yeah. I did see that in the yeah. field, and I'm going to just say it. His grapple, when he uses his grapple, it shouldn't count. If it's pure traversal, it should only count points for his diving kick. And I feel like he yeah. should be always able to use his grapple at any time. It just he can't use his diving kick. That's the other thing too. In in PvP, the um the Vanguard's grapple recharges like in like three ish seconds, and he still gets two uses of it, just like in co-op. Mm -hmm. So you could like literally just like use it to zip around the map, um, which is you know really good. Those are all reasons that that make Vanguard just insanely powerful in PvP. Mm -hmm. Um, like I played Vanguard PvP, and I like my very first match of PvP. Um, I was playing Vanguard because that's that was the class I was currently playing in co-op, and I had no idea what was going on or or anything. I ended up getting um top leaderboard on both teams, um with like 27 kills and I think like six deaths, um, and yeah, and like melee is perfectly fine in PvP because I was using melee most of the time with with just zipping and just you know using my uh my my knife. And it was just like, wow, okay, well, if only he felt this good in 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 in, in freaking co-op, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. And then assault also just feels really, really, really good in PvP. And yet, you know, co-op, you just feel completely useless, like totally worthless. Mm -hmm. Um, like just freaking give him like a primary weapon, because in campaign you can have the the jump pack plus the thunder hammer plus a primary weapon. Right. So why can't you do that? Plus, you can have a freaking plasma gun. So you can have a plasma pistol plus a, a thunder hammer, but you can't do that in, in, in operations for some reason. What am or I? Or just multiplayer in general. As much as we always complained about specials and stuff in Vermintide, one thing I will say about in Space Marine 2 is I hate that the extra. Um, let's see. It is the extremist level enemies. I realize from playing inferno a bajillion times it's on a timer that's when they come in and spawn you could be at the very beginning or you could be middle at the very end but it'll always be because it's is like a yeah like so yeah, like exactly. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah lictor exactly yeah yeah and and yeah, yeah. i've and noticed then, i've noticed lictors only spawn in like certain areas yeah too. exactly then that's what i was going to try mentioning here is yeah. world bosses are all in certain difficulties and are only in very specific areas and sometimes you have to go look for them like monster hunter which i don't mind but sometimes you just can't avoid them so that kind of is a good and also really sucky thing because if they didn't have the resources they didn't want to they have no choice they have to deal with it um, another thing is I want patrols. I want legitimate patrols and you make like, like Skaven patrols from Vermintide. Like I want you to be able to hide and avoid them or choose the fight and, or literally just, just copy Helldivers patrols. Yeah. Because it's like Helldivers patrols. There's a patrol. You attack the patrol. If you don't kill the patrol fast enough, they call reinforcements. Mm hmm. Which, and Vermintide, the hordes don't ever call reinforcements. I mean, well, not the hordes, the patrols. It's just a moving patrol of storm vermin or whatever, mm. and you just kill it, no big deal, whatever. Yeah. It should just be more like, just, just literally copy-paste Helldiver patrol. 
because you hide from it it moves on whatever mm -hmm. you attack it if you kill it all fast enough you get rewarded for it if you exactly. don't well they call it reinforcements which and then you got to deal with another horde which they sort of have that in this game but the thing is though is that it's all preset stuff and you and your team could immediately like okay we have the perfect planet we're gonna toss nades and do whatever and you could always systematically do it very very well or be like hey we can't do this immediately insta kill well but we're gonna go deep in because we know we have to and if anyone calls for, you know, support, who's going to be on it? Oh, I'm the vanguard, so I'm going to zip to the enemy. Oh, I'm the sniper. I could just go invisible and then just headshot the enemy. I'm the bulwark. I could just throw a banner and then just charge up. Uh, I'm a, a, a heavy. I can just exist. Yeah, with the last one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> heavy. I, I have my melta or my heavy bolter, or I could shoot my heavy plasma really far to go hit them. Um, I'm the assault. I could just jump pack, and, you know, that's kind of my job. But then technically everyone could do my job kind of in a sense better, but all right. Uh, I'm tactical. I could just scan him, or I could just shoot him, or grenade him, or melee, or, or rush up to him and melee him, or I could, it, you know, the list goes on. And yeah. I feel that's the problem, though, is like, like, and it's not necessarily that everyone has a solution or whatever. It's just the fact is like, when they call for help, it's not that often. And the only time, and let's be real, the only time they can actually get a call off is they call in in a BS area where no one can access them, where no one saw them, or either one player who was very non-observant and didn't care and was too busy it's also a problem with it is it doesn't let people feel like as a group that they're fighting as a horde together everyone's like splintered off in a bunch of, bunch of, uh, bunch of different groups let's say for example the refinery section in inferno in the the mid sector part you can have someone where they all drop off together um vanguard goes right bulwark goes left sniper goes through middle but let's say one of those people neglect one enemy while they're fighting a bunch of enemies and they don't care an enemy could just spot, you know, like start calling for backup, and that person could ignore them or go further in and didn't realize they left an enemy there or what have you. And they didn't do a meticulous, very surgical sweep. It makes it a pain for everyone, and it makes it feel like everyone has to be either super surgical, and 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 be completely a tight ass on each other and to themselves, or either that they don't care and there's going to be many enemies. But guess what? You don't get rewarded for killing these enemies, you are more likely to lose and die. Because guess what? Progression is not based on, you know, how good you are, what you took out, or what have you. Like, sure, there is a little plus 10 XP. That doesn't matter. What really matters is, at the, and, and eventually it won't matter because you'll hit max cap and what have you, and you may have the best gold weapon, so that, that doesn't matter at all. So you may never even care because guess what? The real, the real goal is speedrunning. Oh, well, even if we alerted all these enemies, if you know the maps and you know what areas are dropped down, you could just run through your team and you don't have to engage any of it, any of the content. There's, but there's like very, um, I'm not going to say necessarily infamous, but for lack of a better term, I will say infamous videos online on how people somehow got characters up to level 25. I don't do any of this. I don't do any of that kind of stuff, but I, I saw some of the stuff after I already maxed out all these characters level 25. I'm like, Hey, this guy somehow got all scared to level 25. How do you do that? Oh, well, he had a pre-made three-man that went in on a certain mission, and they just ran through the level, killed what was absolutely necessary, and they had it down to a science, and they were able to get level 25 characters in, like, three hours or less. And it was just ridiculous. And that's where it feels like you're going to come back only for that, to just have fun for the mechanics of what the game is and i could see that where i'm like hey i'm gonna boot up this game for fun i have everything maxed out max character max weapons you know i'm just playing this for fun and just have fun that is where it's gonna have it but what's gonna keep you after that well i don't really like any like let's say for a person well i don't really know i'm new to this series or either i only like this particular chapter or whatever it's like well what's gonna keep you with that chapter if it's just a cone of paint oh yeah let's actually have voice lines let's actually have uh, a narrative that changes because of who you're playing with and like what class you're playing and, and what chapter of that class you're playing like that needs to be there and they need to have their back and forths i don't even mind if they use the same names like you know the exact same names that were given in the co-op i don't mind that but give them a completely different personality or accent or what their philosophy on the world is but they still get the job done you know are they one's very kind one's a shit talker you know there's so many ways you can go about it to add personality dark angels and assholes salamanders yeah. are heart of gold <laughs> right right dude like you know 
the the blood ravens are blood there for is, are for knowledge you know like uh, yeah blood angel is super nice and friendly but randomly goes insane mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> it yeah also, it, it yeah, would also be Iron, Imperial like a, Fist. Yeah. Like a like a really funny modifier be like, oh, I'm gonna wear blood angel armor. Space awesome. Yeah, I would uh, love that. Side effect, you randomly go insane with 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 bloodlust and you can't control your character and you just watch a cutscene of your character going insane and then mm -hmm. you die. Yeah, your character becomes <laughs> an enemy temporarily and your team has to yeah. choose like 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 that reminds me of Operation uh, Raccoon City, very old game. Not a lot of people liked it, but man, I loved when your character was infected, and if you got really down to the wire, you can then become a very strong enemy, and your team could choose to kill you or to avoid you, get to the next checkpoint, um, kill you, start the spawner, or what have you. Like, there's so many ways you can go about that. I would also love for every chapter to have a little side objective. You play Salamander. Hey, I have to save these guardsmen. I have to save these people. Hey, I'm playing, you know, this other, you know, chapter that has these goals. Or, like, we have to be fast, fast, fast. So, you need to use these weapons or these things or, you know. There's so many things that you could do with this. And, obviously, I'm not trying to take that away from anyone. I want people to have that expression. But I want that at least be a modifier or a thing that they do. Like, like, as like, hey, look, this is part of the difficulty, or this is a modifier, or this is an achievement, or either this is just here for Easter egg's sake, and you could just turn it on as just for fun. And maybe, maybe you just have it based on default ultramarine mode where it's just only the dialogue lines, but it'd be really cool to have like moments where you hear something and be like, oh no, this person's falling to this. Also, I want our character, like, as much as I love the uh, poison effect and the enemies with, with Zinch and all that stuff. I want more crazy effects. Like, I want to see the stuff I saw in campaign of everything going completely dark and I'm finding my own level, you know, of enemies. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. That's one thing where I'm like, damn, now I can't really look at co-op the same in that way anymore. <laughs> After experiencing that and knowing that they could do that, come on. I mean, just come on. But anyway, that's my feelings on it. Um... Are you down, uh, preacher, to play anything, or are we calling it a night here? Because I know it is late for us. I mean, I'm I I finally ended up just uninstalling and now currently reinstalling Helldivers 2 because I just can't get it to uh, let me mm -hmm. play online for some reason. Um, so I was I was honestly probably gonna go to sleep pretty soon while I let this install. Download. Because, Fair. Uh, you know, it's like basically five in the morning. Yeah, and I'll and I'll let you do that. We'll get some rest, and we could pick up Helldivers too when we can. If it uh, actually works, right? <laughs> I was gonna say I really hope it works. The Automaton Front is actually like, I was chatting with people. Even um that gentleman you mentioned that other night, um he was like, hey, it actually is fun to face the Automaton. It doesn't feel like a drag, and there's so many like counterplay and back and forth and stuff you can do now. Because the build diversity is so freeing now, like, like what? Like okay, like I ask because like, I keep seeing yeah. people say that on like Reddit, and I'm just like, mm -hmm, but sure. how is it? Like how is it fun? Yeah, like um okay, so like as you already know, like there's certain like it's not like the bugs where they're always on patrol and always on your butt. So like you, it's kind of like that kind of Far Cry esque kind of like you choose to engage or either just overwhelming odds because of either like you call the extraction or the objective or either like you guys just didn't manage stuff well. It's really cool having like spears and shooting like in unison with teammates back and forth like sinking up shots to take down drop ships or um, they're dropping down enemies or either like the um the little uh, i forgot what you call them the hovering gunship yeah the gunships um also being able to pick off enemies with the sickle but then also using the stim like i i actually had a lot of fun it was hard as heck hitting teammates i got a lot better at it um, I'm not perfect at all by any means, but it was really cool being like, oh, I don't have to keep on spamming resupply or having to bring a backpack because we have a dedicated medic and I can go up to him or either he can hunt for me and he'll heal me and I don't have to waste stims and stuff, but I have the sims there that I could have wasted because like the ch like it solves all the huge issue of the chip damage problem that especially happens with the automaton front more than the bug front. Sure, it happens with the bug front a lot. But, you know, if you're going to get jumped by bugs, you're likely going to die. And you're better off having a gun and then patching them afterwards. Automaton, it's like, 
hey, we're hunkered down, we're fighting, and it feels like a moment in, like, Star Wars or what have you, you know. It, it's a really fun back and forth. And you're setting up, like, a bunch of, like, gun turrets and the shield generator, and you're shooting down enemies or you're shooting um, using the... Um, the auto cannon on your shoulder or turrets any turrets you want you could absolutely use ems mortar you can then mark enemies and have it guide towards those those specific enemies and it's just super fun and engaging it's and like because like last time i played against automatons was like you know like six months ago before the right. you know balance thing when i mm -hmm. just stopped playing the game entirely. oh but um anyway yeah they don't then, they don't insta kill like, they don't insta kill yeah. anymore. Yeah, they don't like yeah. even if you have a rocket hit you straight in the face, like a legit long range or really close rocket that back then would just insta kill you even if it just hit your pinky toe, hits your head, yeah. twenty five damage or less. Nice. It's it, it, and you and, and you but and your ragdoll isn't ragdoll strong. You, it doesn't. You can be ragdolled. Weirdly enough, I've had more ragdolling issues, oddly enough, in with more with bugs. Than with the automatons, yeah. which is so weird to say, that's, but that's but good. but with automatons, when I was hit, it wasn't that bad. And I, on stream, uh, recently, even my last stream where I was uh, playing Hell Divers too, and I was playing um against the automatons, and I was ragdoll across the map, in that one crazy instance, and it made sense because of the stupid circumstance circumstance I got myself in. I wish I can recall exactly, but even in that circumstance. I survived, and I was the last member. I was able to make a lot of that distance because I was yeeted across the map. We were all down our tickets. I was able to respawn them, and then we were able to keep carrying it on. And it was it was fun, and it was fun picking off enemies, choosing when to engage and when to like pull away and then go to another battle. And then now you're pulling those enemies to, that, to your direction, but then your teammates flanking around or sneaking in and then planting the hell bomb, like, you know, and then you guys just end up, like, Losing the enemy because one of your teammates brought smoke and are doing that. Or either you just straight up lose them by losing them. Um, and I forgot there's other ways you can lose them. Like, it's super fun now. And you could, yeah, it's completely different than what it was. Back then, it was like. Yeah, back it then, was then like, it was, it was, it it was, was like, worse than well, Space no, Vietnam. Because, like, against, against bugs back then, people could use pretty much whatever they wanted. Even, right. Even back when everything was shit. Yeah. Against bots, it was literally the only primaries that were ever worth using were the Sickle and the Dominator and the Plaz Scorcher. Every other primary was just, was just worthless. Yeah. It's like bugs. Oh, yeah. I was using um, SMGs, everything. They're yeah. all they're all usable, man. Yeah. It's pretty great. It's, 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 Secondary is literally only a uh, grenade pistol. Every other secondary was just completely worthless against bugs. Even the dagger, because dagger would overheat in like two seconds. Um, the support weapons, everybody just used auto cannon. Like nobody ever used, um, well, auto cannon and commando. Like no, no like no, literally nobody ever used anything else. Um, just auto cannon and commando. Because yeah, every I, other I, support weapon was just terrible. I've seen shield people, um, stalwart people, like dedicated the, machine gunners, the everything. Shield? Wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's been, yeah. it's been crazy. It's been like, I was yeah. even a shield medic, and it was pretty a fun time. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Because think about it, think about it. I would then go up with my sickle, or uh, uh, at that time I had an SMG, so I was swapping between the two. I was using the pummeler, and I was rushing in the battlefield, gunning down and mailing enemies and gunning them and, and, and stunning them when, and, and setting up my team up for success. But then when they got hit, I had my shield, and I would heal them and then, you know, go back to fighting in, 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 in the, you know, in the heart of the fight. And it was so fun. I have that on stream. It was, it was, it was, it was difficult. It was different. It was new. And I was like, and it's viable. It was so weird. Yeah, but now the real question, can you use a flamethrower against robots? Oh yeah, apparently also the chemical, um, you know the, the chemical war bond with the chemical stuff? Yeah. Is obviously, because you and I already know the stats, way more effective against them than, um, than even the bugs. Because again, they're relying more on their armor. It corrodes their armor, and oh, it slows and them. They, and they yeah. shoot you. And they're poisoned, and yeah. Being able to blind them. Is blind just, them, you know. yeah. Because mm -hmm. like... The whole like blinding enemies thing is cool, but like it it, it it's kind of pointless against bugs. Yeah, like it's nice against chargers. It, it's it's a, it's a saving you. grace and and just and like it, to pepper them up. Yeah, yeah type of and thing. It it's nice against stalkers too, but 
like every other bug is just like what's the like i would rather you just die rather than being blinded and then we have to kill you some other way you know against bots it's like yeah you know just being able to just call in like orbital gas or something on, on top of a bunker and now everything over there just can't see you anymore it would just be amazing because mm -hmm. um, like back then also orbital gas was one of the only stratagems that was actually worth using against both bugs and bots and yet hardly anybody ever used it for some reason mm -hmm. um bugs it was napalm and gas and then uh like rail cannon or something everything else is just kind of bad except well um eagle airstrike but you know whatever but um bots it was like uh orbital um orbital laser and uh gas everything else is kind of you know lackluster to uh pretty dog shit um so like gas was always good but it's just, it's just better now because it you know it fucking <laughs> blinds everybody destroys your armor um you know nice little aoe thing so that's nice if i if i yeah, ever it, actually get this game fixed yeah which i mean yeah yeah like what's also cool is you could also uh, use what's so funny is i would also coat enemies in the poisonous gas just to use it as a improv uh smoke grenade because yeah. i could just yeah you could just yeah. completely lose all aggro and they'll completely yeah. miss you. And then guess what? Now they're all they're still debuffed, or at least they're in some regard wounded. It's absolutely yeah. hilarious to see that. I was doing that with the uh, the mortar beetles. Mm -hmm. um, I just I just throw the uh, orbital gas strike on a bunch of beetle mortars, and then they'd all like get out of the ground and just kind of walk around like where the fuck you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> This is hilarious. That was the one other bug enemy I forgot to mention. Gas is actually really nice against. Because mm -hmm. it just completely stops them from shooting you. Right. Um, and we all know how annoying those, you know, beetle mortars are. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. I, th I And that's, that's, that's kind of the funny thing on that. Yeah. This is exactly the hat. Anyway, yeah, I I hope Helldivers Two is gonna work out for you. I hope it fixes. Yeah, it's, like it, it's just like the weirdest. Like I don't even know I've what never, it is. Yeah, I don't even know what it is either. It's like it's like Steam just says I'm just on the menu, and I'm just like okay, mm -hmm. whatever that means. Like I tried joining like literally anybody. I tried joining Quick Play. I tried joining missions that I found. I tried joining friends. And, nothing i i can't join anybody nobody can join me for some reason um like if i tried joining quick play it would just go on the timer forever and ever and ever never even said anything if i tried joining a person directly it would be like oh yeah allied coordinates you know received and it would just say you know fail to join game um I, I have no idea. I turned crossplay on and off. Did I, did everything. Reverified the files like three different times. Restarted Steam. Restarted my entire computer. Now I'm just like reinstalling the like the whole game, and even moving it to my C drive just to see if that if that somehow magically fixes it. I, I don't know what else to do. Right. I even you know check Reddit, see if anybody else has an issue, and I found like a few people saying they have similar issues, and so I like said what my issue is. And, like, it's getting upvoted, but, like, nobody's, like, replying. I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> why do I have seven upvotes, but nobody, like, says, oh, yeah, I have the same problem, or... Or, or like, I have this problem, here's the solution, or, like... Yeah, exactly. Because, like, I, no normally, if I ever have a problem with a game, I just ask Reddit, and I usually get a response. Um, that's that's one thing honestly reddit is is really consistently good at for me is like fixing game issues but um so far i got i got nothing i don't know what to do <laughs> mm -hmm. well we'll all be praying for you and your machine may the omnisaya bless it may I mean, incense like, and all that like, be done for it it's like i can still play the game just only solo right but it's obviously and... a team game yeah, and it's like I could play solo. I mean, I most of my time in the game has honestly just been playing solo. Um, but it's like I don't want to 
to have a multiplayer game that's the that I broken that I can only play single player um cuz like I play it with you too you know mm -hmm. or Willow or you know whatever it's just like but I fucking can't <laughs> right I just love that I just fucking can't <laughs> just just um, for, <laughs> for for some, some reason, reason it just doesn't let me mhm mm <laughs> Same problem I had when I first bought the game. I just couldn't play it online for some reason. I mean, you could, but it was uh, it was just you couldn't play the game because missing enemies. So. No, no. Oh no, I'm sorry. I was no. thinking of Space Marine too. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. My brain yeah. went yeah, a different no. angle. No, yeah. No. For you, first you time I got Hell Divers too, I just straight up couldn't play online. It just never let me. Mm -hmm. if I look like I couldn't even see other people's games. Right. Like. There just wasn't any other games like like on like on the global map mm -hmm. thing where you know it shows how many hell divers are active. Right. It, it always said zero, and I could never find other other games. I could uh, you know I do quick play, and it would just come up and say no games found. I'm just like what? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I couldn't play with anybody for like a week and a half, and then finally I was able to play online. Um, so. Yeah. I don't know. I blame the engine, honestly. That's fair. Alright, so in that case, I guess you're heading out for the night? Letting it download? Yeah, it's like 9.91 gigabytes. Yeah. So it's gonna take a long time. Alright. Alright, everyone. I guess that's also my signal, too, because I know it's about to be 3 a.m. And mainly we've just been chatting, but it's, I mean, I enjoyed every, honestly, every second. It was awesome playing through the campaign. I am, in, like I said in the past, I am indeed open to do it again, but I know us, we have all these other games to do. And for this game, Space Marines 2, we're all just kind of like waiting. And for Helldivers 2, we want to play the game, but somehow... Somehow Zinch has turned the ways of your of your machine <laughs> against you <laughs> again. <laughs> Somehow through some dark sorcery or magic. By the way, uh, everyone, I appreciate you all for tuning into the stream. Thank you all for being fantastic and wonderful. Hopefully, we were entertaining and have given you informational honestly advice and perspectives that you find interesting or sound and we wish you a good one have a good one bye bye